You arrive at Mill to see that there is a kerfuffle in the town square involving a series of smaller, darkened, shadowy creatures. Bottles back, baby! Someone will tell us where Ricky Fantasmo lives! Oh, we will slaughter everyone on this island to find out! Guardian of Faith, God of War! I summon thee! So, what does it look like when your God of War kills this thing? <laughs> Blasts into like black demon ichor, which tarnishes the Dark. town square. Welcome to d and in the freaking tavern, guys! What?! Oh my god, wait, before we go to... We, we need to go f***ing crazy. Ooh, so let's give ourselves shit. 30 seconds to get up. We'll cut to the nice big wide. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Look, Look at the thing! Look at the thing! It's a train! It's a train! There's even stuff here you can't even see. You can't even see that. See that. Uh, <clears throat> and stuff in there. So. There's an upstairs. You can't even see it. I'm going upstairs. I'm out of shot. I'm, uh. I'm up out of shot. There's a whole upstairs part. <laughs> whole upstairs. So. You can kind of see a little bit of the upstairs. <clears throat> oh, actual, huh. actual bedrooms as well. So yeah. It's a working inn. I live here now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a working inn. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh my god, doesn't it look so sexy with the new cameras oh, and nice. the new table? Hopefully everything's in focus this time. Because <laughs> we've noticed that we're, we're, we're past that. <laughs> and we've even got ourselves some sexy little, uh, like, uh, tablet things yeah. that we can use Tablets from now on. With and Rob's got, sheets on them. Rob's got his new DM screen. Got DM screen. Look at the logo there. Oh, oh my I've god. Got, I've, got, I've got new uh, initiative trackers. Look at that. Mm. Like all of their minis as their initiatives. Oh my! And my one's got blood on it. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's I wonder why that is. That's all, all like like little arms it, holding out to hold our little. Uh, is that because you're always bloodied? I'm all I'm bloodied. Hey. Look at that. Now, so, Rob, is I'm that, losing a fight. Who's, <laughs> is that normally you put that on our markers on the board down here? But now that's where they, they live? Yeah. That, that shows how close to. Easier for me to remember effects. because you guys never do. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I think we always. Uh, <laughs> easy, for me to, easy for me to remember your status is, and also when you're looking to be like who's next in the initiative order, you can be reminded immediately. Like, oh, that's oh, right. Oh, I'm raging. That's I'm right. Enfeebled. I'm enfeebled. Uh, I'm exhausted. The I'm irony paralyzed. isn't lost on us, by the way, that the, our environment has increased in quality so significantly, but our gameplay is going to be exactly <laughs> the same. Oh, we're still going to be a bunch of idiots that don't know how to play D&D. &D. And even if we do, the dice won't play a ball. <laughs> don't they call it putting glitter on a turd? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> This is, this is, and, and this is a lot of glitter. This is a lot of glitter. <laughs> a lot of lipstick on these boots. <laughs> and the great thing about, we literally left almost mid, not quite mid combat, we did finish it, but we have to pick yeah. something up really in mm -hmm. the middle of... Uh, yeah, what were you? Where, what, were you where, where, what were we doing? <laughs> I, well, I was looting a body. You were, yes. <clears throat> so, we pick back up. By the way, you have a seat, I just I noticed. I do, I have a, I have a seat. It's a, it's a nice tall stool so that I can sort of still be higher, higher than you. You have That's a little light there, there as well, like illuminate. Oh man. <laughs> so, so good. There's, There's a lot of little lights. Light. Light. Also, also, light. also oh, what's it? Oh, 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 don't say anything <gasps> more. Just say no, that word. No, I'm just going to say he's somewhere. <laughs> can you find him? We'll give you some time. Where's Rob. Watson? Thank you. Sorry, go wrong. Thank you. Um, so, where we left off, you were. Uh, accompanying an elven noble called Ricky Fantasmo, someone who used to be the head of duplicates, illusions, counterfeits, forgeries, and unofficial copies. Or Dick for short. Uh, he, 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 was, he worked under, uh, under Calithac and then under acting high sorcerer Leothil, but Leothil banished him and uh, Yaris Goldhorn to respective different parts of the world. Mm. And then you discover Darp, he's probably out to kill them. Uh, Lethal made an announcement, a big old announcement to the whole population saying, Barudun murdered Kalathak, uh, he's a bad guy, and I'm tracking him down. Also, Ricky Fantasmo's out there somewhere, and he gave us some not so subtle allusion to the fact that he was about to murder Ricky Fantasmo if he tried to open his mouth about the truth. 
Sure enough, you touched down with the carriage and saw a bunch of demons in the square of Milius going nuts and, ask, and demanding to be told where Ricky Phantasmo lives, and it was your job to protect him. Uh, you blinked into the ethereal plane, or you smashed up with hammers, or you conjured up guardians of faith, or shot them from behind a... Uh, he actually didn't do, he didn't he didn't do, do that. any of the he things. Didn't do you shot at them from behind. I made them. <laughs> you made them puff, which is, you know, yes. something. It's something. Glad you're on our side. And one thing at a time, uh, you murdered uh, a bunch you, of the smaller like ones. You? you made a bunch of the, murdered a bunch of the smaller ones, leaving behind the bodak, the sort of scream face masked one, and the uh, the babau. Uh, you managed to intimidate the babau with your message spell to its yeah. head, oh. while Ricky Fantasma dominated them. And uh, between the two of you, you forced him to shout out against his will, who had. Who had hired them for this job or, mm. or summoned them for this job, uh, which was Leothil at the behest of a bone caller or vice versa, something like that. Uh, <laughs> doesn't matter, the details, right? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Through means of bone caller is what he said. Uh, and then immediately after the fight, the fight is ending, there's still blood on the streets, there is still receding ooze and, and uh, black ichor of demons seeping into the cobblestones of the street. Uh, the bodies are still warm, and you go over to make sure that the the noble is still I, alive. I want to check. You want to check that he's still alive. Are you all right? What are you doing, Roger? Are you? I'm just I'm checking that he's all right. Like okay. these poor people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Budger. Check check his pulse. Yeah, yeah, just check his pulse. Check, check oh, his pulse. What's this? <laughs> oh, you're fucking the worst. What? <laughs> I just check. Uh, he's dead. Oh no, this person's. Is he right? Are you a right man? Oh, he's been hurt. We should help him. We should. Yeah. Oh no. Are you okay? Oh no. I, I, I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna help this man. Budger. Could I get an investigation check? <laughs> this is gonna be directly about how much of his person you managed to successfully search. How much you managed to find. Man, that's pretty hard to read. <laughs> Thir Thirteen uh, plus, plus your investigation uh, uh, under here. Oh yeah. Also, what's going on here? What? Yeah, yeah. People in the comments, wanna, people in the comments immediately would have been like, "We probably should have acknowledged that." Uh, I'm not Rowan, and that's not Alan. Oh we, yeah. We <laughs> I'm having to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you I mean? Know, I'm, I'm the one that I'm, suggested. I'm Greg. I only I'm noticed. Bodger. I only noticed in this moment because I'm like, "Oh, this is easy for me to show yeah. show Rowan what he should be looking yeah, at yeah, on yeah. his sheet." Oh, we have tablets <laughs> now too. Oh, we're gonna get so distracted. Negative one. So that was thirteen minus one. All right. That takes you into the ten to fifteen. Category. That's what you're going to learn about what's on his person. Uh, you learn by, that he's by got. By the way, a, really quickly, the reason is Alan has more shit to take care of, and he can splay yeah, like I can stuff. splay out splay the out, rest of out. the table. <laughs> um, um, what, uh, <laughs> hammers. I've got. Oh man, so many. What, what, is, what do you have though? What is this? Cheers, <laughs> Cheers, uh, where's the most close up? There, with that, or, or like actual like on the table. Oh, table right, close right. Up. Rob made this beautiful weird little uh, cheat sheet for me. Uh, because my because my character is so complex, uh, got, and, and you're, the, you're the most complicated. Most, character. Well, obviously, the most complicated. You got to remember when you're raging. Um, yeah. You got to remember when you're hitting things. You so, so, ba so <laughs> basically, things, I would maybe. say hold it up. The so fact we, that it's like rightfully yours. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot to remember. So because it's so complex, like I've got, I always know that it's like whatever I roll plus ten to to hit them, and then it's like this little cheat sheet here. Is it is it melee? Yes or no? Uh, if it, if it's uh, if I'm am I raging? Yes or no? And then uh, is, is it, it one handed or two handed? Or two? <clears throat> is it thrown? Is it? So, that's a giant. <clears throat> very nice. So, to, you. to your credit, <clears throat> I've teased thank you for you a while about being like, you, you've got three things to remember. But then when I was putting your character into D&D Beyond, and I was like, actually, there's at least six different types of damage that your your hammer can do, regardless of whether uh, regarding whether you're yeah. throwing it, whether you're melee, whether you're raging, all that stuff. A lot of variables. A lot of variables. We've got very distracted Vindicated. from his investigation check. But your investigation <laughs> check discovers oh, yeah. that <laughs> on this person's person. Uh, um, on his person, on this person's person, there is the following things, uh, and then each one has a separate DC of how hard it is to actually steal okay. it without anybody noticing. There's a coin purse containing a bunch of money. There are, uh, his clothes seem to have not been damaged in the fight, and you realize as you're getting to them that they're stitching themselves back together. They are clothes of mending. 
there is a ring on his uh, on his left hand that seems quite a nice ring. Uh, it looks like it's probably magical. And then there's a bunch of non-magical looking jewelry on his. It's, it's frustrating when being a, a, a horrible person benefits you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if he like, tries to steal, yeah, If he tries to steal any of these things and he's caught, then it doesn't benefit him. Yeah. Um, right. um, while you also you notice you also with the twelve you also notice uh, that he's got keys in his pockets, um, which could be of interest to you. And he's got a an interesting. Before uh, magical looking stone. Before Bodger makes it a makes a decision on what he's doing there, I uh, quickly call all of everyone who's in the square together, or try to you call are, everyone's attention. Also, that was yeah, that you were doing that at the end because you were shouting out, Baradun's the best I, and, and so I keep guy. shouting out, look, I saved you, Baradun saved you. You all heard the bad guy, right? He shouted that Lethal and Bo it sounds like Bone Call is back. Lethal and everyone <laughs> start. I'm like, crowd around, people, come and look at me. I'm right, right, a bit right, of a talk. Right, right, so he's Talk, that's that's, that's going to be a counter run. Run. And, and, uh, Great, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, damn it. Oh. Is this why everyone's distracted by everyone's Baradone? You're like, you're like, oh, this guy, he's, oh. So of that stuff, really because I'm really, 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 really quietly, I'm like, everyone crowd around. And I really quietly go, oh, help. Help, can anyone help? Oh, he help. Oh, help. God, he help. You, you need help? You, oh, yeah, he, need, he needs oh. help. He needs oh. help. Oh, OK. Yeah. Wink. Can you get help? Everyone, I, I, I need your attention. Uh, follow me over here. I want to talk to you about these bad guys. They're so bad. Oh, no. Help. This man, this, this man needs help. He needs help. Come like, around. No, he's still alive. Look he's like, good. He's, <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's dead. He's lost. But I'm just like, OK, so that, that shirt looks interesting. You're trying By the to way, I am still first. watching you. I, I, at the end of the last but, but thing, look up about a dude. Oh, I'm not right, right. And I'm sitting there going, I've got really good stealth and sleight of hand. I could probably help I this. Do I not, help this? I was not yeah. expecting you to go for the shirt first out of all of the things I just listed. <laughs> Try um, you go, pick all right. pocket a shirt off. <laughs> The shirt you are trying to take, you are trying to strip naked a dead man in the street. So I have rightfully put it, the DC, at 25. So you need to roll me a sleight of hand check. And if you get anything less than a 25, Pete, somebody's going to see you taking, stripping this dead man naked. Does he, does oh he get God. a slight. Wait, no, but stop. Stop. <laughs> you, you're, not, you're not standing next to him. He's, he he okay. ran over to him. He's going to oh, do the thing. God. I don't know if this is possible. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> That's why I put it at a 25. I'm like, it's theoretically possible for someone as stealthy as you. Yeah, 20, 25, even if I got a 20. If you get a 20, yeah. what's your stealth, sleight of hand modifier? Uh, I can't imagine it's high. Plus it's one. Oh, plus so, it's one. so it's for you, it oh, would be minus, impossible to strip a man naked in the street without somebody else in the street in broad daylight seeing. Yes. Oh, plus one, sorry, sorry. Um, so, you do, oh, you so, do so, know so, someone who's incredibly stupid. Are you choosing just not to do uh, it? Now? Okay, with that information. There, uh, are, other th there are also other things on his person that uh, are much less oh, than him. Oh, I'm still so, so paying to go, oh, better than some man. So you start to unbuckle his shirt, so, and somebody's I'm, like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm like, so like, looks at you. And <laughs> <laughs> But that dude's a man. I'm like, they look at me and I'm like, he's a man. Check him out. Like, check, check him out. Check him out. Everyone, like, look at me. I need to talk to you. I can't. He's not breathing. We've got to help him. Um, um, um. Oh, look at Better Dune. He's the man. Check out. Check, don't, don't look at me. Look at Better Dune. Look at, look at Better Dune over there. Yeah, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, man. Hey, it's Better Dune. Better Dune over there. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so I, okay, okay, and I, I said, Sir Nathaniel has died, okay. no! I come over to Bodger and I'm like, hey Bodger, everyone can see what you're doing. <laughs> um, no. Are you, listen. I can't believe Jeremiah's turned over here. <laughs> listen, Bodger, I have an invisible hand I can use bro, if you want to split bro, the loot. Bro, bro. Shall we split it? We'll split it, can yeah, I? Yeah, all right. No. Oh, that shirt, that shirt, that was way. cool. <laughs> you want the f***ing shirt? Help, help, help. I don't, know, I don't know about that. I've got man. A lots of gold. I've got lots of gold. I've got bloody forty-three platinum. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so can All right. You help me get I the go show? and I get my invisible, invisible hand to search around man. his pockets. And I'm like, and stuff. Uh, right. I'm just kind of like, like, oh man, that's <laughs> about a dude. I can't believe that. <laughs> so. That's about a dude. Uh, like, so accounting for and the, I'm still so, making so, a big so, noise, bringing yeah. everyone in. So in the, I, I guess you're getting frustrated. How long it's taking for everyone I to get over to because you? Because I'm really point. having to. Um, on my, no, there's, like, a, there's a few people around you already. Okay. We'll get to that. Um, so I do on my handy dandy mm. chart of setting a DC, I've got 30 at near, nearly impossible. So I'd set it at 30. I knew that you were distracting people, which is why it lowered to 25. 
because your hand is invisible and he's now distracting, I'm going to lower the DC to 22. 22. Roll it. For the shirt. Oh, he's still going for the shirt. Wait, he's still going for the shirt. <laughs> slight, sleight of hand, is, he's got an invisible mage hand. Well, well, I, I want to search his pockets. I want to search his pockets first, okay, yes. and then I'm going to take the shirt. Okay. So I guess right. Baron doesn't so know what's going check. on here. Well, well, it's 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 I saw what it is. We, we should really... 14 I'm distracting purpose. Plus, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, well, I also so want to talk to everyone. So since my passive investigation is 14. Uh, yeah, that's for if you walk into a room and something's not right, quite right, right, right Combs right, right. style, you can be like, I just clocked that visit. So what do I add for an investigation check? Investigation, just investigation. Modifier, so swipe to the next screen. Ah, yep, oh, right, 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 right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's going to take us a while to learn. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. using a new app as well. Look, guys, everyone. they've only been playing so D&D four. about four Eight. years. Yeah, so exactly. You Give us a break. Right? Give us a break. <laughs> take right. 10 plus. 18. All right, with an 18, you actually get the next category that he missed as well. So you find all the stuff from before. <coughs> He's yeah. got a coin purse containing a bunch of money. He's got mending clothes. He's got a ring on his hand and some non-magical looking jewelry. Mm -hmm. He's got keys in his pocket and a stone in his pocket that looks like it might be magical. Yeah. You also find around his neck, tucked into his clothes, a um, an amulet that looks like it's um, mechanical. Kind of looks like something that this the artificer made. Random villager has a lot of shit. Cool. I take all He's that a shit. noble. He's a, <laughs> a noble. random villager. You're on Milius, well, the wealthiest the of the wealthy island. turns. He's right. covered in wealthy stuff. I take all. all all the shit. All right, which one first? Because they all have different difficulty levels of right. looting it. I want that. Because there are people around. And, but it's invisible, and his, bro. And most likely his family and friends have just been in the town square uh, with him. They're and probably crowding around and, like, and watching this like, thing. Because like, thing. there's only so much I'm the best that you can get distracted by before you're more inclined sure to go all, to the guy who's dying that you've, you're married to. You're married to so I, I'm going like, you, help right now. Call 911. <laughs> over there. You, <laughs> go over there. Quickly. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, call I'm Fantasy 911. Like, I'm like, look at Badadoo. I'm just like that. Okay. Everything yeah. that way. Oh, no. Can someone call 911? Oh no! Oh, no. Uh, Roger, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Wait, are we looting? Yeah. Oh great. Yeah, help! Yeah. It's oh, got any tap, but, but I mean, we're helping him. Don't ignore, ignore us. Yeah, yeah, help! Off. Oh no! T t t oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, use, your, use your wrong skills. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. I guess I'll just pocket that. Call someone. Call. He's not. Yeah, use yeah. your wrong skills. Yeah. Take a shirt. I want the shirt. A shirt? I want the shirt. Okay, no, all right. Um. Oh no! I, I better check his pulse. Oh no! Oh. oh, just better stealthily check his pulse oh, just no. quickly. Look over there. Oh, I'm going to have to take his shirt off. Oh, give him CPR. Yeah, what's, yeah. That? Oh. what's that? What's oh, that? Oh, CPR. Hey, hey, what's that over there? Which okay, is right I, the and, and I'm out there talking to these nobles. I will and I'm tell going, you. All of these demons were a distraction. What is, it, what is your sleight of hand modifier? It's a 12, I think. Uh, yeah, plus 12, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'll give you the things that are less than that. You can't literally roll less than taking the coin purse. You can do that without a check. Sweet check. Uh, the stone in his pocket and the mystery key. Yes, you can beautiful, take that. Beautiful. Uh, the Write them down. technically the. <laughs> I, thought this was, I thought this app was intuitive. It seems to do it. I came here to improv, not write. <laughs> <laughs> this, is why, this is why you need a pen and paper, and I then in a, a downtime moment, yeah. you can actually like write them into your inventory. Uh, would you like to shoot? Because my rule yeah. of thumb is, if if I tell you you've got something and you don't write it in your inventory, you've lost it on the journey. All right. <laughs> I'll just write it down for you. <laughs> I'll just get some. Just get. Some, I get, was get, planning to write on here, and then I'm like, I'm not gonna tap like some <laughs> peasant. <laughs> So you got the stone, Boy, the stone, the keys. You got stone, the keys. All right. He got a, he got a stone. He got the keys. He got a coin purse. Uh, he got the ring from his finger. All right. The rest of the jewelry, the clothes, and the amulet are going to be harder to get. Okay. I want to go for the amulet. All right. Go for the amulet first. This is still going to be relatively easy with your plus twelve. So give me a sleight of hand check. Seventeen. Yeah. Twelve. Goodness man. gracious. Piece of cake. You, 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 you like lift him, like get hand behind the shoulder blades. I'm oh, seeing if he's got a pull. And then the, and then the, the chain sort of unclasps from behind <laughs> the thing with your invisible leisure yeah. man. How many other dead bodies off. are there around? I'm like, it's just weird. The boat, like two <laughs> like, heroes, like paying so much <laughs> attention. <laughs> while, while, while Bob is doing this, I am still talking to the crowd, and I, and I'm shouting out, and I, there's a few key words which I say a little bit louder than everything else, and I go, these demons were a distraction, <laughs> and I know that when one of them fell over, they bobbed on the ground. <laughs> and uh, earlier, uh, Laethal used the TV, magical TVs to ring. Distraction. I want the fucking, <laughs> I want the fucking ring. Distraction, Bob. Ring. And I'm like, he magically... What? You wouldn't get any of that. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with Baradun? Anyway. All right, so you've got uh, all of those things. You, you, you haven't got the clothes off his back yet. Uh, yeah. All the, the rest of the jewellery from him. 
<laughs> okay, so I got, but I got the amulet. You got the amulet from around his neck, which seems okay. to be magical. And I look at Bodger and I'm like, do you really need a shirt? <laughs> Listen, when I saw that shirt, I knew I had to have it. You it's rightfully shirt. mine. Uh, you you right don't even wear shirts. Uh, look at it. It's this weird shirt. mending shit. I want to get it. Get All right. Get it, get it. If this if this goes pear shaped. What's happened? Is he? Yeah. Some, someone's now like. Oh, and, then, and then, and then, I, and then I'm just like, like, like. Oh my god! I think I knew him. Oh god! Please go, 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 go. Nine one one. Just, I just keep doing that. <laughs> just shouting out the numbers at these people. All right. You managed to get. Oh, uh, no, in fact, make a persuasion check. I bought. Yeah. You've got to uh, fail that. 18. No way. Oh, 18, 18 plus your persuasion is going to be a dirty 20, I think. So that is enough. <laughs> They're like, okay, I'll go out. And they run a half away before they I'll call 911. Wait, like, what? <laughs> Do they just run out to a hilltop and start calling 911? <laughs> oh, boy, it's in my time. Go, go, go. Okay. Also, that implies sure. that we're in like fantasy America, where 911 yeah, is. I don't know. Like, yeah. We're, we're, no, we're no, thinking no, you went 911 instead of 911's not necessarily a phone number. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, not phones. It's just random numbers. It's just random numbers. 911. Yeah. Uh, so, sleight of hand check against the... What, what am are you I aiming for? for? 20, I'm going, going for the shirt. For shirt? No, okay. Uh, you're aiming for a 22, so you need a 10 or more on the dice. Seven. So that's seven plus 12 is a 19. So as you have got your shirt off of one... Are you going to hear a fight? What the shirt? I've won that shirt. It's anyway, guys. Find out what happens next your heroic week. hero point moment. It's like to that's steal a shirt right. off a dead that. body. With a hero point, you managed to get the rest of it without uh, without um, needing to check for it. Great use of your hero point. <laughs> and with the hero point, I'm also going to say you get the next category up, the last category of things that you didn't find with your investigation check, which is inside an inside pocket, you also find a vial of perfume. Oh, sick. Um, <laughs> good move. Awesome. <laughs> See, so, Alan, right. it was all worth so it. Get, get me some dice ready. Get me a D. Where are all your dice? Oh, they're here. There. Uh, get me a D10. Uh, is that that one? Yep. yep, that's that one. Get me uh, two D20s. So this one and Hopefully, this one. Hopefully, Califac is oh, resist two D20s, not resistant right? to uh, Give me a D12, which is that one. Jesus. And roll that into there. He said into there, bro. <laughs> Six, uh, 18, what is the two? 18, the, two. The two is on the 10, so you've got two platinum pieces in the coin purse. Sure. Uh, the 18 plus 8, is it 18 and 18? Yeah, 18 and yeah, 18. Yeah, so 36 uh, gold pieces. Sure. And nine silver pieces in this coin sure. purse. There it is. Six you then have clothes of mending, you've got a ring that needs to be identified, uh, and you've managed to grab all the rest. Later for you. you can manage yeah. to grab all I'll the rest of the jewelry. I'll identify it later. Um, being a thief, you're, uh, I'm just going to hand wave your appraisal stage. You know roughly that the jewelry that you've nabbed is worth about 500 gold pieces. Yeah, boy. Um, all mine. You've got the keys that need to be identified. <laughs> uh, you've got the stone that needs to be identified, the clockwork amulet, um, and the perfume that needs to be identified. Um, oh, how much of that do you give to Bodger? And then, what, then what do you do with this half-naked man. man in the street that's got <laughs> I walk bloody, away. Co bloody coughs? Um, hang on, I'm just trying to find where I list uh, yeah, I, I, I've stuff. Yeah, I've got other positions. Uh, it, it'll take a while. Let's just gold. do it in downtime. Yeah, find, have a... You need a pen and paper or something. Uh, I've, I've written notes, everything Notes down. on your phone. I've written everything yeah. Adam's got the, the notes. Clothes right. of mending anyway. the main thing I want. <laughs> you give him the shirt? Yeah, I give him the f***ing <laughs> shirt that he's not going to wear. You give him the shirt and you, <laughs> you like tug it back and forth and you're like, oh, you need to be, and then it, it tears a little bit and then it stitches itself back together. It's um, like Wolverine, isn't it? Oh. But in shirt form. <laughs> Speaking of so, what you just said, it makes sense. Yeah, so <laughs> as you as you walk away from this naked guy in Baradun, you're um, uh, you're distracting I just, everybody. I'm very careful, and then I go. <laughs> and I walk away. <laughs> well, he's dead. <laughs> we tried. Yeah, he's dead. I tried. I tried. And he's naked now for some reason. <laughs> just, just, just to help sell it, just so I don't want people to get suspicious, I just kind of have a one moment of going, "Oh my god, he's dead." <laughs> And then, and then I kind of go into it like, a, uh, 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 well, uh, obviously. Uh, and then I put my arm around. The, the reason we, he's we not wearing a shirt is because a, you guys tore his shirt open. To yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I get a? Uh, <laughs> can't just stitch it itself back to your shirt. Just to um, sell this I need, it, yeah, I need a performance really? check. Twenty. 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 What is that? This roll so fucking jammy. No. Oh, my grief is making me check his pockets. Oh, oh no, I can't take that. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, did you get oh, me? Yeah, I got a pouch of stuff in a case. Oh. I think it's sweet. That's good. 
<laughs> These people watching are just so stupid. <laughs> All right, you managed to convince them that you actually tried to heal him, and then, and then at some point uh, you're like a good 30 feet away, and you hear somebody be like, "Oh my God, did they strip? What did I call him? Nathaniel? Did they strip Lord Nathaniel?" And, um, the, like, they, they don't understand what happened, but some rumors start to go around that like they the, don't strip him. They took off his shirt to do CPR. No, no, not these guys. The, the rumors start to go around that like the the, the demons like uh, attacked and yeah, stole okay. his clothes or something. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> damn demons. Oh, speaking great. speaking of loot and money, um, Baradun, we're going to have a very quick flashback because it became it became it, it, it was brought to my attention that the draconic spirit spell that you've used twice now has a very costly material component. Neither of us knew this. <laughs> Neither of us knew this. But no, in order not. to cast the spell, you need an item that is, what is it? It's a, a, an object with an image of a dragon engraved on it, and the object has to be worth at least 500 gold pieces. <laughs> so can you tell me what point in the last few weeks you acquired this and where from? Um, when we were in uh, the custodiate's uh, warehouse, uh, yeah. there was like a lot. Of, I mean, there was the carvings of all the animal, of mm -hmm. all the yeah. like yeah. creatures and whatnot. And then, you know how I was just going through box after box you after were. box. I opened a box and went, "Oh, I love dragons! <laughs> oh my god!" And it's this cute little carved dragon. <laughs> love it. Um, and I was like, "Oh my god, dragons are so fun!" I just, I, no one was near. I was like, Okay. Does it got to be nice. worth 500? It's got to be worth 500 gold. He doesn't, have to, and he doesn't have to have paid 500 for it. It has to be an item According worth 500 gold. And, 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 and somebody and and it was at just, least it was worth 500. <laughs> it was a picture of dragon. <laughs> it no, this, this picture I drew is worth I would, 500. I would pay 500 for this. <laughs> I'm a high sorcerer. I mean, Welcome to high art. Good. That's exactly, exactly. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gen no, no, but it's a, it's a little carved dragon statuette. What's it made of? Ivory something? Yeah, it's... No, I would say it's... I didn't investigate at the time because all I thought it was was just, just a cool a cute little a cute, yeah, yeah. cute little dragon. You didn't investigate at the time because it never happened. But <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Bob. This is a flashback. Get out of my flashback, Bob. This is my flashback. Well, yeah, if we can all just invent flashbacks, why not? I picked up a cannon, by the way. The God, oh, God please. asked me to do a flashback. Get out of my flashback, Bob. All right, all right. Um, yeah, so I'd been... It was when Greg was following behind doing... A, a yeah, doing, doing the guidance. Guidance, guidance, guidance. 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 And I opened one and just, oh my god, there's such a cute so little I'm dragon. So I'm flashback? I have no memory of this. <laughs> Greg, get into my flashback. <laughs> Quick, get into my flashback. Um, and then, just because I thought it was cute, I put it in my pocket. What's in here? <gasps> a cute little dragon trinket. Oh my god, I'm definitely going to keep this. I definitely found this. What is this? In the park. What's going on here? Well, I'm remembering the time that I found the cute little dragon trinket that I you, have on my store. You did not. I was here and you didn't find that. I definitely found it. I was looking through the crates and Greg was giving me guidance. This he is was bullshit. Oh, Greg, this oh, yeah, Greg, 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 you were in the flashback. Remember, I found this. Yeah, no, yeah. okay. Uh, Greg no, was yeah. giving me guidance. And guidance. I found, there we go. Thank you, Greg. Bullshit. And I found this. Bullshit. And the great thing is I'm definitely not going to have to pay money for this. This is bullshit. Can we not, just make up whatever we want Rob, now? Rob's not here, so I'm not going to Pay money for this. Can I get a flashback I where I get a laser gun or something? I remember this. Yeah, and I'm gonna put it onto my staff. I remember this happening. I specifically remember this not happening. So, meta gaming. All right, and what was it made of? Was the question? Um, I hadn't investigated it. Uh, what, what, what's a really? <laughs> what's can, made of? Don't know. I want it to be. I and like, I'm one, just asking you. Like, I want it, it to be made of it, something it, fucking awesome, like a really rare metal. Some kind of metal. All right. Some um, sort of like. A, but obviously, I can't just say rarest Adamantium. metal in the world. Yeah. Do I roll for um, it or something? You can. Know. You can. <laughs> I can. There you go. Um, we'll, adamantium. We'll say it's. Uh, adamantium. We'll say it is a an adamantine. Um, Adamantine's uh, uh, metal in this game where it's like super resistant to, to Wait, damage. So does that get used? Like used no, it doesn't up use it up. It doesn't matter. Right. It, it just has to have it on his person and it casts it through that through that totem. Right, right. So then we have a quick flash to you in the f in the duel with uh, with Baradun um, casting this spell, and in your hand, in your off hand, was the dragon that you were summoning the dragon spirit from. Correct. Um, and then in this fight, uh, you're, just, you're still standing there in the. Do we have green screen that we can, we can the superimpose on yeah. the other dragon? It's like a PNG image. Yes, I want that. <laughs> Summon draconic spirit. <laughs> Summon draconic spirit. Right. So also, what like it, it's not super large, by the way. Like it, it's yeah. that big, I'd say. And what I've done is um, 
I realized in the fight with Baradun that the magic was coming from this little thing and I thought it was really cool. So much like uh, when people like attach little trinkets to shit, like I got a little thing and I attached it to my staff. So it's now like a oh, little like dangling, dangling off, off your staff. staff. God, oh. All right, I love it. Uh, for the cheekiness of you forgetting uh, Markov 300 gold um, that you lost at some I point. I stole it! It's worth 500. I'm giving you a bargain because I also forgot. All right? <laughs> I stole it. Yeah, and you, would, you stole a thing that you invented was there, which you is my view as the Dungeon the Master. Time. It you would have been just as easily for me to <laughs> say, no, it wasn't there. You had to buy it from a shop. You might be able to inspiration not. If you want to give part. me a hero point token to For steal gold. It, to just save 300 gold. It's worth it, mate. It works real well. <laughs> I got, a, shirt. No. I got, I got shirt. a shitty shirt that no one wants. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, I am. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna you use managed my hero to token. steal it and did not lose any gold along the way. <laughs> Back to present day, <laughs> the nobles are starting to chit chat and gossip and like obviously uh, they're, they're crowding around you asking what's happening. Yep. Uh, can each of you just make me a perception check please? Not good. Oh, not good. No, not no. a good first roll for, Ooh, for Greg. Oh, great. all of us are all bad? Nine. Oh, Jesus. Thankfully, he's got a plus 10 modifier, so Ben's going to hit Yeah, 14. Nine total. Uh, Nine total. Seven total. total. Seven total. Uh, three. <laughs> 14. 14. You rolled the four, did you? Yeah. Can I, okay, great. Can I guidance it for... Oh, not guidance. Sick. Uh, you could have, but uh, it's after the Too fact bad. now. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I, I can, I can re-roll even after the rolls you happened. Can. You can. Um, I'm going to re-roll. Wait, is just with, with these. Tides of Chaos, or is it with... Uh, you've got so many I things that do similar things. Didn't we use there's one that, that adds that a d4, there's one that's a re-roll. Uh, tides of Chaos is advantage. Uh, a feature that's like uh, bend. bend luck or something? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, so Tides of Chaos. Tides um, of Chaos. Give yourself advantage. Yeah, yeah. Give myself advantage. And then that means Tides of Chaos means the next time you cast a spell today, Wild Surge. Gonna Wild Surge, yeah. Um. <laughs> good use of Tides of Chaos? Yeah, real good. What good, good, good. A five. <coughs> five. <coughs> Better so, than a... What you're ten. hearing then... There it is. So what you're, <laughs> so what you're hearing, you know, you know, up to three, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> not that you know what this means. No. The, what you hear is uh, things like, Bone Caller's back, and oh heavens, I thought he died. Well, the family are necromancers, after all. Don't you think the Selwyns might have raised him? Oh, maybe, but maybe, but they disowned him at the time. Um, and then the things of actual note you don't hear because they are gossiping out of out of range of all of you. It seems it was a DC fifteen. I thought for sure that you'd get it. You're so close. <laughs> Never mind. Hero point. One thing you do notice, though. <laughs> out, one thing you do notice, though. Do I is still have all the nobles crowded around do, me? Yes. Yeah, because yeah. I I definitely want to say things. Oh yes. Um, one thing you do notice is that Ricky is um, is nearby and he's also talking to the nobles and uh, gossiping to things. And then you hear a uh, a whisper right next to your ear uh, that says. Uh, wrap this up. You need to follow me. Uh, do I recognize the voice? Ricky. Oh, it was Ricky. Okay. Um, I don't want to wrap it up too quickly. But, but Ricky is over there talking yeah, to you. Yeah, so he did some magic Maybe. little business to me. Um, I just want everyone to know. L l l point at random people and go, who who saved you? Yeah, quick test. You, quick you, test. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, who, who saved you just now? You did? Bar Bar and what's my name? Bardun, the one size sorcerer. What's yes, my correct. name? But, and potential. <laughs> and, and then, who, who, who was the bad guy that sent all of the bad guys to you? According to the demon, it was later, Phil. Yes, he's, he's, he's cancelled. Yeah. He's, he's cancelled. Okay, radio to recap. Who's the hero? Yes, me, Barajun. Good, good. Thank you, sir. And who's the bad guy? Leithel. Uh, yes. That's actually right. Leithel. He's been cancelled. Thank you, Bodger. Yeah, Leithel has cancelled. been cancelled. Yeah. Yes, he's doing bad Touching things. Touching people inappropriately. Yes, yeah. he did do that. Put Killing in very controversial he tweets. He did. In fact, he changed the name of the company he owns to yeah. X, which everyone was confused about. Yeah. That, that's yeah. What, what a what? dick. What? what an absolute dick. What? Oh, deep cut. Really weird thing happened. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I know. Uh, Long story short, Leithel bad. <laughs> so so what do you think of the message that he Get sent on the through? And you, yeah. So what do you think? Timely that he would send a message out immediately before attacking, right? Yes. You need to, you need to send so. give these guys homework. And you need to tell two people yeah, each yeah, yeah. and tell them to tell two people. And we yeah, need to spread yeah, yeah. this. We need, yeah, we need, need to spread this. From you. We need to spread this rumor that uh, that Leithel mm. is um, lying and uh, net twenty. Oh, nice. And with persuasion. A million. A million. Yeah, uh, you got a lot. Of plus nine. So. Ooh, 29. So, uh, very nine, 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 so I am like, we literally eight. just. Can you make me an insight check, please? Eight. We literally just uh, defeated these evil dudes in uh, nine plus p p insight. persuasion. Insight. Uh, insight. Plus five. So uh, okay, 14. 14. <clears throat> 
With a 14, you get the impression that you have genuinely turned um, some people to your side, like some people who were doubtful about how this played out and how, oh, you happened to be in the right place at the right time and you were, you were just here to take down some demons and uh, right after Leothil's told us that you're a murderer and you'll try anything to get in power and stuff. So there's, there's a few people that had doubts and with a 29 you've managed to persuade those, uh, assuage them of their doubts. Um, but uh, Ricky's voice gets a little more urgent right behind you and unlike with Message and his telepathy, it doesn't sound like it's in your head, it sounds like he's speaking from here. Oh, okay. And he says, so uh, we need to go now. Okay, right. Uh, so I, can't, I, I wrap it up and give everyone homework saying go tell two people and then get those two people to tell two people. Yeah, they start to, uh, you've, you've definitely started a rumor mill that will go around of like what the hell happened in the, ta in the town of Mill Use today. Um, what are the rest of you doing while Baradun was doing all of that? What was Greg doing through all of this? He wasn't r robbing anybody. No, I wasn't robbing anybody. Because, I mean, by the way, your Guardian of Faith lasts eight hours and it's not concentration, so you can't just of, dismiss it. Yeah, He's right. Just Actually, no, the last thing I saw with my Guardian of Faith was pretty cool, so I'm like... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> for 10 like, minutes going, nice. nice. Yeah. Nice. No, I think I would have joined Baradone. Is, um, is there something else you need from me? <laughs> didn't actually. So, uh, yeah, how do I send you back, actually? No, you, you, I feel, can I'm I go? just here for a bit. Uh, okay, you're just going to hang here? Because I don't think we're going to stick around for too long. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just going to. You're cool just, I'm hanging, just hanging out. You're cool to hang here? Yeah, I'm probably going to go with Baradone and follow um, okay. uh, Ricky. Cool. Um, cool, cool, cool. You can come if you want to, but. No, I. I Puts his mace down. Like okay, yeah, right, right, right. Cool. I mean, we'll have a nice time can't, and I'll summon you again at a later date. Right. Cool. Uh, yeah, so no, it's like the awkward end time. of a one night stand or <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. So this has been great. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it was kind of fun. No, I think we're. I think we're good. I think we're good. You, yeah, you, you, did, you did well. This has been a lot of fun. I just need one thing to smite. Thank now. you. Like one bad guy. Um. Oh, I got to go. Are you gonna? So. Well, well I can't leave. This is yeah. Oh, I'm so good. I I will catch you. You're the one who called me here. Catch you later. <laughs> so you're gonna just stay here. I'll probably just head off. Head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a I got a thing. I got a, a baritone thing. I got a, I got a thing. Uh. Yeah. Good but this was fun. This was fun. This was great. I'll call you. <laughs> again, maybe. Again, maybe. I will genuinely probably call you again. <laughs> you, you meander away watching Baradun. I'm, I'm the only one making this awkward. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's the soft sound of footsteps walking away over the the, um, uh, the the plaza, and Ricky's still over there talking to people. Um, but Ricky's well, I I, I walk Ricky's invisible while, while kind of looking at Ricky that I can see. I walk around a corner to somewhere that's kind of quiet and mm -hmm. secretive. And Easy enough and do that. All right. Um, and I'm now around a corner that's quiet and secretive, and, and I stand have, there like this. watched and followed, or no? Um, well, I follow. I'm, I'm going to follow. I'm not, I follow. Right. Where do you go? Um, <laughs> you all make it around the corner. Oh, I guess <clears throat> here. The cart didn't get destroyed, did it? We could go inside that cart. The carriage? The okay. carriage touched down to be like, this is where you'll be seeing oh, your destination That's a, that's a quiet, secretive place. So we're going to the carriage. All right. Sure. Um, uh, well, no, because Ricky says you need to follow me, not we need to go talk. So oh, he's, I follow he's the quiet <laughs> footsteps. Yeah, then. you head in, this, in the direction. Hark, um, quiet footsteps. Um, and on the way, uh, you, you feel like a tug at your arm from an invisible creature, <laughs> and likewise, you all start to follow. Uh, along. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> you leave the uh, plaza and uh, hear, Ricky, hear Ricky turn around, even though you can turn around and still see him in the plaza talking to people. He says, um, I've cast an illusion. Uh, it's, a, it's one that I worked on where I can maintain invisibility while also misleading somebody into thinking I'm there. You Shit. Need it's crazy. What's it's, the name of the spell? I've, I've titled it Mislead. Oh. Um, uh, it doesn't, I, I, I don't want to. <laughs> keep, keep, just push E. Wait, just we need to go e, back bro. to my house. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make it back to my house and then we can talk openly. And he starts to lead you through the streets. Um, he, every time, every time you get lost or lose the, this invisible guy who's leading you, uh, it's not the most efficient way of, of following somebody, but he does stop to like, bring you up to speed. Eventually, you make it to the outskirts of the um, built-up town region, and you just see one of these kind of farmland kind of regions, um, and one in particular looks a little bit run down for Milius. Milius has been the hyper-wealthy, put it mm. in your face, how good everything is. Mm. Uh, this one's just... It's like a, a long. It's like a large plot of land that you think could be useful for something, but it's kind of got some like gnarled trees on it that would be a bit of a pain to tear up, um, and so th that's probably why they haven't actually done it, done anything with it. There's a couple of large rocks that are sticking out the ground. He starts to lead you onto this land. It seems. <clears throat> um, 
and then you see some uh, over, over this sort of hillock kind of thing you see this abandoned crop field that kind of looks like wilt something was planted and and not harvested it's kind of wilted in the in the in the heat um, and there's a couple of scarecrows in there and as you get closer to the scarecrows uh, one of them starts to uh, speak up to you and turns and says oh, what are you doing on this property it's not your property what? just like uh, and you sorry I've got a thing about scarecrows <laughs> it's just a little bit further just along here Oh God! Who are you? Who said that? Ah. It's, right, right, right. it's scary. It's not real. It's just a protection method. It's not real. Ah, yes, it's, it is. Yeah, it's, it, it's physical. It's a real thing, but it's not. Uh, it's not alive. Just What's up with his face? I mean, that's rude. I modeled Terrible. it on my mother. But not on this is not your land and the other one starts to like uproot oh, itself no. from the ground and start to move towards you uh, but you hear and then does it start singing oh. um if i only had a rain um, where to get those peepers what are you singing oh that one as well is that a scarecrow thing you've seen that maybe two creepers oh, scarecrow? oh, oh I was wow. going wizard of Oz. oh right i'm oh. glad you got wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. but uh, yeah <laughs> you hear, yeah you hear them both start creepers, singing bro. <laughs> justin long Ricky, Ricky's voice uh, calls out from the invisibility. Uh, Jimbo flies before he walks, but my mother never, let, never lets her dogs swim under the three rocks. And then they both stop and just kind of go inactive. And then you see this shimmering house start to appear before you. Mm. And he goes, inside, quick. Wait, what, can we try and remember really quick? What you can try, make an intelligence check. Um, Good work, Alan. It's, you gotta stand on the rocks yeah. and twirl the... I don't know, what's Look at you, D&D, and goodness 19. Great. Ooh, that's um, your intelligence modifier, which intelligence. used to be very good as an artificer, and then was switched with your wisdom when you became a cleric. <laughs> intelligence. Oh, sorry, it's on the next. Uh, plus one. Plus one. Yep. Nice. Dirty so, twenty. Dirty All right. Uh, I will say it again. Yep. Cool. And you will, uh, and I will say it one more time, on, relatively get, slowly. Let me get cool. to the. And you uh, will write down what you can write down in that amount of time, and that's what you get with the dirty twenty. Uh, <clears throat> uh, notes, extras, notes. Jimbo uh, flies before he walks, but my mother never lets her dogs swim under the three rocks. Jimbo flies before he walks, but my mother likes to wear clogs. <laughs> what, can, you said you're going to do it one more time as well. That was it. That was it. Oh my god! Did you get the last part? Jimbo flies before he walks, but my mother never swims under rocks or something. Something, something about dogs. Something about clocks. He got twenty. Can it you give rocks. the, the key word dogs. of the second sentence? He said it very fast when you weren't expecting anything and uh -oh. you didn't have any indication that he was about to speak because he's invisible. So with a twenty, that's what you get. <clears throat> something about rocks. All right, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's a very oh, nice. No, I didn't get it. But what'd you get? But my <laughs> so Jimbo flies before he walks, but my mother never. Swears clocks. Swims, swims under rocks. Swims under that's, rocks. That's what you I get. think swims under rocks. I'm there was sure something else in clocks. there. I think, unfortunately. You see a very you're nice. You have to mumble the. <laughs> you have to mumble <laughs> the second mumble That's how passwords work. <laughs> Jimbo thinking that the rocks. <laughs> Jimbo flies before he walks, and then the rest of it. Well, and then the rest of whatever. Yeah, happens. And yada yada yada. yada, yada. yada. Oh, I know the first part. So you see a very nice manor looking uh, building up here <coughs> before you and not only that but you see a lot of the uh, hallucinatory terrain that he cast around you starting to uh, give way to a very nice actual garden um, but only temporarily and he ushers you inside of his house very quickly and then whew, the illusion uh, turns back on again. Um, inside you see that you are now in Ricky's manor you realize that he has not only been like putting up walls physically are between him and him, uh, him and other people but he's literally been in hiding since he was banished by Leothil. Um he is afraid for his life and when Leothil, when he especially when he heard that Leothil was in town he's he's been he's been hiding out terrified until he heard that Leothil buggered off back to good on again um, you see in his uh, in his manner that he's doing relatively well for himself being part of the phantasmos they are uh, a very wealthy family, so they've been able to help him out and stuff. He's not living impo impoverished. Um, and he seems to visibly relax a little more. He says, I am I feel like I'm more able to speak openly um, now that I have abjurations around. Nobody can scry on me when I'm in my house. Um, firstly, thank you for saving me back there. Um, they were obviously out to get me, and it's quite clear who sent them and why and uh, they he he is afraid of what i know he tried to kill me years ago as well before he banished me he never banished me he fired me from the order under some trumped up claims of um i don't even really remember it was something to do with califax disappearance it changed 
and then he sent someone after me and thankfully I managed to escape and that's when I realized how much and how much of a fool I was for helping him hide the Caliphate. Who did he send after you? Uh, at the time it was um, some assassin from the Dirt League or something. Mm. How did you help Caliphate? I was do? head of Duplicate Illusions, Forgeries, <laughs> no, Duplicate Illusions, Counterfeits, Forgeries and Unofficial Copies. Or the um, That's right. And I the helped him to forge a few documents or hide certain documents of where he was at certain times. Why did you, you do it? Documents? He threatened my nephew. And then that question. What? And do you have? Do you still have a copy of these documents? I, I do, yes. Uh, here at the house. I have several <laughs> copies. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad you've kept records. At the time, he, he made threats against my nephew, Zaza. And, I, and he was just a child at the time. And I, well, ah. still, still just a child, I suppose. Zaza. Do you know Roger, do you do you, do you, do you, know, know, do you have something to say? What's that? What's that? What is that, Mr. Do you, know, uh, do you like, know one of the nobles of the five what's families? What's that? What's that? Zaza. Yeah. Is that a name that, that, that rings a bell for you, Roger Blodger? I feel like this is ringing a bell for the second time, actually. Yeah. Do you know Zaza? Maybe I should introduce you before all of this is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm doing childhood friends. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway. Great. Sorry. Let's continue. Thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, I, I obviously uh, kept duplicates myself, uh, mm -hmm. triplicates, and had the original. Uh, hid, I've hidden the originals, um, but I'm happy to give you duplicates of all of the documents. Um, can I get yes. you a drink or anything while you wait? Um, Sorry, TLDR. Yeah. Um, documents that prove that Leithel fucked him over. Yes. Betrayed Caliphate. Betrayed Caliphate. Was involved but, uh, in If we get these documents, experience. who do we... It's good. We've got proof, and who, who do we take these to? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yes, it, it, anyone it, that we want to. Town Square, Town Square, bro. Town, town Square, just go check it out. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <gasps> but genuinely, you could you could magically copy a whole lot of them and then distribute them. Like, I feel like in a world where magic's real, like nothing matters. Mm. Like any, anything to could be certain, forged. To a I mean, yeah, let's, let's that's definitely. why you needed an entire um, entire department of duplicates and forgeries and stuff, so that they can look into yeah. things that are important. And be like, is this a forgery? Is this magically? Yeah. We, yeah. Should, so I need to, we, we should still. We should still terrify. That's why, that it's that's, real. Why, that's why everyone needs a dick fuck. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, the straight up. As they always right say. Yeah. As they always say. <laughs> uh, um, so, yes, I would love a drink. I, I'll, I'll have something brought out. Um, Jeffrey? And we, we definitely trust this guy. Right, the, right? Uh, I mean, we, we, we saved him. Like, like, he's he's fantasmal. And he's also <laughs> led us into his house. That yeah. could be a trap. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm good. He's let us into his house, which is impenetrable from the outside, uh, and no one knows where he is. So we're here. safe. Exactly. Brilliant. He's led you Locking into his lair. In. I'm in his house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, gonna no, no, no drink for me. He brings he brings out Jeffrey, uh, an invisible servant. So this floating um, this floating yeah, tea tray, I don't trust tea this tray guy. comes out with a few different drinks on it, um, and sets it down in the in the lounge. Um, and you can start helping yourself to a drink. It's just right. it's just basically a teapot and one um, glass bottle with some amberish looking liquid in it. Ricky! Alcoholic, good enough. I've, I've got a question. What alcohol do you want? What alcohol do you think it is as you pour it out? Uh, dwarven whiskey. It is dwarven whiskey. Fuck yes. And then I grab it and I think of elven wine. As you pour it, it becomes elven wine. Hey. And I'll, ta I'll, I will, I'll take some and just... <laughs> as soon as I was yeah, like, I'm magical a drink, first, I want yeah, to... Greg's so worried that it's poison, he's thinking about poison. <laughs> 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 Guys, don't drink it, it's poison! <laughs> <laughs> Melts the cup. He's just, oh god, it's poison, oh god, it's poison, oh god, it's poison! <laughs> it's poison. Yeah, it's yeah, just so like, I don't drink it, then I'm you, green. you pour it out and then don't drink yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna, nope, nope. Um, as you do, as you are thinking of poison, it does come out, but in like a shot. Okay. Rather than like the whole glass. I'm gonna put that down. <laughs> um, I'll just have uh, water. You pour the water. But after dehydrated. The <laughs> <laughs> All right. It seems like you're challenging me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have water, Bob. Being responsible. Okay. I'm gonna have whiskey because. Uh, no, 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 fine, 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 fine. fine. You, you do you. I'm gonna get. You drunk. do you. Water is fine for me. Thank you. Thank you for the whiskey. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm not really um, drinking at the moment. Just uh, trying to be on a bit of a health kick. So just, just a bit what? of water. I since mean, when? Uh, since for, uh, I, I've actually very, very rarely partake in alcohol. Actually, it's not, actually, it's not very good for you. Oh really? But no, I'm not judging. You help yourself. Oh, you're not judging. Not judging. No. Oh, because no. I feel incredibly judged right now. Ah, water. It's like it's good for the circulation. I just feel healthy with just a glass of water. I don't. I don't invite. Where is all this coming from? What? 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 Just let me have a drink. I'm. Hey. 
help yourself. You live your life. I'm not judging. Mm, water, I feel healthy. Um, Which so you? I've got a question for you. <coughs> when you said earlier, Jimbo flies before he walks, but my mother never swims under rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? such a flex. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Just give, what, why, why that why that password? Uh, it's just a random <laughs> phrase that's hard to yeah. hard for did I, commoners to remember. Did I get it right? No, you didn't. Can um, you can we just ask what? Uh, yes, Jimbo flies before he walks, but my mother never lets her dog swim under the three that's rocks. Ne never my, lets it, my mother never lets her dog swim under it's the rocks. Point to three it's, rocks. It's, it changes. I change it every day. It's a random phrase that I use to. It's I change it every day. day. Really I was thinking that as you were all struggling to remember that. Yeah. Like, I don't think we need to know that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just in case, well, you know, just in case. case. Sure. Uh, um, uh, so, Ricky, you uh, you brought us here presumably to speak to us about something you didn't want to speak in public about. Yes. <laughs> he leaves the room, <laughs> and then he comes back in with um, <clears throat> with a, like a a tray. Uh, no, what are they called? Like the you know, like librarians have the little um, trolley with the various shel shelves on it. It's kind of like one of yes. those, but with sides and a a statuette, sort of a bust, but it goes all the way down to the waist um, of this this elven woman. Um, and he says, uh, "This is this is Rita." Um, all right, Rita. Uh, I have my and he opens up a drawer underneath, and he's got a bunch of um, documents in there. He starts handing them out, uh, probably just straight to Baradun. Mm -hmm. um, you realise that the first one, uh, he walks you through them, talks you through what they are. The first one is a record, uh, a record statement of alibi at the, at the rough time of Kalathak's disappearance. It's a statement Who's from it's a statement from an Eastwatch captain saying that Leothil was in a meeting with him at the time. Um, but it's a forgery. No, uh, Ricky says so. I, so that seems to be correct. He, he, the captain seems, seemed at the time to believe his statement. I have reason to believe that Leothil had other means of being in two places at once. Another illusion? Uh, he took, he, he opens up the next drawer and there's a bunch of like vials in there and each one has this smoky white uh, gas uh, in there. And he says, uh, Rita helps me to extract memories, uh, recollections and then keep them stored for later mm. um, and then help me to uh, play them back. I could, I could remember the thing by Inhaling this um, this this memory, um, but obviously you wouldn't be able to see it. So I, I've I've developed a little, and he walks around the front of Rita, and he takes the uh, takes the vial and like sticks it up one of the nostrils on the statue, and then uh, she, she sort of like comes to life and her eyes open up, and then her eyes kind of project this illusion to the rest of the room. Then you and it's all kind of weird because it's show it's like a film filmed entirely in first person from Ricky's mm. point of view. Mm. Mm. Just kind of like R two D two. Yeah, sure. I, I thought Does that so. need to do that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, not well, not exactly not, that. But not, she, not from he oh, with the projected uh, hologram. Everyone, yeah, Kenobi. Kind of. Yeah. 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 We've made that joke before about what's it being able to project yeah. something. I don't remember what. Kenny. Oh yeah, um, what's it? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you Where is he? Yeah. I think he did. He die? He was in the Probably. fight and he was being used. <laughs> Probably. As a, I think he, did he was pop being actually. used as a distraction, yeah. and I think somebody went for him and maybe popped him. I can't remember. Um, so you'll have yeah. to you'll have to take an hour to resummon him and ten gold pieces worth of your herbs and herbs and spices. Okay, I set up a fire in his lounge. <laughs> in his lounge. It's like I, if you could please not. There's, if you're, Fine, <laughs> maybe I'll later. wait. The illusion that starts to play out, the, the memory that starts to, to play out around you is uh, you're all in a um, in a tower, a, a, a wizard's room. Um, you recognise it, Baradun, as Leothil's laboratory mm -hmm. uh, back at the the Temple of Calibor. And Lathal is in front of you um, at the table, and Ricky is seemingly going through a bunch of spells and runes and, and uh, arcane stuff with him, uh, and teaching him the spell that he's just worked on, that, he, you, that you just saw in action, Miss Mead, oh. where you can simultaneously go invisible and cast an illusion in your space, and then step away, leaving the illusion to talk and interact with things. So this is from the memory? This, so this, this is the, the memory that you're watching. Out of the you're watching of, Ricky you call teaching. The spell? It's called mislead. Um, he is teaching Leothil the spell mislead, um, and then as the, the thing plays out, <coughs> uh, uh, he says, this is me teaching Leothil a spell that I developed uh, recently, um, the one that you saw me use at the plaza. I have reason to believe, uh, I think th from memory this was about two weeks or so before the, uh, before the disappearance of Kalathak, and I think he was using it at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, the disappearance, dis, disappearance of Kalafek was decades ago, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he would have used this spell to have an alibi with 
uh, the cap captain of the guard while mm -hmm. he was attacking. Is there uh, any way for us to? Pr oh, I'm saying, is, is there any way for us to prove that he may have been um, using the mislead spell during that encounter? Unfortunately, I've been reading between the lines in the in the alibi here, and you can see you, you'll read through it, and when you've got time to properly read through it as well, you'll see that the alibi is solid, but that the captain of the guard says that uh, Leithel was a little standoffish, kept moving away from me whenever I would get close to try and talk about things, and just like little things that make you go. Mm -hmm. If he was an illusion, he would have tried to keep his distance and not offered a hand. Yeah. And it says right at the very end of the um, alibi, like he refused to shake my hand at the end, something mm -hmm. like that. And, and Ricky's like, Rude. I think it just gives me a, an impression that he probably was. Unfortunately, the captain has since died in the war with, Shmug, uh, war with the orcs. The, this projection that we've got in front of us, yes. how reliable to the uh, f decks? Is that what it's called? Dick Dick f Dick f Dick f uh, f uh, it's not vulgar. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. How, re how reliable is that as evidence? Uh, it not. I mean, it's a memory. It's it's his genuine memory, and you can and you can prove that it is Ricky's genuine memory okay. of it. But memory can be altered with magic. So, in terms of like the the world here, could can we present a case to some like? Basically, I think that he used this spell. I cannot prove it uh, alone, which is a lot of my evidence is too circumstantial to provide mm. a case, which is why I've kept silent this whole time. Because, uh, yeah, we, even if we take that memory, we can go, look, we, he taught him a spell. Exactly. So uh, in theory, he could have used could that, have spell used that spell to think. Yeah, yeah. All it proves is that Leothil had capability to do so. It didn't prove that he did. Yeah. Um, the memory ends. He says, just so I don't lose that, because the vial is now empty. He says, give me a second to re-record re, um, uh, re it. And he moves uh, to face uh, Rita. Rita's hands come up to him and clasp the side of his head, his, his head, and then they just kind of put forehead to forehead. And then after a moment or two, so her cheeks start to inflate. Um, and then he brings the, uh, the the empty vial to her lips, and then she just <laughs> spits this sort of wh white uh, gas into the. Oh, so that <laughs> gas is the memory. That is his memory. Oh, sure. Um, she just dribbles out. <laughs> dribbles, she dribbles white stuff Ugh, out of Rita. her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, out, mate. It's, it's, it it's odd, but it works. And he caps it and puts <laughs> it in the thing. So, sorry, can I just ask? You're calling this Rita? Is this, is this statue conscious? No, 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 no. Oh. She, she. I forgot even what I uh, called it. Recollection and information tabulating assistance or something. Oh, okay. I, well, I just call her Rita. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he he then gives you another statement. Uh, this this one is a log of like where the order of the weave members are at any point. It's like it's somebody trying to keep tabs on them, like schedule and things. And this is a copy of that log from that time. He gives you um, a log of where everybody was at the time, and it showed that Leothil visited uh, Ewelin to um, the HC is all he's put in uh, shortly after Baradun's appointment as High Sorcerer. Um, uh, say that again. He visited HC he visited, shortly he visited after. Ewelin, and strangely, it was just not. It's not like a specific location. It's just Ewelin, which is a, an enormous, like continent-sized forest. Um, but he visited there to visit the HC after Baradun's appointment. You, you see it as weird because um, Ewelin Forest is like a continent-sized forest. It's it's not like a specific location. Mm. Um, so he's obviously been vague about it. And then HC is obviously really vague as well. Yeah. Um, Ricky points out that like he, it's even weirder because this is the this is a copy of the original um, before he before Leithil had him. Forge it to make it look like he didn't leave the, 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 the. He didn't leave it all. Um, so each of you roll a, an investigation. Uh, sorry, an intelligence check. We'll see. Intelligence check. Yep. 14. We'll see if you work out. Four. Eighteen plus two. Oh, nice. Thirty twenty. Fifteen. Four. Five total. <laughs> four. Okay. We'll just Jesus, that. Ben Actually, you should be on four now. Ben, 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 um, Ben, Ben. Five total. Five total. Uh, Fifteen total. Fifteen. Twenty total. With the twenty, you. I mean, you've just been in Ewell in Forest. Um, the only people you can imagine he might have visited was the Hourglass Coven, mm. which would be HC, the horrible three hags. Um, hot good. corn. <laughs> Is it hot I corn? I think he went to Ewell in Forest to pick up some hot corn. Write it down, Baradun. Um, so I think you can see, basically, to summarise, that uh, Trinton definitely got his powers from HC, oh, which is obviously yeah. the, the hot hours. corn. No. It's obviously hot corn, right? Hepatitis. It Controller. Hepatitis. Mm. Hepatitis C. It's the hourglass oh, coven guys. Yeah, 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 the hourglass coven. The, the high caterpillar. 
Yeah. No. Honorable cataclysm. Why would he horny go? cataclysm? I it was a horny it? cataclysm. I, 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 <laughs> he got hot corn. He got hot. No, no, no. You do stick with like, so. what, what you so. think. Um, Maybe he got a hellish cat. I, I, I don't know if re, how Rita exactly works, but possibly, and I pull out a bag of the dolls. Oh, yeah. And uh, I've been waiting to figure this out and I dump out the dolls and just start sorting through them to see if there's a layer or one. Can I have the doll that I, I know it was a birthday present I gave to you, but can I just briefly have the doll back? I have no memory of this, I but no I stay quiet. All right, here's my doll. I dump out all the dolls to see if one of them the looks like The doll that he hands you looks exactly like Lethal. Look, it's Lethal. I don't know who that is. Okay, finally wait, worked it out, everybody. What dolls? So, uh, was I, was I not here for like list? literally a year now, at least? Have been like, very, oh, check the, the fucking doll. Is this the doll that they'd be constantly going like, man, yep. check the, check the doll, which makes me want to not doll. check the dolls? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I scoop all the other ones. <laughs> Ever since back. I told you, like, oh, these dolls are like a <laughs> no idea. <laughs> There's a very divisive lineup. Hey, so <laughs> when we were in one of the hags' houses, <laughs> like l l literally years ago in real time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. literally yeah. years ago I, in real time, the, the moment of me stealing the dolls was very small. Yeah. Like, you, and I just you, dumped you, them all into you my went, yeah. You were in so can we just acknowledge, you can we just acknowledge those years ago? Those years ago. Moment. <laughs> yes. Like, and yeah. we. Yeah. Okay, here they are. I'll need the one from you as well, Bob. Hmm? The doll that I got from Scabbathon. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I gave it to you for your birthday, but um, these are very important. There they are, Ricky. Every single one. And you got these from Scabbathon? Yes. Yeah. That's dangerous. What? Huh? Hmm? The Scabbatha dolls. There's dolls that I got from Scabbatha, the really important, dangerous dolls. I'm trying to find out what they what they do. What 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 are these? The the dolls that I got from Scabbatha, don't you guys remember? No. What? How do you not remember? I got hundreds of dolls from Scabbatha. I've been carrying them around for weeks. They look remarkably like people. Like yeah. Like oh, yeah. If, a, if a hag has like a whole chest full of dolls that look remarkably like people. So my... are we supposed to remember these? I don't. I, I, don't... I don't remember these. I don't remember I don't, these. I don't, I don't, How do you not remember them? How do you not remember them? So uh, <laughs> since then he did oh. uh, he did cast identify on them and I said it seems like they're not magical themselves but they have something to do with like a, rec a, a record like a receipt of of transactions the mm. hags have made, and that's all you learned. And since then everybody in the comments has been like check them. Dolls, Leothil probably made a deal with them. Leothil did indeed make a deal with them, and you have his so receipt. Stick that one up the nostril. So, so, so you I grab it and you move towards Rita, and he says, "That's not going to." She ha she inhales the, the gas that she. Please, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's not. It's the not doll working. Breaks. It's not. No, no. <laughs> luckily, Look, luckily, he, he, he I, didn't take it from me. I, yeah, yeah, I good. Good. yeah, because but anything Ben says I, doesn't have to. Damn it! You explain what it is. Retconning my comedy. You explain how it works, and Ricky says, "Well, it's probably a similar magic. Um, in order to for me to to learn of the information that I've 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 recorded, I have to in inhale, ingest, somehow oh, get okay. the get the no, <laughs> not with me. I won't be. If you, but uh, I comedy take comedy take back. <laughs> comedy retract. Yeah, I mean, it's not up. it's not the worst idea actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna just plow on as if it wasn't comedy retracted. It's not the worst like." If this is indeed a memory, it needs to be mixed with the special, and he sticks a finger up her nose and, and then brings it oh, out, and it's Rita. like got this or, slightly orangey mm -hmm. um, goo on it. Uh, he, <laughs> yeah. oh, Rita. he says, "He's got a drain Because Rita wasn't a real person before, was she? Like cursed no, no, to become she, a, she like, was a, a creation of an artificer <laughs> back at the Temple of Carbo. Right. Um, this is called uh, liquid uncultivated binding Ethereum, and it's a it's a binding agent that will. Uh, you'll get there. Well, yeah. <laughs> nice. And it will, and if you mix it with the thing that you have to inhale, insert, then it will. Just ease it on in there. <laughs> it, will ease, it will help you Very to uh, bind the ethereal, ethereal nature of a memory to the, the yeah, present day. Yeah, so yeah. if you do wish to, I'm a f I, I don't know how you will how you will learn that memory. Also, we have to learn the memory. I mean, I, otherwise it will just be me that experiences the memory of it. Um, one of us has got to take one for the team. <laughs> I take the... Bob, it's our oh, well, I'm still holding <laughs> That moment that we've always wanted to take. <laughs> <laughs> it's our time to shine. I'm, all right, guys, let's do it. I think it might be best for me to experience it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, God damn it. Woo! 
I get some lube. Uh, I get some L U B E. I hadn't thought oh, about that. Oh, yeah, that's so weird. weird. How does that yeah, work? She, he puts her finger to her nose and she just <laughs> snot rockets out some lube. Uh, you co <laughs> coach the Leofield doll in lube. Don't and I shove it. it up my nose? <laughs> this thing is large. So you can is try. That, what, it's not what, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Barry, we had a green screen moment when I first gave you these dolls where we, all, we had like 10 tips and tricks of you guys and what you can do with your dolls and every one of you said, you, oh, you could shove it up your butt. And I was like, <laughs> I I'm going to make, and I, I was like, I'm going to make them do that as like, that's the genuine canon way that they're going <laughs> to finally learn how this thing happens. Wow. They have to shove a Lethal doll up their butt. Because I guess so it doesn't matter doll whose doll memory up. goes into it because we'll be transferring so it. it. We're doing so it. Okay. So I imagine in I imagine. That's canon. <laughs> so, like, you can you can see. I leaned. I bend over a table. I go right. <laughs> no, I I, I kind of go to, like I'm about to put it up my nose, and then I like. You try, you I, try I, and I, I just I look to Ricky it's as like the opposite of the total recall moment where they've <laughs> yeah. the thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, but, I, but I look to Ricky as in like the what my eyes are conveying is is it this the right thing to do? It might be. Uh, try your try your I mouth first. I think try you mouth. need to put it. Yeah, try you need to get, first, it in, you sure. need to get the memory first, inside yeah. of your body so that it's part of your body. And I don't really want Mouth. to eat it. So like, th there's like a <laughs> like a redness of shame, like kind of like goes across Baradun's oh. face. And and oh. the, the, uh, I assume there's some like maybe one of those clothing. I get clothing. my cloak <laughs> and I just <laughs> one of those yeah, clothing divider. Screen? These got a clothing divider cl cl changing screen and like I kind of like really there's shame on my face. I, I, like I, 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 I just walk up to it. Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> And I walk around like kind of. There's already a bit of. There's already a bit of shame and like regret on my face. So I, I walk pour him a the drink. And I walk behind, I, I, in my hand is the doll with the yeah. uh, the stuff. Nobody's on gonna it. think any less. You and, and I walk behind the screen. It's not possible. And you hear just like my cloak shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I walk out from behind the screen and I don't have the doll in hand anymore. So, are you gonna. Oh really? Oh. Wow. Very Is there any, another way? Would you like to use my modesty yeah. cloak? Yeah. Don't look. Yeah. Easy does it. Baradun. <laughs> you feel you feel right. weird. And, you feel and right. not only right. like I do, I feel weird. You feel weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you learn, Baradun? <laughs> Well. You, you start to, start to black oh out. Oh God! The, the, the you get tunnel <laughs> yeah. vision. The, the sensation is so intense. It's so intense. You get the tunnel vision. Everything goes dark. Everything goes black. And then you, your senses are no longer your own, as you are now watching through a first-person view. As you look down at your hands and see that you're Leothil, and you reach a shaky hand up and knock on a heavy wooden door in a dark, damp stone corridor. Mm. Um, can I have a... Sorry, did you say Leothil? This is the layout memory he's, He is Leothil as right. he's doing these things. Well, he's standing um, up his butt, so now he's just remembering. What? What? Knows how, yeah, everybody knows how... Yeah, you come out of that thing, thing just like slightly like awkwardly no. walking. Um, I, uh, <clears> it's going to be an... In it's probably quite sharp. Just a perception check, I think. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to heal, heal wounds after this. Like. He's, got point, he's, got point, he's got pointy ears, enough. <laughs> uh, 17 plus... One, eight. All right, like uh, you recognize the architecture of the door and the, the corridor that you're in as uh, part of the Palace of Hearts Desires. Mm. Palace of Hearts Desires? Oh, what is he doing there? The it's, like, it's like that figurine there. Who is this figurine? Okay. <laughs> the the door opens and you see a, um, a, a bulbous-eyed, frog-faced uh, woman with scraggy hair behind it with a big hunch. She goes, well, hats. howdy. What brings you to our cozy little workshop at this present moment? Can you just do Baradun's face while he's witnessing this? Like, what do we see Baradun doing? Like, like. <laughs> <laughs> he's Macaulay Culkin. Um, That's you, the thumbnail. You hear yourself <laughs> saying yeah. Lethal's oh voice. He's Culkin in here. <laughs> I think this is all part of it. Quite a normal reaction when you're reliving memories. <laughs> it shouldn't take too much longer, I think. <laughs> I wouldn't. Save the children! Looks kind of fun. <laughs> you hear yourself saying Lethal's voice. What the hell am I doing? Am I really resorting to hugs? You seem to be shaken and you feel 
nervous and like it's a last resort, like it's a last Am I feeling his feelings? You're feeling his feelings. So Leofil was hesitant to do this. Seems like it. Mm. Mm. You look down at your long slender hands shaking. <laughs> you clasp them beneath your robes behind your back as you try to steel yourself to cross the threshold. Come on, love, you walked in here all confident and proud. Did you lose your bravado? You hear from inside. That's the voice of Scabatha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I get so many voices. He'll enter. He'll enter when he's ready. There is a lot we are going to discuss. Is that, is that right, Belandra? Well, you better come inside, sugar. We can help each other out. You realize it's too late to turn back now. Your mind jolts to young Baradun and is followed by a wave of mixed emotions. You are furious that he has been appointed to High Sorcerer instead of you. Mm. You are scared that the council have made such an unorthodox decision to mm. appoint such a young man. You're jealous of his power. Mm. You're also worried for his safety. What? What? What will the hags do to him if he makes this deal? Will they kill him? You couldn't put his family through that, not after experiencing what it's like to lose someone. And, you, and within this memory, you have a flash of a memory of an elven woman being killed in a home invasion. We're not going to kill him. A voice interrupts, answering your thoughts and snapping you from your reverie. You're standing now in a small, unassuming stone workshop in the dungeon of this otherwise lavish and opulent palace. On the bench to the left is a half-worked children's toy and some wood carving tools. On a bench to the right is a half-finished marionette puppet and a stack of plays. And on the middle bench, a gruesome scene of several fishers' last moments, punctuated with sharp, sharpened butcher's tools. You're... you're not going to kill him, you stammer, relieved that there will be a non-violent end to this. Galathak was tough enough on you, even with you going to troubles to keep him alive and appeasing your own conscience that way. No, we are not. But you came to us for a reason, didn't you? So let's get on with it, shall we, sugar? and her froggy hand reaches out and closes the door behind you. Over the next little while, the scene plays out for you that Scabatha, hag of the past, took the memory of his mother being killed and all of the moments of trauma that followed that event in his past. Without the first-hand memories of what it's like to lose someone, he wasn't as likely to hold back on killing others. Bavlona, Hag of the so, Present. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are we talking about removing memories from Baradon? No, no from Lathor. From Lathor. So, sorry, being driven in first person because he's experiencing yeah. it. In yeah, first yeah. Uh, sorry, my brain's what happened uh, with Lathor. struggling to follow. Um, Lathor. Baradon's experiencing Lathor's point memory of, view. of going years ago, <coughs> yeah. going he, to the Hags and, to make and these And Lathor deals. feeling jealous of Baradon in the past. In the past. But also yeah. worried for him. But also, also worried for Baradon? Yep. Yeah. Not such a bad guy. Okay. Maybe. Possibly. Again, probably a bit of a sorcerer than this. Idiot. But be becoming more of a bad guy because he's had the trauma of his mother yeah, so taken like, away. He's from him. he now no longer has the the trauma of his mother after mm. this after this deal. Bavlona, Hag of the Present, took his sense of empathy. Oh, there oh, it is. Okay. There it is. He is incapable of truly feeling what others are experiencing. Without it, he is more likely to tend towards cruel acts. Mm -hmm. Endelin, Hag of the Future, took from him all of his, his hope of redemption. In every possible future, he is destined to pursue a path of power and greed until it kills him. And in return, they gave him little nudges and pushes with his arcane research to ensure that he stayed as the most brilliant, cutting edge, out of the box thinker in all of the lands. The reason he is un unchallenged as head of arcane research. He is a brilliant mind. And when the time is right, we will give you the means to sub Baradun of all his power. It seems that they were the ones who gave him the, the idea for the machine that sapped your power back in episode two. Mm -hmm. All right, just fucking hags, bro. bro. Are these parts that were taken bro. from Leothal parts we can get back, or? As you come back out of your reverie and... We're not experiencing this. No, either. like, it's, no, no, Baradun tells us all the, but, all the yeah, yeah. It's just there. Can, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, feel something, you feel like an, an uneasy, the pain inside you has eased now, as if it has dissolved into your person, this memory now being part of you. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. um, you can then 
we hand wave to you, like having Rita take the memory from your head, put it in a vial, and then you put it back up. I have the vial. So the memory comes up. I have the vial. She She puts it in a vial. You put it up the nose so that everybody now can experience it. Cool. So everyone. So a way of expositioning. You've all experienced everything I've told you. (laughs) Ricky, after that, says, "I, I suppose a lot of that makes sense with how he acts and how he has acted." Does anybody mention the fact that you've met and dealt with these hexes? Yeah, uh, I feel like we have either, it's hard to say whether or not this is a good thing or a bad thing, but we've killed two of those hags. Which two? Uh, the the Southern American one and then the, um, then the not raspy one. Yeah. What was yeah. the one we didn't? Was the, the only one we, we gave didn't, a the only one we didn't one. kill was the raspy one. Uh, 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 that one. <laughs> the, hag, the hag of the, the future. future. That's right, we totally did a performance for her. Yeah, she, yeah. yeah. we brutally <laughs> murdered the other ones. Did a play for that one. <laughs> the problem with the hags is uh, it's going to be very difficult to defeat them. You said you've encountered them already? Oh, uh, yeah. Pavlon, Pavlova? No, oh. Pavlona, or whatever her name is. Pavlova, uh, yeah. yeah. Killed her, squashed her. She turned into a bird and I squashed her. Yep. Oh, she fantastic. Did. She did. Um, Scabbath, however, much more dangerous. Ripped her spine out. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And Endelin, how did you kill her? Oh, oh. We gave Endelin quite the show. Oh, I see. <laughs> how yeah. how exploded her or what? No, no, we did a theatre performance for her. Yeah. She loved oh, it. Was it. Lovely. She loved it. Yeah. Oh, you mean a big literal... song and dance number? Yeah. yeah. A literal show. A literal show. Yeah. yeah we we told her literally everything we've ever done. We like told her the chronological story of our of our story. It was great. Yeah. Th- through theatre, the, through the arts. Yeah. Treading the boards. You would have loved it. She's probably the most dangerous one of the three. Right. So what should we have done? Maybe killed her. Ah, right. <laughs> we're feeling better than that. Though, <laughs> well, that was the day we tried to D&D. Yeah, yeah, we did yeah, that. We, we did. did. We did. We did. <laughs> Ricky tells you of his understanding of hags, they're very difficult to know too much about, but he is a high-level wizard and does understand a lot about magic. He says, as far as I understand, most hag deals are null and void when the hag dies. Which would mean that with Bavlona's death, Leothil will now remember his mother's death and the ah. trauma that came with it. Wasn't there something about, didn't, didn't, didn't one of the hags get revived or something? Or am I, am I high? Am I what, drunk? What, so, hang on, so, <laughs> so, probably so the, the one... <laughs> Chucking back this whiskey, so which keeps the back Bavlona up the was bottle. the past? Hag of the so, past? So now he's got the memory back. Who was the other one we But he killed? has no empathy, so he wouldn't f- he oh, so feel anything about it. Scabitha, his Hag of the present, took oh. his sense of empathy, and so he's probably he's got, got his empathy back now. Okay, he so can, I mean now we can probably that now he can pro- probably be reasoned with. So yeah. only However, one left is the, the hag f- that you didn't kill took from him all of the futures where he redeems himself. What, 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 do you, what do you mean by it? took from him all of the futures? She's the hag of the future, yeah. and she took she she took all of his futures where he is a good guy. Not 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 memories or, or nope, aspirations. She took those futures from him. It's the, literally the futures took, are no longer they're not possible. possible for him to achieve. Mm. Okay, we gotta kill her. I think we gotta go and we find the hag again. Or put on a. F- can hell of a flat. That is also an option. You can or, convince, or convince her to, her to, yeah, to yeah. let the let the deal loose, which is well, what what's you the did. What's the hack of the future? The Time again? to strut the board. She's the only remaining one. Okay. Uh, um, so yeah, with Leothil still right destined down. for a life of pursuing right, power until it kills him, he's destined also for arcane breakthroughs because with his drawbacks comes the things that they were giving him. Yeah. The brilliant ideas that he's had in his past, he's no longer capable of replicating those things because the mm-hmm. hag of the past is gone the brilliant innovation that he has in any present moment that's gone oh so he's a bit he's not he's not he's as innovative anymore not as powerful but he is destined for brilliance but he must fit in he this must... case probably means high sorcerer does he kn- does he know that they did he'd feel it out he maybe mm, he would probably he recognize he, he might go he to probably like recognize that he's like, trying to do things and he's like why is it suck. why are the ideas not coming to me <laughs> yeah, why do suck I suck so much yeah why do i yeah, feel he, for he that homeless that person that dead yeah. Yeah. he might not know that they're dead yeah so he might think he's brilliant again but so just out. to clarify what am i just drunk wasn't there something about the <laughs> one from the past or the future or the present bringing the other ones fucking back or something i don't think so no you mean indolent the the hag of the future shut up <laughs> oh, I've already got one. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> Good job. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, right. All right. Okay. Um, cool. So, Ricky is <coughs> uh, surprised and astounded and 
looks at all of the other dolls that they, that, that are all representations of people. Do, do, we, do, do, do we quickly? <laughs> yeah. Can, can, can all five of us, the, the four of us, go through and, the rest of the Ricky. day, stick them up your butt, and find what, what, what other dolls are there? What other dolls are there? <laughs> Literally, this is our downtime for the next hour. Do, do, does Ricky or probably me? I don't think you recognize any. Recognize any of the others? Um, you can take twenty on this, meaning you just take the amount of time. There's no uh, there's no detriment yeah. to failing and trying again. Yeah, so therefore, yeah. you can just take twenty, keep rolling until you get a twenty, essentially. Um, you don't recognize any of the others. They're mostly elven. There's a couple of human folk, um, but they're people that have probably gone to the hags in desperate need, desperate times, so asking none for that various I different things. Uh, this is just bare for uh, sorry, several hours. Just... Just... <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not, is, I'm less ashamed of it now. So. <laughs> you find, what did you find out? Uh, anything else? Number three. Number four. Number five. Anything, any any new information about doing Comedy retract? Uh, yeah. So, uh, so Baron uh, doesn't show like. <laughs> I think this, should be the, this is the thumbnail. It's Baron who goes, oh! <laughs> 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 like, like, like uh, thumb, thumbnail. Like, oh! Oh! <laughs> Right. Jump up, it's what. So there's uh, genuinely is no point in doing any more of these. I don't think if I don't recognise them. Late thirty, almost forty. Almost forty. Because all, all, also <laughs> all of these, <laughs> a, a good, a third of the, sorry, two thirds of these deals will also now be defunct because we've killed two of the yep. hags. So yeah. it's pointless even finding out what they are. Yep. Mm. Um, <laughs> because even was, even if we found out what they were and we're like, oh, that person has this thing, it's not even the case anymore. So it doesn't even matter. You don't want to just for shits and giggles? Let's stick up my butt. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> All right, Baradun, uh, I want you to help me world build somebody. You, 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 you find a statuette of what? An elf? Uh, let's find an elf because it's a human, they're long dead. All right, likely. so you find an elf, uh, and man, woman, child, elderly person. Um, let's go for someone. Don't let the child again. Elven, uh, middle aged, old, old, aged old elven, could be dead. middle aged Which elven, one? man, woman. Which one? Uh, middle-aged man. Oh, yeah. middle the big fat one. <laughs> you hand that over, and Ricky says, "That's not going. You need the lubricating, unifying, binding theory." <laughs> Thank you, Budget. <Bob>. Thanks <laughs> for helping. <laughs> And I and I don't even. I'm, 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 I've, I've, lost so, I've lost so much You're shame. You're not going to go. Oh, okay. I've, I've, I've lost so much shame now that he just kind of hikes <laughs> up his. <laughs> this Puts his foot up on the desk. So. Hang on a sec. All of these represent people's memories, yes. right? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can we find Deals that they've made and things, yeah. Right. Can we find more information? I okay. suppose. Go. Go. Oh, oh. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, don't think it's going to work. Go. That's hey. not going to. Uh, hey. uh, come on. 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 Come I don't think it's come on. We need. We need. Come on. Let's go. You actually got a point. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Come on. Oh, that's me. I feel like this is one of those defining moments where people be like, "What's the difference between you guys and Critical Role?" We stick stuff up our butts. We stick stuff up our butts. I bet you can find with scan and shot all season one. I bet you can find moments. Um, yeah. You don't see anything, but I just kind of hike my rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see enough leg to kind of go through. You just kind of just go. <laughs> Just a bit deep on guys. So no, between <laughs> So between you, what is this what did this Elvin what did we say, man? Uh, uh, what did this older Elvin? and like he's dressed in finery as well. So uh, like he's probably well he's, a well to do. He's fine, probably like one gentleman. of the, maybe not necessarily one of five families, but possibly like high up. Maybe one of them. <clears throat> what do we what do we reckon he went to the hags to, to, to get to I reckon, I reckon just, just in case one day, one day. His wife cheated <laughs> on him and he wanted to remove that memory to remove the pain. Ah, okay, I like this. Oh, okay, this can tie in with something. Mm. All right, um, Baradun, you find yourself knocking on that same door, but your uh, skin is slightly more tanned. So uh, hey, I was too engrossed in that I wasn't listening. <laughs> what, he only just started. He just started. But, 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 so what was that? Who? who well, what you'll memory find out. You'll find you'll out. Find listen, out. Listen, listen to the thing I'm about okay. to describe, and you'll find out. Okay. <clears throat> Baradun, you see yourself knocking on the door. Uh, clear from your your bone structure and your hands and things that you are still elven. Mm -hmm. uh, slightly more tanned skin, but still um, light. And the, the door opens, and um, the hag of the... Oh, before the door opens, you hear... Uh, I have to remind, remind me what his name is. Ah, it's Trinton. Trinton? Trinton. Trinton. 
Oh, Trenton. Trin and then... Um, Classic. Trin Bobet. Oh, it will be Trenton, I suppose she would have said. Um, it will be Trin... Uh, uh, get the door, get the door, uh, Babylon, or it will be Trenton. And she opens the door, and Babylon um, uh, is there, the big old yokel one. She's like, uh, well, you're gonna made it a long way from where you're from, up in the Thetavern Islands. Why don't you come on in, Trenton? And he steps inside and you can see yourself lift, lift up and drop a hood. It's clear that he's like tried to not be seen. And uh, he says, he says, I take it you already know why I'm here. And Scout says, well, I don't love. I won't know for another hour yet. Uh, I won't know till it's, till you either tell us or, or till it's become the past. And uh, Enderlin says, but I do. You want rid of the pain. He says, I, I can't live this life anymore. And then over the next course of the memory, he describes his wife um, having this other affair, having this whole, this whole thing, um, them trying to work through it a couple of times and him not being able to deal with it. And then he stops himself and she says, uh, um, Scabatha this time, Hag of the Past says, but that's not all, is it, love? You want rid of the other thing too. And he kind of looks towards her and he says, I don't like the feeling of regret for what I did. And she says, that, yeah, we can do that. What do we get in return? And uh, I think one of them she says, actually, um, uh, Endelin says, I know what we'll give you. We'll give you what you've asked for, but we'll also put you in touch with a friend of ours, a friend called Dave. Dave? <laughs> <laughs> and you are baffled, but you agree to it. You, you think it's the start of the meeting as you hold your hand out and uh, um, uh, Bavlona grabs your hand and as she grabs it, her long, gross fingernails cut the center of your palm, and then you end up realizing this is a blood-binding agreement. Um, and then they agree to put you in touch with the Dave, but then they're like, we'll be in touch. And then they sh usher you to the door and leave. And that's the entirety of the memory. Seems did, like did that I was enough for the deal. The, did I get the memory of him, of what he was ashamed of? Um, He's done a, a lot of work to try and repress it, so he doesn't think about it directly anymore. You get the impression that it was something to do with uh, killing someone. <clears throat> Killed his wife, I reckon. Or the, yeah, or the... Or the, yeah, who, or the, the memory uh, dissolves inside of you. Who was trying to... Who was trying to oh, did the doll dissolve? Yeah, yeah the doll dissolves it's, it's inside like of you weird, once it's inside. This message will self-destruct the Mission Impossible. <laughs> well, no, it's like, it's, like a, it's like a pill that you... Was yeah, that the same, with, was that the same with the Lathal doll? I yep. guess yeah. so. Yeah. It was dissolved inside, inside of me. Have I still got a doll Sorry. inside of me? Sorry. <laughs> very, very different type of doll. Um, different. But by the way, Bob, I'm sorry. You know my the present oh, I gave you for your birthday? Mm. The doll that I took back. You've absorbed it into your asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. I'll get you something else for your birthday. Well, Thank you. And this, and this time, don't absorb it inside your bum. I will. I'll try not. To. That's just a general rule for gifts. You know, any gift. You know, we're doing YouTube shots of like various little clips. Yeah. I, think I want that without context. Of anything at all. I'm sorry. You know the gift I gave you for your birthday. I absorbed it into my ass. asshole. I did. It's gone. That's definitely the outro and the teaser for the next episode. <laughs> hey, Baradun. Yeah. What? Can I get my uh, doll back, my birthday present? I mean, I'll wash it first, obviously. Uh, it's the one... Yeah, yeah, again, I will wash it's, it, it, it. I'd like it back. It's gone, Bob. What do you mean? You know when you're feeling a little bit sick and you go to the local healer and they give you some medicine and you yeah. put it... In your mouth. mouth? What? Well, you know, it's a suppository. You put it up your put it up your butt, and then it dissolves. That's not how I take. My... Wait, did you dissolve my? Did you dissolve Leithel in your ass? I dissolved your birthday present in my ass. Not again, Baradun. I'm sorry. Stop I just doing love... this with my birthday present. I just love... first the great hammer, and now this. I'm sorry. I just love putting things up my ass, Bob. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, All right, dear. so, um, <laughs> continuing with more improvised things that people so. have made? I don't think so. I've okay. shoved enough up my butt for one day. Do you want, do, do you need to cure wounds? <laughs> I don't you think it's hurt it's me, in, hurt Greg. You. Like, Greg. Well, like, they can be sharp. We like, lubed it up. We lubed, we lubed it up, You lubed Greg. it up. Okay, okay, I'm just, I'm just checking. I'm uncomfortable with myself, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not hurt. Okay, not hurt, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Any, any the rest of you, there's a big pile of his wooden dolls. Of the day, if you, any like, the rest of you are interested. You, you know I'm, when someone's <laughs> gone through something like kind of mildly traumatic and yeah. they're just kind of sitting there just like, hmm. you're right, baby, dude? Yeah. And they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I, uh, I don't think he's doing all right. No. It, it's an ordeal the first time you do it. No. And, um, you're hey, right, you right there? Hey, hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, doing okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all good. I'm fine. Do, do we that? don't think any less of you if that's what you're worried about. No, no, no. 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 How, how's your, how's your butthole? Do, do you need me to heal your butthole? No, I'm, I'm good, Greg. Thank you, though. I appreciate you asking. It can give you some guidance and the old. I have, a, I have a spell heal butthole. Do you want me to use high level spell? My spell heal butthole. No, is that the spell I'm going to have to make in D and D Beyond now? I, I thought I already had it. Damn it. Okay. Uh, would you I'm like sure to, it'll come in handy. Would you like it's to take a seat? Specific, it's a specific heal butthole spell. Heal, heal butthole. Heal butthole. <laughs> All right, so you spend <laughs> some amount of time with Bodger interested, it sounds like. Um, oh, I mean, everyone's still in there. Just a bonding moment, to, just to help Baradun get over his... I, mean, I just want, uh, don't want Baradun uh, to feel weird uh, about it. <laughs> you start searching through them. That guy's too thin. <laughs> Guys, I feel like we should kind of move <laughs> on with it. My realm's like, always so thin, damn it. I feel <laughs> so, like yeah, we should move on. We'll reach out and then you just slap us. Like, yeah. like, oh, all right, never mind. And I, all right. I scrape all the dolls back into my bag of holes. Yeah, we'll move for is that what you Ricky call then, it? Uh, Ricky then gives you another, he continues with the documents that he's got. <laughs> anyway, he's like, so should we, <laughs> should you guys finish sticking shit up your ass? Should we move on? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, Ricky. Right, yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, I forgot yeah. you were here, Ricky. Oh, no, so, that was the whole thing. Yeah. That got weird. <laughs> Ricky's had a long rest. <laughs> okay, okay, to yeah, better turn. Shh, do another one. Can I put one at my butt? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 ultimately, I'll, what it comes down to is that maybe. because yeah, look, he failed to take that one, you take that one, you take that one. Okay. Oh, right. uh, so, that one. Yeah. Uh, two. So then, what it means for the rest of your quest, the rest of your quest. Very three. Guys, guys, so it's gonna be this Stop it! Stop it! Stop putting things on your butthole! Exposition for the rest of the campaign. It's 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 the quest that you need to go on for. For the rest of the car, I, I, I've been outlying. Okay. I've worked so hard on it. Sorry, Mr. What's his name again? Who is this guy? Um, Leithel. Leithel. Sorry, Leithel. Sorry, mate. Anyway, <laughs> he hands you a, a copy of the original written oh, statement sorry. from Master Padrick, reporting that the stars pointed to right. Kelathak being transported. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Um, is, that, is that what we do? Master Padrick reports, uh, reported at the time that the stars, uh, with the div him being a divination wizard, the stars pointed to Kelefak being transported against his will to another plane. Um, this was the original document that was forged by um, by this guy. Oh, we saw this, but it was redacted or something? You did, yeah. It was, there was parts of this that were redacted from Yaris Goldhorn's notes, and it was mostly speculation. Now you've got the actual written document. Um, and then finally, uh, he he says, I've, I have a few... Um, I have one more memory to show you. Mm. He takes out another vial, sticks it into Rita's nose, and her eyes open and project this uh, illusion to the room, this, this memory to all of you, seeing it through first person. So the memory picks up with him uh, in a similar set setting as the last one, where he's teaching Leothil a spell. And he says, um, this is me teaching Leothil a spell that I'd developed in my research into duplicating or forging entire people instead of documents. Um, I was looking into whether it would be possible to grow from a, a, a cell or so, like a, a, an entire person that was you, to use as a, as a secondary version of yourself. Um, you see, during the, as the thing plays out, that Leithil starts asking a bunch of questions, like, this, um, this creature that is grown, is it under your command? And Rick says, no, I, I don't believe so. Leithil thinks for a moment and says, could it be? Because I... Possibly, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm just 
what I've gotten, and he's, he's showing off this like <clears throat> this prototype essentially. It's growing in like this glass vat um, that he's lugged into Lathil's office, and it looks like a child version of Ricky. Um, it's it's all sort of um, Keanu Reeves over in Matrix, and he's all in this <laughs> bubble of bubble of goo. Um, and he was, it, uh, from the current developmental period, it seems like it will take 120 or so days, give or take, to, uh, to grow um, to full maturity, and I'm not sure if it becomes sentient at that point. Leothil says, is it only yourself that you can replicate? I don't believe so. I, I, I did have to, and he brings up his hand and shows that there's a huge, ch a huge scar in the, in the center of his palm. He said I had to ch uh, cut out a, a chunk of my flesh in order to have something to start from. Um, but if I, I, I'll go to the clerics to regenerate that at some point. This is right. So a chunk of flesh, you say? It says yes, uh, about a cubic inch or so. Eventually, Leothil gets to the end of this scene as it's playing out for you and says, Ricky, I'm afraid I'm going to have to forbid you from working on this any further. This is quite clearly in the school of necromancy and therefore it's under Terence's purview, head of the uh, control of unauthorized magics. Uh, I forbid. I, I, I order you to give me um, all, all notes that you have on the, the the topic so far. And he says, "But I'm not. I haven't finished the spell." And he says, I, I, "I'm the head of arcane research. You're clearly delving into both mine and Terence's um, uh, purviews here." I order you to hand over the, the notes, and then you get this sense. You all get this sense of like feeling really hard done by, and then the the memory ends. So, <coughs> did you finish? That experimentation. I was I was unable to. I had to hand over everything that I had on the. It and the what moment. happened to your little it, duplicate? It eventually reached maturity at a, at, at I guess around 120 days. Um, at which point it was inert. I opened the I opened the the container it was in, and I could not get any semblance of life into it. Is it a, f a full replica of yourself? It's, a, it's full like, grown adult. Yes. Full grown adult, but just um, <laughs> but just dead. Just lifeless? Without life. Mm. And, and what did you do with it? <laughs> uh, Terence uh, confiscated, well, not confiscated, took... Oh. took well, do we know much about Terence? Is this like, this is uh, Baradun would know that he is yeah. head of control of unauthorized magic, magics, like the... the I got very the distracted by the... the um, CUM? Acronym? Yeah, yeah, I got very distracted by that. <laughs> I was like, eh. oh. The, ah. con the control of unauthorized magics is, um, is the... Is in charge of like looking out for um, r drop the O. Um, <laughs> 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 the uh, is, they look they, they they keep track of things like necromancy and magics that are really illegal and unauthorized. Uh, who's Terence? We have the head we of that, properly head of that met him. Oh, okay. met him it's just a yet. dude that, that's quite it's backstory. Yeah. But backstory man. Just a guy. <clears throat> I since everything that went down after this memory, I have. I wouldn't be surprised if Leithel has continued to work on this under his own yeah. time and has mm. therefore gotten himself a gotten himself Late to a point it. where he can be a, he can be in two places or perhaps mm. or something that I perhaps don't know more. exactly. Infinite places, I guess. I suppose yes. Although it would take quite a toll to take that much flesh from oneself. So you didn't uh, you didn't you can't you can't do this now. I cannot. Damn. I'm afraid it would, you Sorry, would I just uh, reach into my bag of holding. I've got this, and it's like a real smelly piece of meat because it's quite f old. Um, this is just a little bit of. Um, oh, I've forgotten his name. Um, uh, this is just a little bit of Yaris Goldhorn that I've had for a while. Have you really what been carrying this the entire you? time? I'm sorry. He exploded him from the inside out. Why did you out. keep a part of him? I thought it might be important, so I just grabbed a bit of like, chunk sorry, of You said chunk of flesh? Don't put it in my face. What is the I matter with you? I I'm sorry. I'll put it away. Have I've you got... revived him? Sure, sure, that's off meat at this point. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't it know. Is, like, I just assume it would be. It's rotten, yeah. putrid, rancid. It'd be less like just a vial of like, like, just. <laughs> well, no, it's not a vial. I just have a bit of meat. Oh, it is rotten. Your back is disgusting. Oh, so you can grow people back from their DNA? That's great, because we actually killed Yaris Goldhorn, but I kept a little bit of him. I've got some Oh Yaris my god! Goldhorn. Oh, what the f***, Baradun? I picked up a bit of his flesh after you exploded his oh, inside. Why? Oh, 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 oh. It smells oh. Could we, could we grow Yaris back? I mean, and I'm grossed out by that. that oh. Like, we, we didn't mean to kill him. Like, well, we did mean to kill him, but oh. we felt bad about it. So we could- <laughs> Why no? <laughs> God damn! Yeah. back with the, It's yeah. been in my bag for a few months. Yeah. It smells like. Oh, plus 
stop doing that. Oh. We could grow a bag. Oh. I'm so, it's, I mean, it's in a bag of holding. It's in a different plane of existence. I've got a dead plane of existence. Like, the, smell, the, smell go, the smell lingers from the stuff that's he's, after he's brought it out. But like when he's walking around day to day, it's, it is a different plane of existence. So. Can we just say, like, if, I think everyone here has lost a lot of respect for you. <laughs> because I don't think any of you had much respect for me to begin with. Yeah, because everything else inside that bag of holding is now going to smell like dead Yaris gold. Home. That whole plane of existence. Yes. To be fair, that bag of holding in specific is made out of human skin. Yeah. And it was taken from Babylon of the Hag. Correct. And it was filled initially with just, just, just fish Literally guts. Literally guts. Oh, so yeah, anytime yeah, you yeah, remove yeah. anything from that, we were just it's like, stink, oh. yeah. Every yeah, time yeah, that yeah. goes into his inventory, it stings like fish yeah. guts and what rotting you yaris. Can you done. next long risk? Can you give that bag a clean? I actually did give the bag a clean. The extra fun thing is, is that, that he has pressed the digitation, oh. which can clean materials. <laughs> um, uh, okay, sorry. I thought we might. And might be able to bring Yaris back, but never mind. With the, with the spell, it you, you, might you, you, work, but uh, I'm not sure. Okay. It would have had to have been preserved better than that, like in uh, a, a cold climate or something. Never mind. You can, you can, you can get rid of it. Like you can, giant, are you going to keep it? Giant giant keep it. <laughs> you, no, you took the giant stones, absorbed, into absorbed them into your hammer. That's why your hammer's a plus two hammer now. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, this as, is as well as a Ricky giant wraps up. baby testicle. Yeah. Ricky wraps up and uh, tells you this is the information that I have on cool. the situation. If if you can... Well, um, we need to, for lack of a better term, achieve a quest with your family. Um, can you, like, give us a tick on the quest or something? <laughs> if you can... <laughs> give us a pass? If you, can, if you can clear my name so that I can work again at the Order of the Weave, that'll, clear that'll with, tick, with tick these guys. The Order of the Weave. Oh, okay, with the Order of the Red. He okay. was he was banished and he was fired and then banished and Lifehold tried to kill him. Oh man, so I feel like we're not going to tick that quest for a while. For a while. God damn it. Yeah. But it is essentially a tick once you've cleared his name. But he gives you a, an extra vial and he says, um, this is a memory of myself just explaining my situation in case anything happens to me. This is my account. Sorry. Oh, oh shit! Retract! <laughs> Retract! Uh, retract. Oh, so <laughs> retract. So that, that's a, basically a memory of this conversation? No, a memory of his. He, he, Him talking in front of a mirror, being like, this is what's going on. Exactly happen. what it was. He oh, yeah. went, Ricky's as and when you see so it, if we, if we, the if we, memory starts with him uh, looking down at his hands and then he looks up at a mirror and he just talks to everything. So it's My basically what we can go like. Hey, when this is what happens. Prove this is the yep. story. Yeah, yeah. We get one shot at it. Is there any more readers? Oh, is there any more readers around the place? We might need a. The, there is a. Um, one of the Order of the Weave. Probably. There is. Uh, there is a, a, a member of the Order of the Weave that <coughs> Robert's definitely not stalling to look up really quickly. But <laughs> he's, a, he's very. He's a brilliant mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I, much. I know who you're talking he's, about. It's, yes. Um, uh, it's it's been a with a letter like, of the alphabet. It's, it's a. F f been a it's been a while. It was a man or a woman potentially. The head of artifact express. Items, objects, and the unknown. Master Jack Hooper. J J J Jack. Jack, Jack yes. Hooper. Jack. I, knew it. I knew it. Jack. So there's one at. Uh, there's no acronym at, there. It's just A I O U. <laughs> there's one uh, at. Uh, the Order of the Owls. Weave. Yes, the Order of the Weave. Master Jack Hooper is an artificer. He is um, someone that I think. I wait, uh, yeah. <laughs> back on the airship, uh, Master Padrick actually alluded to you back when you were an artificer. He was like, oh, you're an artificer. I know somebody at the um, Temple of Calibor that's an artificer. He was talking about Master Jack Cooper. Master Jack Head Cooper. Mm. Artifacts, expressions, items, objects, and the unknown. Um, so, you, uh, where the hell were we? You, you, you've taken all the, um, the, all the vials. The, the, the vial, you've, you've taken all the dolls all the do back. All the dolls uh, back. You've taken the I've vial from vials. him of like, this is my memory of the, the, the account of the situation. If you can do yeah. like, it basically asks you if you can ever get the chance to do like uh, Leothil did with the mass projected illusion, and you can like use this, then get, get out to the world that I'm in. Yeah. yeah. Just do that. That could I, work. I will do that. Not right now. Right now? No. Okay. To the mass illusion. There it is, then. done. Hey, we won D&D. &D. <laughs> you did it. Nice. There it is. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if this was the session we wrapped up the campaign. <laughs> Finally got into the tavern just as I wrapped up. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> and then lived happily ever after. So, uh, so where to uh, now? Ricky oh. tells you um, that you yeah, uh, have basically got uh, the OK from three of the five families now. His is just pending. Um, and there's the Selwyns and the Ladder Geeps left. If you're interested in them, you could just leave the Silver Islands before getting there. Uh, Three out of five ain't bad. <laughs> Three out of five ain't bad. Three out of five ain't I bad. Like from a, from what, a, what do we need the five for again? Well, like, from, from a video gamey kind of perspective, a little bit meta talk, 
you know that the that you're going to need allies for this yeah, yeah, upcoming right. like because Lethal is very powerful, very intelligent, <clears throat> has a lot of contingencies, and he's been planning this for years. So taking him down is going to be difficult. I'm imagining well, he's none of those things. He is a <laughs> he is a propaganda machine, yeah. and he has all of the resources of acting high sorcerer of the order of the weave. At I'm his imagining disposal. an upcoming battle like. Avengers Endgame. That's exactly what I'm imagining as well. So at yeah. some point you're going to need allies, and basically right now you're in the collecting ally, collecting powerful well, allies. You have three of the five families. The Ladagip family is very powerful. We should go see them. And the Ladagips so are very powerful. I can't wait to film this. The, the Avengers Endgame. Is the I'm pretty sure there'll be something. The are very openly powerful. They are very wealthy. They're the wealthiest of all of the families, and they have uh, the resources that come with that. Um, they're also very connected across the lands, a lot more than the Elven, uh, the other rest of the five families are. The five families are a little bit more. Um, not, what's insular. the word? Not, yeah, insular is the word. I was like, it's not, uh, it's not innov innov in innovative. Uh, insular. No. They are insular to the to the to the outside world, to non-elves. But the Ladagips are a little bit more diplomats. They go out there and see the world a little bit more. So the, the benefits of having them on board is that, obviously, you've yeah. got a, a powerful ally. The Selwyns are very powerful in different ways, in much more subverted ways. They are powerful because they extend their, their purview into unauthorized magics and uh, necromancy and things like that. They mm. officially, on the, on the front, they are the ones that are in charge of keeping that stuff down in the Thilven Islands. But everybody knows, like unofficially, that they're kind of dodgy and they probably use some of that stuff themselves as well. Mm. Mm. The ladder geeps, uh, Lorna ladder geep, came to you on the um, submarine, which goes submarine. Does that's how the name um, came She by. came to you privately and said, "If you can get some dirt that proves that the Selwyns are actually dirty, then you'll have the ladder geeps' approval. But by doing so, you will lock out yourself from getting the Selwyns' approval." Mm -hmm. So we kind of pick one or the other. Vice versa, mm. if you go for the Selwyns and like you side mm. with them, and you're like, "Yeah, we'll help you do some dodgy stuff and cover it up," then the ladder geeps you'll lock them out of getting your approval, but you'll get the Selwyns on side. I mean, the ladder geeps sound like the yeah, obvious choice. Well, the Sel Sel Selwyns feel like they're they? a bit evil anyway. Yeah, like yeah. They, they could be on the side with. Uh, well, Leothal already. Th yeah. th there's connections starting to happen between Leothal and the Hags and Bonecaller. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I kind of want to, like, I'm wondering if this Dave person is <laughs> in, I don't know. Make or a, maybe... Make a religion check for me. <coughs> Remind me where the name Dave came from? From that second one I shoved up Shit, my butt. second one you shoved up your butt. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to put you in touch with Dave. That's right, put you in touch with Dave. Or, yeah. or this guy Trenton could be um, Bonecaller. We don't, I don't think we know his Trent. name. Uh, Dave 19. Bonecaller. 19. Dave. Plus religion Plus is, religion four is a lot. Uh, you Six. Six, you, actually. You remember from the time with Zybilna casting legend lore and telling you the origin of the world, there were ten gods and ten dark lords. One of the dark lords was called Dave. Yeah, yeah. That, I forgot about that. <laughs> it was like, I knew. And Dave. And I wrote that as well. You Jesus did. Christ. I should remember What's that. the point of all these notes? If they I know, know, right? Shame, mate. Shame. Um, shame. Do, do I know, because the name Trenton, I'm trying to figure out if that is Make a history check. Yeah. Um, Trenton is the memory. So Trenton is the, the statue that shoves up your butt. Yeah. Trenton. Yeah. Trenton. Yeah. Trenton. Yeah. That had his wife cheating on uh, yeah. 10 oh, plus 4. 10 plus 4. Uh, 14 with a 14 history. Aradun doesn't pay attention to a lot of stuff. 14 is above average. Um, you don't know if Trenton's the name of Bone Collar or not. Okay. not I mean, we can go and ask people. You can start asking around. Yeah. You just don't know. Hey, Ricky, do you know the name of Bone Collar? <laughs> no, I'm. Uh, oh, well, yeah, actually, Trenton. he would. Probably. He totally <laughs> yeah, would. He's yeah, one he of my family. It's not. It's uh, Control F. It's not Trenton. It is Bone Collar. Um, where's his name? It's on here somewhere. Uh, Veril. Veril Sil Silwyn. V A E R I L. Okay, Vareal. so that's not the connection I thought it was. Uh, Vareal Silwyn is Bone Caller. Oh, yeah, he was. Also he was the one who was out. Yes, mm -hmm. he was outed as one of the Silwins uh, recently, and the rest of the Silwins went. What? Necromancy? What? Behind oh. our backs? Who knew? Oh, no. Scapegoat. Oh. Pushed him so out. So one of family. the benefits we got with the Silwins though is we could probably get a, a shortcut to Bone Caller, right? If we wanted to. Is there a yeah, that's what I was thinking because if they are. If they are dodgy, yeah. then it might pay it might be a to get on back door into maybe, but yeah. Arden knows all about the back doors. R remind Kale, me, all about but back doors. then if we're trying to get the world on side and we side with them, remind me specifically why we want to go for Bone Caller. Um, there's a, a few connections happening between Leithal, Bone Caller, Hags. Uh, and we want to question or we, kill him? Uh, I mean, we're probably not killing him, but we can question him first. Who knows? And, and find out. Like, what are, we, what are we trying to like? Hey, tell us 
Well, the things we just fought. How to beat Leithel. The, the things we just fought in the previous session were sent by Leithel, courtesy of Bonecaller. So it was Bonecaller's yeah. minions that Leithel had obviously asked. But yeah, I want to like. Send. Yeah. So it's like one degree of separation from Leithel. From Leithel. And, and so if we can uncover that Leithel had been working with Bonecaller, that's even more detrimental. And we can, like more help, help him cancel Leithel. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. So, so, so the cancel campaign. Using the Salwins could be a way to get to Bonecaller because yes. at the moment we don't have any way to get. Bonecaller. I mean, we could do it through the ladder geeps, though. Yeah. Oh, do they have some sort All of... All roads lead to Bonecaller. Yeah, or to try, regardless. <laughs> the same. I'm pretty sure whichever family we go to will eventually get to Bonecaller. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's maybe. just whether or not you get to him and he's on your side because yeah, he's yeah, on your yeah. side of the Selwyns, or you get to him and you have to fight him. Yeah, because the, the Selwyns might, might still be like on Bonecaller's side. They just go, oh, we don't... Uh, we, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. no, no, but really... Or we like, could trick them into them. thinking that we're, you know, into giving us the information about where Bonecaller is. But that could, could also be the, bad. It could also though. be okay. the Bonecaller has been like, fuck like, you guys for making the Ladder Geeks. Or we could roll for it. I reckon Ladder Geeks. I reckon Ladder Geeks. Okay, Ladder Geeks. the Ladder Geeks. All right, which means you have to find dirt on the Selwyns. Um, um, but, but Ricky, before we go, can we have a bit... We fought earlier today, remember? We did, uh, missing yes. a bunch of spell we, slots, a bunch of other bits and pieces. You've got a lot yes, of rest. Yes, of course. You can, so yeah, you have yeah, a, yeah, a guest room. Um, you'd have to bunk up or share. Yeah, um, I need my alone Do, time, unfortunately. <laughs> during the hour or two before sleep, can I, I go over to Bob and go, Bob, do you want me to identify a couple of the things? That yeah, you're... sure. Yeah, 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 along, yeah. along with? So I look at the... Uh, yes, you can hit along. The things you said that we need to identify, stone keys, vial of perfume, ring and amulet. Yep, cool. Yeah, you can cast them as a ritual for 10 minutes without casting spell slots. Um, so in that order then... Do, 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 do. The stone was first, yes? Mm -hmm. The stone is a cleansing stone. Um, it is a, uh, a, a personal device that you can hold on you and as an action you can use it to essentially clean all of your person. You can clean you can, without showering and things, nice. just clean yourself. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to actually talk about splitting that loop. Should we, 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 <laughs> should we, we hear what everything is and then yes? Right. What? <laughs> what loop? What are you talking what are you about? Talking about? Um, uh, what was the next thing on the list? Uh, the keys. The keys, you recognize that most of them are just mundane keys, but there is one of them on there that is called a mystery key. Mm. Uh, you identify that as an item that has a 5% ch chance of opening any lock. Mm. Um, once it has opened that lock, it disappears, and if it doesn't open the lock, it doesn't disappear. So basically, you stick it in the lock, oh. then I roll a d20, and on a 20, it opens the lock, and if it doesn't, then it doesn't work for that lock. But you can try again on another yeah, this lock. This is the key that we got. Yeah. I got it, yeah. Mystery key. Yeah. <laughs> the key that I got, yeah. Uh, uh, mystery key. Five percent chance of opening a, a lock if you're in a oh, dire situation. Really nice. You're like, we need to get in this door. Let's just try. How many it times can you like go? Try, try, try. No, once try. you've tried it on a lock, the lock has said it's mm. not for this lock. Drop. Mm. Mm. Uh, um, vial of perfume. The vial of perfume is a perfume of bewitching. Uh, from memory, it's uh, if you if you put on this perfume, then you have advantage on persuasion checks and things like that for an hour or so. I'll give you the stats for it. But you can, or you can even just look it up on of what the end of Beyond. Persuasion? Bewitching. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be a perfume real item. Bewitching. Uh, these are all real items, yes. I made my mistake of uh, uh, giving you a shit ton of um, uh, homebrewed items when I had to en manually enter uh, them the ring. Beyond. Uh, the ring is the probably the most valuable thing that he has, a ring of protection. It gives you a plus one to your armor class. I, and it doesn't count as armor, so you can so wear it. Uh, I, wear don't, it I don't tell that to anyone. <laughs> you don't tell that? You are and, identifying and, it? And it's obviously on my person as I'm identifying. I've been giving all of these things back to you. <laughs> yeah, and I go, what's the ring? No, I can't identify it. F*** off, yes you can. No, you've, given, you've given me all of those <laughs> things the to ring? It. it takes me I guess hours it's, I guess it's junk to identify. Yes, sell it. He has to be in contact with I have it to be for, in contact for 10 with minutes it. in order and to so cast it. And so that ring... So he has to I be turning it over in his hand. On my finger. At the end of the 10 minutes... Give me my f***ing ring back! No! And slips it on his finger. I'm working to identify all these things for you, Bob. F*** you, I'm taking the ring. You have a ring well, of f*** you, give it back! Ring of protection. Ring of protection. Which means your armor class is an 11 instead of a 10. Give, hey, well, well, give our ring back. <laughs> give me give, my ring give back! Give our ring back. That we're, we're yet to talk about dividing our loot. Uh, yeah, yeah, That's actually mainly my loot that you helped me get. Hey, Baradun, I acquired this ring. Can oh, yeah? You tell me what it is. Okay, yeah, let me do a little bit of investigation here. Oh, oh my god, that's amazing. That's quite important. That's a ring of protection. Great, great yeah. yeah. Great. great, all right, give it back. Whoop. Give me my ring. Our ring. M what? My ring. 
What, what ring are you talking about? Give me my ring, my ring of protection. Our, uh, our, our ring, our ring of protection. My ring? I don't know. Our, our ring, that ring is ours. Remember we split the loot? No. Back, where are you going? Hey. I believe wow. that was everything, was it? Oh, the clockwork amulet. Yeah, yeah clockwork. Uh, the clockwork amulet is literally called a clockwork amulet. And it can, uh, once per day, I think it is, you can, instead of rolling on an attack, you can just take 10 plus your modifier. So if you're if you if you're fighting something with a with a terrible armor class and you're like oh ten plus my modifier is definitely going to hit them anyway I'm just going to guarantee myself a, a hit. Yeah. One, one, one per day guarantee once a hit. Per, once per day guarantee well not guarantee a hit it guarantees you a ten on the roll. Okay. Do I have to sleep to get that extra armor class because I just put it on and it has. Uh, you need to go down to the attunement slots under uh, your under your inventory bit. So uh, it, inventory, scroll right, down a bit, go, attunement, attunement, and then it'll... Oh no, <laughs> don't attune to the mask of Redacted, Jesus! <laughs> there we go, done. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Just while he's investigating, he accidentally gets the mask out and puts it on. And... Okay, done. Can I only attune to three things? Yeah, everybody can only attune to three things. I didn't know that. Except artificers, who can attune to more things? Uh, oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want more than three things. That sounds horrible. Why would I want that? Where, where's the, um, the shirt supposed to live now? The shirt, uh, the shirt will live in your possessions if you've added it. Um, Sorry, and what did, did you, you call you the amulet? It? Yeah, it was there, but it's not there. So Clockwork amulet. Maybe we didn't add. Hmm. Um, find it again and uh, add it. Because it will usually ask you if you want to add it to your equipment or your backpack. Sure. Order of the Weave is like the uh, top, the sure pinnacle. Order of the Weave It's like the Senate. Order of the, of the Weave, yes. Order of the Weave consists of eight people um, that are each in control of one of these different departments I've been mentioning yeah. all the time. Yeah. Um, and they vote on everything. Yeah, right. So come Sabotation Day. So High Sorcerer is a, president, they're the Senate above. Yeah. 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 High Sorcerer is the head of the the, the Senate, as it were, and yeah. the, the others are the eight sort of confidants um, yeah. cool. to that person. Cool. <clears throat> that are specialists in divination or artific artificing or duplicates. And so are Jack and Terence part of that or are they... Um, Jack and Terence are both part, part of the Order of the Weave. The they, are part, they are two of the eight people yeah. on the Order of the Weave. Padrick is another one, Master Padrick, yeah. the Dragonborn. Yeah. Um, who else do you know? Just Hamish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, mean, you mean Hamish, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Leothil is also part of it because he's head of Arcane Research. Yeah. There's eight of them. Okay. If you learn them, you learn them. I've got them all written. So, um, you have identified that stuff, you have a little sleep. Uh, no, we're not done yet. <laughs> no, 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 like, okay. wait, 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 uh, now I'll what? take, uh, let's talk about the divvy of the loot. What loot? What loot? I don't know what he's talking about. I don't, Do know, know, what about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What do I? What, what do you're, I you're get? You're not part of what this. What do I? You know what? I want something. I want something. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do, Greg. Yeah. You should lose your own body. <laughs> I, 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 I can't morally do that, but I can morally take from you. <laughs> <laughs> I love. Um, I love as well that there were like four or five other bodies in the in the plaza, <laughs> and you were just, just like one. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I was thinking about it. I was like, <laughs> we've attracted a lot of attention <laughs> already. So what, what, no, you guys. What, what have we got? What have we got? Basically, we've got a bunch of gold. And that gold? How much gold? Five. It was, well, those rings worth five hundred gold. And you got a bunch of other gold as well. The, oh, the yeah, rings worth five hundred gold. No, yeah, yeah. The, the, the extra jewelry that he got, the oh, non-magical non sure. jewelry, he took it off him, and it's a couple of necklaces, a bangle, and some, and some so rings. So I'd like with half the yeah, jewelry fine. and and the amulet. No, I'll have the amulet. You can take the you can take your shirt that you wanted so much. Remember the, the, the shirt of mending? <laughs> yeah, He's like, what shirt? Yeah, yeah. I've got a yeah, shirt. Yeah. This, is, this, is, this loot are you was my loot. You were helping me. Are you wearing it, by the way? Like, do you yeah, push I'm, I'm wearing Sweet. it. <laughs> Doesn't wearing things for a barbarian lower oh, your armor does that? Does Only if it's armor. Ah, oh, okay. Right. Just, I see you've just got a shirt on. Kind of kind of kind of a noble shirt. Oh, nice oh, noble shirt. Oh, nice kind of flowy actually, shirt. You know, on the green screen. I just realized green screen. Uh, you don't want a noble shirt? Subtract. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All this effort, Jesus. I don't, I no, I don't want to put I, a shirt I put on, it on, on the uh, green screen. Give it on my backpack. <laughs> okay, you've got it in your backpack. But when you need it, you've got a clothes. So maybe if you need to go into like, if you want to need to look like you're a noble, you've got a noble clothes. I'm like... I'm the one taking the thing. I, I'm the one that could do with. Uh, it means I can I can have a better chance at bypass uh, hitting someone effectively. Yeah, 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 yeah. You historically really <laughs> struggled to hit people, right? Whereas I'm just fucking guaranteed. Right, right. <laughs> give <laughs> give, give me all the jewels and the stuff, and you have the amulet. Yeah, fine, fine. G all right, good luck. Five hundred gold right worth, of, gold gold worth of jewelry. Gold. Uh, this is kind of like I've got to put that as note, like kind of yeah, more just, just layman. Just notes. put that in as layman notes. Uh, there is a space for. I'll just make a note of it. Tell me later. I'll do it tonight. 
benefit of you all being on D&D Beyond. I yeah, have access yeah. to all your characters and I can add things to your inventory. Oh, yeah, there's a point. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, cool. Happy days. Cool. Uh, in the morning, we call in the morning? We're call yep. Nothing so I'm taking out, 500 gold out. Yeah. I'm taking 500 gold out. Um, had you added it to your actual gold? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just going to use it well, as currency? Well, th th this is like <laughs> late afternoon that we were having this yeah. meeting. Like, I'd like to do a little bit more work in our downtime to the uh, scroll. To uh, the, the scroll requires scroll. eight hours of uninterrupted work. Never mind. So unfortunately, in order to make a check on that, it's... I need yeah, to not sleep. You need to, you need to not sleep. Um, so this is late afternoon. If there is anything you want to do in your downtime, like you, you used to do with your press-ups and things, then you can spend some time doing downtime activities. Otherwise, oh. we'll skip to the morning. I'll just give a little old knock on the Tome of Influence and Leadership. Oh, yeah. Um, doesn't seem to have recharged yet. I am. Um, I, I just practice mindfulness because uh, I, I caught myself a few times in that previous battle, getting quite tempted to, well, to just, just, just kind of hit something. And I, 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 I you're also I'm, very I mean to Ricky in the previous. You called him useless and a piece of shit. Called him a little Ricky, little bitch. Oh, called, did I? You called him a little bitch. I am a little bitch. You called him a little bitch. I have no memory of this, but I, I meditate on that as well. <laughs> I don't really remember calling Ricky a bitch, but. Okay, I, I will, am going to meditate on this and try and figure out why I would do that because that is not an appropriate thing to do. <clears throat> why would I call you a bitch? I'm sorry, I'm, I, I am bigger than that. I don't know, I, I'm sorry for calling Ricky a bitch. Sounds like a pretty badass thing to say though. No, no, that's not right. Don't call anyone a bitch, even if they're, ah, even if they are a bitch, God. Mm. <clears throat> Ricky, Ricky the bitch, Ricky the bitch, bitch. Nope, Ricky the not bitch, mm-mm. <laughs> bitch old Ricky, Ricky bitch. All right, in the morning then, uh, Ricky comes to you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> in the Sorry, morning, Ricky comes to you, and he's he's he's, uh, he's gone out for breakfast and brought some brought back some like takeouts, essentially take out breakfast for you. And he says, Cheers, mate. Um, the word has really gotten round that Baradun is in town, and that oh, he wow. saved the the saved the town from from demons. What are people saying? Very divided. There was quite oh, a heated fuck. argument in the bakery. Oh. Some some are very strongly on your side that you are. Um, that, that you were here to save them and Lethal was lying about you. Others are very strongly that uh, they're, they're saying things like, this is the stuff that you could have got earlier if you'd have hit, caught it in the moment with the gossip. Well, perhaps Baradun didn't actually kill him. Maybe maybe Baradun's the one behind all of this and trying to turn us against Lethal after w what we just heard about him. It, I mean, he's literally a demon and he turns up and kills him in one shot. I don't believe it. So there's some people who are like, it's mm. too convenient yes. for Leia still to be like, Baradun's alive and he murdered Kalthak and here's all these things and, yeah. he, and he's like sprinkling truth in like he murdered a town of kids <laughs> and all of this stuff. Yeah. And then the very, uh, the very same moment, like demons appear, kill a couple of nobles and then you turn up to save the day and be victorious. So there's very divided yeah, in the people. I get it. Okay. Conspiracies are um, afoot. Exactly. Um, Ricky, before we go, um, I just wanted to get your opinion on a piece of uh, equipment that I have. Um, just, could you just, this mask? <laughs> it, it, have a look it, at it. It won't, be, it won't be satisfied until he's got every one of the Order of the Week have to get obsessed with this mask. Have a look at it. Pop it on, I don't know. <laughs> sure. You prick. <laughs> <laughs> Pops it on. Is it meant to do something? I don't. I it don't know. It. I'm trying to figure it out. It definitely has runes of all of the different schools of magic. In fact, including necromancy. That's strange. Yeah. Anything? I, I mean, I could. You, you, you have identified, don't you? Have you tried? I, I, I have. I have tried. Have you tried? Surely you have. Yeah. I have. yeah sure. Have been, I think you guessed identifying it. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. I think don't. I think this was before you got identified. It might have been. I can't remember. A, a domino Padrick has definitely cast it. Yeah. He looks it over and says, I, I can't tell you what it does, but it is interesting. Yeah. Could you just hand it back real quick? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I just, there's a, so there are smaller ones up here that seem to be around the rim. It's a very intricate magic. In fact, what, this rune is made of smaller runes. Oh, wow. This is very That's interesting. Crazy. Does yeah. that mean anything? Got I don't know, maybe. Runes. I don't feel different when I put it on, though. Yeah, no, neither. It takes, mm. 
Are you, are you, I could, I could, I could have a look at a this if you like to. Affected by it as well. That's why I want to. If you like to leave it with me, I can, I can have a look. No, at it. oh no, no, I didn't want to leave it with you. I wanted to find out more about it. Oh right, yeah, makes sense, I suppose. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He's not giving it back. That's what I'm not. Oh right, shh, shh. Just start slowly lowering my crossbow. I just grab it. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Bajor. Thank you, Bajor. Thank you, Bajor. Actually, one other thing before we go, I have this interesting mask that we picked up along the way. Um, I was wondering if you'd be able to oh, check it out for me? I suppose, yes. The, uh... Yeah, no, actually, check it out for me, yeah. Do, yeah. Uh, but really, don't... It's really interesting. Have a look at the runes on the inside. Do, uh, don't put it on. Oh, yes. Uh, that's... Oh, fuck. Why? Why are you doing this? Just cursing everyone, I guess. Ah, there it is. Ah, fuck. Oh. Look, he's cursed now. Just, just, okay. What? Wait, you know, is it cursed? No, of That's... course not. You actually have something about it, but you should check it out. This is fascinating. Is Definitely right? don't show the inside. Because that's got to be. There's a room. Actually, if, the, I could, the, if, I could, uh, if I could have that back now, yeah. if I could compliment. Wait, 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 wait. I could have that back now. No, I. I, I no, actually, wait, no, actually, 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 no, uh, you know what? I just wanted a quick assessment. Right. No, uh, <laughs> another time maybe. Yeah, no, 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 no. Once we've sorted well, I mean, all this one. Actually, on, on inside though, if we, if we do just hang out, like we can, you know, we can hang, you know, we can take them. If <laughs> if it came to that. <laughs> <laughs> if it came to that. Like, this is busy practicing your mindfulness there, Greg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, I'm oh, sorry. I, I, I go I back up and meditate. I, think, like, during, ah. during the, I mean, I can kill him. I can probably oh. set him off by. Ah. During, during the night as well, while, Bert, while Greg's like meditating, we, we cut away to like the, the middle of the town square while the people just gathered around this literal god. Some people are like worshipping him and he's like, well, I'm going to go now. And they just <laughs> back to this guy and the rest of them are like, Do we? it was Erios, he's the god of the war and he was here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have got him to sing your praises as well, Baron. Like, you really should have. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. He could have been standing in the square singing praises for Eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> Eight hours. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Ricky, uh, Ricky tells you. Well, you tell him you're going to go investigate the Selwyns, and he says um, you're you're probably likely to find the best route uh, over at Althalas. Um That's sort of the party party island where a lot of the tourists go. There's Athalas. a there's a casino there called Big Shot, and underneath. Underneath the casino, there's a... An well, now there's a whole episode going to be dedicated <laughs> to uh, Athalas and the casino. Okay. Where, 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 Athalas. Athalas, yes. It's the casino you went and to. And what's underneath the casino? It's the casino you went to where you met Sandra. Oh, is it Sandra? Um, yeah. Oh, um, oh hello, darling. The, Welcome back. Underneath the casino, uh, there is a, an exclusive club for the high rollers uh, called Terran. Um, and I think he hi hangs out in there a lot. Um, who, sorry, who? The, um, the, the leader of the, the Selwyns, Trenton Selwyn. What's the club called again? Trenton Selwyn. Trenton Selwyn, yes. So what's the Trenton club was the name of the second doll that I Ah, Trenton. So he's oh, the sorry, guy so who club. Club, is the club is called Terran. Terran. T-E-R-R-A-N, yes, because cool. it's underground. Cool. The um, so we, we, we actually haven't, when we met with the Lorna Ledigate, she didn't specifically g give us a quest, did she? Did we? I was about to we met with the Ledigate? It was find some sort of dirt. Yeah, you met with Lorna on the submarine. All right. Yes, correct. Oh, so she did say get some dirt on the Selwyns. She said if you can if you can prove that the Selwyns are dodgy, then that's, oh, so we don't need to go back to her. Awesome. Great. So we can go straight to this club. Amazing. Let's do it. What cool. are we going to the club for? To meet Trenton to meet. Selwyn and get some f***ing dirt. Uh, who's Scrape. Trenton again? Scrape Scrape some Trenton I'll, I'll was second up your butt. Up your butt. <laughs> the, which we've just found out. <laughs> he, he was the one that got went to the uh, the memory was the witches of uh, yeah. deleting memories. Yeah, yeah. And he's of full him. of regret. Full of regret. Okay. Regret about potential. Do we have a gauge as to how long ago that memory took place? No. No. Okay, but he's still alive, obviously. So. Oh, he's there, there was no he's indication that yeah, yeah. be alive. There was no while. indication that he had any dirt on the Selwyns, was it? He is a Selwyn. He is a Selwyn. He's a Selwyn, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I reckon we go talk to him, but we yeah. do it like we, we're not trying I'll to... put on a disguise, like a moustache or something. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, let's head over. All right. Uh, Thank you very much, Ricky. Lovely to see you. Thank <laughs> <We'll come laughs> you again. And uh, let, let me know, know, know if you ever want to borrow this mask again. And I, I just got, he, Ricky, yes, I would love to, uh, definitely. Ricky, um, I just before, yes? before we leave, yes. uh, you're a wonderful host, etc. No, oh, thank you. Uh, and, a, and a powerful, <laughs> pow powerful magician. Do you, do you think anything got any trick, magician. Uh, uh, magic, anything you could give me? 
You want me to give you something? Oh, no, you don't have to. It's just that we're trying to save the world. Is there a magical anything? Like a <laughs> Is it a, anything particular <laughs> that, that you, you like? Oh, like a, any any ring or, or jewelry that could help me be oh, stronger? Um, roll persuasion check. <laughs> this is not a bad idea. I mean, it's not a bad idea, but it's so cheeky. F hell. 20! 20, a net 20. F I'm rolling it as balls, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, Plus yeah, you, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> that's plus my charisma, you which is what? actually plus, plus two. two that, yeah. That's twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. Uh, he was, just, uh, just, yes, I, I, I'll see what I can find. Give hey, me one moment. Uh, thank you. He will I'll go. Mean, fuck it if you've got <laughs> anything, I'll take it. You can get a twenty. Um, make, a, make a persuasion. I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon <laughs> as well. Hey, two, you, two, okay. fucking hell. <laughs> Let's just see what's going on. 18, and oh, what was it? Persuasion, plus yeah. 5, 23. 23, what? all right, all right, all right. Magic <laughs> items, let's have a look. Random. So I jump on and go, hey? And Greg well, tries to go, oh, me, me too? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right. well, see you later. Oh, actually, it was a pleasure. Sorry, but before we go, um, I was just wondering, can, can, I, can I have a thing? What? Roger, what? I just wonder, can, have you got any, like, magic? I'm sorry, but that's, I don't that's... think you can do that. Well, you can, you can. That's a bit yeah, rude. Absolutely. Oh, what? 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 Okay. Well, what, okay. What, what, can I have a thing? Yeah, sure. Great. I mean, Great. can I have a thing? No. Ah! Ha! You didn't, yeah, because ah. you're not charming like us. Yeah. Give me a thing. It was hurtful <laughs> after that immediately with those two. You get convincing make... enough for an argument. Uh, I start uh, jumping on the bandwagon. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shag Can I just say, you know, yeah. you don't ask. You don't get. Exactly. Well, in my no, case, you, asking, you do ask and don't get stuff. No, you're not charismatic enough. Yeah. You need to dice roll better. That was straight up rude. I was just following you. Yeah. It shouldn't have mattered how I asked. Deal with it. I just kind of mind turns into us. I'm sorry I called you a little bitch. I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Uh, I'm still going to change. By the way, look, I don't mean to impose. I'm it's doing just my best. that we're trying to save the world. Have you got anything magical that could be possibly useful to, I don't know. I want to try your... No, no pressure. No, no, that's all part no of pressure it. at all. He's that's all part three, of the, three. the charisma of it all. Like, yeah. I'm like going, no pressure, but that's just making it feel more at ease. And I'm just riding on your coattails because going, yeah, yeah, we're just what did you get? adventurers out. Total? Huh? 23. 23. 20, not 20 with 22. 23. Yeah. Three. Three, so did you roll as well? I did, but I rolled a one. <laughs> All right. Ah, at least I didn't do that. Meriden's like, yeah, me too! So, Give me right. something as so well! I want goes, something to me, 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 me! My persuasion is nine, so I actually got a ten. <laughs> but net one, doesn't that count for like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Don't yeah, it, it's just the worst you can get. Yeah, so thank you for asking. Thank, thank you very much. much. Did they get magic items? Yes, we did. <laughs> I want a magic item! Yeah! Give me a magic item! No! I want a magic item! I want it! I want a magic item! No! I want a magic item! This is a common side effect of stuffing stuff off your bottle. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not being very persuasive. No. I think Ricky is just so weirded out about you just shoving stuff up your butt in his house. Uh, roll. Give me some more. Roll me a D100. That's going to be oh, your the percentage test. No, not the no, one no, that's no, a D44. That's your 48. Uh, this one and the one that's similar to it. Uh, I, uh, one. This one. Same with you. I'm fucking excited. Yeah, I'm excited for you. These two? Rolls. Roll in here, bro. Yep. Roll, roll, roll in the rolling space. In your fucking <laughs> dice tray. 73? 73. 73 and a 1, 11. so 11. 11. All right. Um, he gives you a. Um, I, I, can't I can't I'm going to start asking everybody for everything. <laughs> he brings out two items for the two of you to decide amongst yourself who gets what. There is a potion of healing and a, a first level spell scroll of jump. Um, the spell, if you un unravel it and read the spell, you cast jump on yourself, so you triple your jump distance. I would like the jump. He gives you a potion of healing. Of jump. He gives you a potion of healing. Oh, that was very civil of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Quite thank, a few thank you, Ricky. Thank, you, it's, it's, thank you, Ricky. It, it's, yeah, it's a gentleman right. and a scholar. It's quite all right. You are saving the world after all. Yeah, and this, in this particular You're situation, did, did you gauge all four of us asking for things? But and Ricky was just like, "Not you two. <laughs> you, you, two you two. Like <laughs> you guys are." That's why I'm going. Like, I, I, look, I don't, I don't have much else than this. Ricky, so I can afford. What would the official name of the scroll be called? Scroll. Scroll of... So just put scroll and it'll come up. Spell scroll level one. Um, um, I will, so, and that again, was just take a note of it. I'll add it later. Potion of healing, just like potion a... Of healing. Do you just want just me to write it down for you, Ryan? Yeah. First level. First, first level. level potion of healing. So I go, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> heals you ten no. points in a. In a, in a oh, so I'll no, probably need it. So just g generic. Spells I will add it to your one. spell list, okay. and then it will show up under the spells tab of your thing, which and, will be um, the only spell for you, which will be s jump. <laughs> oh, the other sp you've got a spell scroll as well, don't you? You had a spell scroll from Babylon. Yeah, I've got some other stuff I need to keep I think adding. I took it from I've added a few. You might maybe. Have, maybe you did. Was Doesn't that matter. the scroll that's like the quick save scroll? No, that's a different scroll. Stop. Yeah, let's again. move on. Stop it. You are moving on. Um, so, uh, you are heading to Alphalas, yes? Yep. It's going to cost you a gold piece at the teleportation port. Yeah. <laughs> You've uh, got hundreds and hundreds. I have 100. I've only got uh, 736, isn't I? I will pay it, but I'm... I am not. I'm not, not happy, happy about just paying for public public transport. One gold uh, is a uh, lot of gold. Uh. So you have uh, you pay one gold to get the uh, the, the portal to Alphalas. Removed. And we are, uh, and we see the um, we see this island for the first time. We kind of cut to it a little bit with Bodger going over there to to, to do some gambling and mm. uh, hooking up. Um, but the rest of you haven't been here yet. You arrive in Alphalas, it is very much the tourist location. If you've ever been to like the Greek islands, mm. there's the ones that are like very commonly gone to and you can tell that they're much more touristy. Yeah, right. um, much less like the, the um, what's the, the like the, the, the way that people actually live, like you've seen in all yeah, these other yeah. islands, you've been ho island hopping around. This one is like, there's lots of sh shops, there's lots of souvenir shops, things like that. Kind of performative. Performative. Uh, it's mm. also the place where there's a lot more arts seen, so there's the theatres and things like that. Mm -hmm. As you pass one theatre, uh, you see that the OMS are performing the Scotland play. Hey! Hey! Um, at this, uh, at this... Oh, um, do you mean... Uh, Mac... Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, called Macbaradoon. Macbaradoon. Um, it's uh, it's the, it's one man shy, and they're performing the Scotland play, um, and it, it seems That's like it's doing very. It seems like it's doing very well. It is the story of Baradun and the Dickhead's journey. It's this play that you put on at Enderlin's Theatre. Ah, oh, oh, that's still, still going. Is, is that what we call it, the Scotland play? That's what they called it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I suppose you are Scottish. Um, the. Wow. Yeah. You, you, you move on past there and you head down the streets to till you ask around to find the, the big shot, the casino. Mm -hmm. um, and you head on into the casino. Guys, um, how, before we head on in, how do we want to deal with this? I d we need to get into the lower uh, lower fucking high rollers area. Because we're looking That's for the club below. Oh, Aaron. by the way, when we long rested, I brought um, fucking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mark off 10 gold pieces of your right. stuff. Yeah. Um, I'll mark a note to, for me to mark So yes, we need, to, we need to get into yeah. Terran and to talk to Trinton, which is presumably not going to be super easy. Uh, do we want to do it threateningly? Because, well, hang on. I mean, can you just go, hi, can you just get into the club? Or is it like you can get into, so you can get into the casino. Um, you just need to give your names to the, the bouncer mm -hmm. on the door. Big burly elf, he calls himself Spike. Yep. Uh, and, and unless, and I mean, I have kind of really been f***ing outing myself now. Unless we hide my face, it's going to be quite obvious what's going on. <laughs> mm. you, he has a mask of disguise, so you could hide your I face could. if you want. We could. I mean, you guys were there as well. We'd need to all you're, you're, the re yourselves. Your reputation is starting to kind of like... It's, it's I'm getting a, 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 well, really I'm getting a better reputation, like, yeah. but not for low lives like Trenton. Well, you wouldn't be too low life. Wait, what? Trinity wouldn't be a low life. He's a Solwyn family member. Oh, so the, okay. yeah, the, the, the demon shouted out, Leithil sent us um, by means of Bonecaller. If it is true that Bonecaller and the Solwyns are still connected and not actually ostracized, then Leithil's obviously working with Bonecaller and you're about to talk so, to the Solwyns. So There's we could go in being go like, on. I am Baradun and we are the dickheads and we want to talk to you, Trinton, but he's going to be obviously very cagey if we do that. Mm -hmm. Or we could go in... And we might get attacked. And, and we might get attacked. Or we could go chill, in... We'll be chill about it. We'll go, hey, my name's Baradun. We are the dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we still going to be cagey. Like just be Maybe we pretend we're a band like. performing in the. the we're, we're, we're the band. So we just go to one of these so shops the with a pack of a guitar. But then how that, how's that going to get us into the VIP area? And <laughs> then his office, presumably. Well, yeah, they just say we're performing in the office tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, we're the band. Obviously, we need to get into the uh, offices. Are you discussing, I mean, this, look, are you no, discussing no. this in the casino when you can see, like, no, no, the, no, the no. We're not known for coffee. being subtle. Shall we just fucking walk? In? Let's just go up and do that. Okay. Yeah. So you walk up to Spike, bounce it on on the on the door of the big shot, and he says, um, right, "Hey, Spike, is Trenton in?" Uh, Whoa! Trenton's okay, straight in. to it. Let's. <laughs> Trenton's oh, in. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, can I? Are you heading in? Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll, I'm not sure. You may have heard some of the gossip going around the Baradoon's back, baby. You heard that gossip? Yeah. Better doing the high sorcerer. The high sorcerer, oh, yeah. I hadn't heard. Hey, well, oh, we, oh. We're just can you, can you, can <laughs> you're on you, a different can, island, remember? Hit, uh, never mind then. I'm just saying. Uh, uh, and it's been, oh, we're, we're a day. Gonna, it's been less than a day. I'm super chill. We're just going to cruise on through. Uh, uh, I'll just need your names. We, uh, yeah. we don't have Bodger, a booking. Bodger. 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 Schmeg. Schmeg. 
Uh, what is your real name, Schmeck? Roger, yeah. Greg, <laughs> Roger, Greg, Bob, but I do Schmeck and I. I don't know if we should have just used your name. Roger is saying your true name. Yeah. <laughs> also, I guess disadvantage, so se- seven, <laughs> I, fa- I fell. <laughs> Right, Greg, uh, uh, it is. Budget, Greg, Budget, Bob, Bardoon. Uh, we don't have an appointment, <laughs> but it's Bardoon. quite important. You were important. talking about yourself in the third person before. I was. Right, all right. Uh, if we could see Trenton, uh, we don't have an appointment, I, I, but it's quite important. Talk to the people in there. <laughs> I'm uh, just a bouncer. Uh, fact, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were the bouncer well, to the VIP area. No. Hey, we're Bardoon and the dickheads. We want to get into the nightclub to see Trenton. What are your names? Bardoon. Bodger. Bob. Schmeg. It's not a name. That is Greg. Yeah. Greg the Garlic. Greg the Garlic Schmeg Farmer. Could no, be a name, I though. can give you a address of his address. Of Honeywood. Uh, what, the, what are you doing? I've, I've got a, your address written on a piece of paper. Johnny, he doesn't even need it. He's we get into the nightclub. He's uh, two pond lane. Two pond lane. You're gonna. Is that cannon? It's frustrating. Is that cannon? cannon. We put in that in cannon. cannon. Two pond lane. Two pond lane. Uh, can we get into? The, can we get into the nightclub? Uh, well, you'd have to ask the guy inside. I'm just the bouncer for the casino. We just want to go from oh, the, the casino. The casino. Are we not in the casino. We're in the street. Why are we not in the casino? This is the casino. Why would I be bouncing inside of a casino? This is the ca- this is the street. What'd you get? Snake eyes. Hey. 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 How much you bet? How much you bet? A million. Hey. A million gold. Hey. That a million platinum. Everything. Hey. That solves everything. Who just won a million platinum? Oh. Now we need to get into the nightclub. Okay, in, in, go into the casino first. Hey! Hello! Yes. A million platinum! There's a guy in there called Snake, you gotta talk to him. To you walk into the casino. You're now in the casino, big lights everywhere, there's there's roulette wheels. Oh, sorry, turn around, around. excuse me, fuck, fuck. <laughs> where's the <laughs> where, 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 where's, where's the saving throw? Where's the saving throw? Saving throw? <laughs> what for? What? He's just walked into 18. the casino. All right, All right, you are able to keep it together for now. You can gamble if you want, but you are not, you're not compelled to. Um, <laughs> uh, excuse you me, Spike, look, sorry, where's the VIP room? V- VIP. Back corner. He points you in the direction of a, uh, a, a red velvet rope around, the, around a, 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 a sign that says Terran, uh, VIPs only. Okay, who's um, going to here at this point, just, uh, just, ding, 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 like some jackpot happens, and somebody's like, ah, yeah, and okay, they so quickly run over to the, the bouncer on the, the velvet rope. Uh, the rope gets taken apart, and she's like, oh, and she walks down the stairs. And so, uh, just, is there a bouncer at the velvet rope? Yeah. Just wonder so there is, so it's, a, it's, it's for big rollers, Let's like high whales. Hey, we don't have time. <laughs> just... We gotta blend in. No, we don't. 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 We We purposely came in saying we wouldn't blend in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. so sure about that. I'm just gonna. It's worked out great for us in the past, Bob. Just gonna well, stop at one table. Uh, just gonna have a quick gamble. <laughs> okay, a one red and black. <laughs> one. That's not a good table. Okay. All right. Um, how much will? How much are you willing to oh, lose? Oh, hello, doll. <laughs> <Sandra>. <laughs> Back again. Is that you? <laughs> the one and fucking only, darling. Oh. <laughs> How have you been, doll? Oh, have you been, doll? <laughs> oh, you been, doll? <laughs> yeah, been all right. Just I gotta say, that was a, some dice and shit. You guys, you know, that night, that was one of the best I've had. You right not, back at you, darling. You know? rocked my f-ing world. Yeah. Uh, can I? I'll see you later. Oh, uh, you I'm just gonna you. get a quick spin. Is that a promise? That's uh, a promise. I'm just gonna get a song. Drinks. Just gonna get a quick spin in. Just gonna get a quick spin. I just took a handy, handy gold. Yeah, handy go gold. for it. I right. wish you, I wish you luck, love. Uh, Put a handy, uh, handy gold down. Are you down. going red and black? No. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just gonna have a quick gamble, uh, and then we'll go no, hit on through. Budget, I'm just gonna have a quick one. Gambling is gold. Gambling is gold. You have a problem, Budget. You, you have money I can make. Problem. You can also lose. Do you know how much money you could lose? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. 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 Excuse me, my gentleman, just trying to get through the. My days, Bodger Blodger, as I live and breathe. Sandra? Hello, doll. How are you? Your hair looks incredible, may I just say. Thank you. Sandra. I'm so disappointed this character keeps coming back. I had sexual intercourse with her. I know. Oh, oh yes, she you gave did. you an STD. She gave you an STD. Do you remember that? I can start. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sandra. What have, you, what have you been up to last? Oh, you know, the usual cavorting around, finding finding flings of fancy, you know what I'm saying? May I just say, that was one of the best nights of my life. You're welcome, it was a Tuesday for me. <laughs> do, you, do you guys wanna... Do you want another round? No. You boys can join if you want, there's plenty of room. No! Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, Roger. what have you been up to? Oh, I think I, we need to go. We need to go, yeah. Is there, is there anyone, any room, is there a room somewhere? Like, a toilet? We'll be like, Just a oh. dark corner. 
Now, uh, just for, a for expediency, hundred goals. For expediency, I'm assuming you're using the quick rule rather quick than rule. actually Rotella, which is my version of uh, um, roulette. Quick rule. Quick, quick rule. rule. <laughs> Everybody else decided for you. Roll a d20. Nothing added to it. Nine. 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 You lose 100 gold. Mark it off. Shit. Just, uh, lost 100. <laughs> Bodger. <laughs> hang, hang on. Double or double nothing. Bodger. <laughs> and so my mark off the 100 gold you just lost. Your spirit, no. Well, uh, double or nothing, and then it can either be 200 or okay. nothing. Well, no, they don't either be. Oh, oh yeah, is it double or nothing? Yeah, you're putting double. down another 100 on okay. top of the 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. you've just lost. Okay. What do you want to get for 200 to So at this point, back. your second ante is another yeah, 100. Yeah. Okay. Eight. Bodger, Eight. Bodger, Bodger, I think it's time to walk away. Bodger, I think it's time to walk away from the table. Hey, 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 hey. Bodger. <laughs> Bodger. Double or nothing. I think he's got it. Bodger. Got double so or nothing! It's going down 200 <laughs> on this ante. Do you try to tell me what to do? I can do whatever I want! Intimidating Fuck, presence. He's so intense, you are all isn't he? He's just you so all considered, You are all considered frightened as he uses Sandra, intimidating what, presence. What's this? What's this? Do what's this? You're putting 200 for this ante. How much are you putting down? 200. This is 200 on this ante. 200. And then I cast Thaumaturgy and I say, and, and I go three times and I'll do not tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> do not take My me. My voice went three times as louder for one minute. Whoa, whoa, gambler, whoa, you, whoa, are, you are gambling Ten. too much you money. Mac of 400 gold. You've lost it. Do you lose it? Yeah. He's lost it. Bodger, Bodger, please. Please, Bodger, stop. Uh, okay. I guess my voice. You're so bloody reckless. <laughs> okay, here we go. Go on, Dollar, I believe in you. Oh. oh. Unfortunate, unfortunate luck. Uh, double or nothing. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Here, let me let me give you some luck. Let me blow on your eyes. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh yeah, yeah. Um, here we go. Hi. Oh, oh, that damn usually it. works. Okay, no, 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 double or nothing. Double or nothing. Here we go. 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 No! Okay. Uh, that's uh, enough. Call it there. Fine, Greg. Greg, it's actually Bodger, fine. Bodger, that's I, enough. You've lost, money. Money. You lost too much money. I can do whatever I want. Bodger, you've lost too much. I can do what I want because it's fine. Bodger, Bodger. Do not take me as some conjurer of cheap tricks. You've lost too much money. It's getting irresponsible. You need to leave right now and stop having sex with that woman. Oh, f hell. Yeah, you like that? This is so powerful. Like a four, oh, four, four, gold, 400 gold or 40 platinum. Uh, or, or, uh, 40, or 40 platinum. 40 platinum. Yeah. 40 platinum. He's gone down from 43 platinum to 3 platinum now. Oh, you God. had 43 platinum? F***ing yeah, no. hell. Had it. Because he went to a casino before and rolled a 20 and got five times his ante. Uh, anyway. So we go on to the bounce and you know, now. You know, I, I just <laughs> walk away from Bob. When some lose, some yeah, that was, that, was, that was embarrassing. Well, when some lose, you're at the casino is, with is a friend a, and they're just turn on, turn off for yeah, no, it's, it's kind of a turn on. Just like, the, like just it's dangerous and like, reckless, yeah. but fuck. Oh, <laughs> how do we kill this character? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you can't. There's nothing to kill. Dangerous and reckless, but fuck. <laughs> you walk over to the Elven Bouncer. Like I'd the, never marry him, but. The, <laughs> quiet now. You walk over to the Elven Bouncer on the uh, rope to the Terran. Uh, snake tattoos down his arm. He introduces himself as Snake. Says, um, "What can I do?" Oh, uh, hello, guidance, guidance. guidance. Thank you. No. Uh, hello, Snake. We we don't have an appointment, but we need to see Trinton. Afraid without an appointment, nobody gets down there. Uh, Unless you win big or some other. Bodger just some lost 400. What's the some other? Make an insight check. Three. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm also the one talking to him, so yeah. I'm going to make an insight check. Three and uh, insight. Plus 10, so 13. I got 12. Pretty good insight. Which I'm not happy. Oh, I've got um, five insight. So 12 to 17. He's also not being too subtle about it. If you bribe him, he'll let you in. Right. Um, he's not well, how much out. is the bribe? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, I don't, I don't usually, Welsh, I don't usually uh, go out that obvious with it, but uh -huh. give me a t ten gold. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <all right>. um, <laughs> straight to the point. You give him ten gold, and he opens the rope for you, lets you in, and then uh, uh. each. Oh, this is daylight robbery! <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> ten gold. Everybody mark off ten gold if you're gonna bribe this guy past. Alright, mate. We want to uh, get in there. Yeah, so does everybody. Yeah. So. so VIP nightclub. Yeah, yeah. No, we're yeah. VIPs. We're, we're very important. Yeah. We're very important in the dickheads. It's people who have won big jackpots or, you know, people who have got the money to have won big jackpots. Oh, like a bribe! No, you no. Want, I think he wants a bribe. Oh, do you want a bribe? How much money do you, you want, want for your bribe? bribe. Guidance. It's 
Guidance. Guidance, thank you. Just like 10 gold. 10 gold? gold. No. 10 gold for a bribe, no, everyone. If anyone wants to get into the nightclub, 10 gold. There you go, Matt. There you go. You got 10, 10 gold. Are oh, we all giving 10 gold for the bribe? We're all giving 10 gold for the bribe. Everyone? You guys want to come in? It's this 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Do you want to come in? This is a joke. He's, a, he's joking. He's joking. Get it. No, I paid him. I paid I him know, money. Paid him. You gave him gold. <laughs> I gave him gold for the bribe. Snake. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, right, so right, you get right, past right. Snake. All this. And you head down um, to. As we go past Terran. Snake, can you just point me in the direction of Terran's office, please? Uh, Trinton doesn't have a, an office. Terran here. is the name of the room. We're oh, sorry, Trinton. sorry, Trinton. Trinton office. doesn't have an office here. He just likes to hang out here. Oh, okay, we're just going to the oh, VIP sorry. section. I thought keep up, now we're doing fucking now. Okay, <laughs> is he at a table? You'll find oh, out fuck, when you get down there. You're very <laughs> not very helpful, Snake. Oh. Well, what do you expect? It's just a door, man. <laughs> well, He's not keeping he sheds know. on where everyone's sitting. <laughs> if he was a good doorman, he would. You head down some. Fundamentally, you head down some well, well. A lit stairway with like tapestries down the wall and like a red carpet runner down the side of the stairs to, to make people feel excited when they've got a bunch of money. Um, you head down to Terran. It's an exclusive club for big spenders. It is very smoky and dark down there. There's lots of drinks and drugs yeah. going around. Why um, do I have the image of Daft Punk playing? In <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's a da- there's around a- the world. <laughs> there's a- there's around a- as room, around <laughs> as room. <laughs> It's a, a mini- sci-fi helmet. It's a medieval corner. version of Daft Punk. Like, we're just yeah. dope. What would, what would fantasy punk be? What fantasy? It'd be like Daft. Uh, um, what's the what's the genre setting called? Where it's like steampunk. steampunk. Yeah. Daft Daft steampunk. Around as rim, around as rim. At the bottom of the stairs, I just take a moment just to see where he's standing. Scan around. Yeah. Uh, you scan the faces. It's difficult in here, so make a perception check. You are a human with no dark vision. Uh, <laughs> One. That's a grab. Oh, there's a 20 as well. Oh, nice. All right. <clears throat> and with his guards, one. plenty enough. You can see that there what are else? a lot of people in here, but there, is not, uh, there is not a Trenton in here. You can, however, see mm. a sign on the wall that says uh, Subterran Entrance Dance Off. Um, and just as you enter, there is this, it just seems to be finishing this dance off in the center of this like dance floor. Mm-hmm. And then uh, somebody goes, Announcing the winner uh, 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 of this hour's uh, entrance to Subterran, Randy. And you see, a, you see a big fella, human guy. Looks like he's on. His, he's, he goes, "Do you want friends get to go?" And he points over to his friends, and uh, and they're like, "Yeah, Randy!" And as they're running in, this guy waves his hand, and this this glass tube zoop, up from the dance floor around Randy, and then the floor just dis- just opens beneath him, and phew, Randy falls down into. Apparently, another more, even more exclusive club beneath Terran called Subterran. Oh. And and then they're like, "Oh, did we?" And he's like, "Randy was the only one who won. He's the only one who participated." So, so we've we got to all go underground. Seems like that I go into a dance off. So it might be the case of winning a dance party I, in order to ac- gain access to Subterran. We fucking dance the guy it up, the baby. Guy <laughs> around and the guy who <laughs> you start to dance to it. All right, you, you start to dance to it, but uh, you are approached by the uh, skinny, the skinny candid uh, guy who did the whole tube situation. Um, he calls himself Flame. He says, "Hey, I'm Flame. I'm the one who does the." Uh, the, tube the, thing. the tube thing. Um, <laughs> it's only every hour he points to the sign. It's once an hour, so you you can mingle for uh, it. Are there other ways to get into Subterran? Subterran. Only way in is if you own the place, or you know, if you win How the much does it cost the to buy the place? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Twenty gold. Not for sale, so I'm not sure. Probably a little bit more. How much does it cost for you to show us the back stairs? There are no back stairs. Well, how do you get out of the Subterran? Do you just come back up the way you go? No? Find a way down there and find out. Uh, huh? Well, there's no. Like an no of, I, there's an air of mystery. mystery like about a, it. All right. Sign me up. It's kept. Let's All go. right. Let's go. Takes your name, signs you up for the dance party. That but takes surely place only now. one of us per hour. That's going to take. A no. Whoever we'll was participating in the dance party wins. If you participate as a dancing group, yeah. we're like a crew. We're a dance group. We're going to practice. We're going to practice. Okay. Let's use this hour to practice. He says, when you go to sign up with him, he says, what's your what's the name of your crew? Baradun and the Dickheads. God damn it. <laughs> What's the name of your crew? Baradun and the Dickheads. <laughs> Bodger and the Cool Guys. <laughs> That's a really shit name. Bodger and the Cool Guys. All right. <laughs> Bodger and the Cool Guys. <laughs> F- I hate to say it, but we should have gone with that. <laughs> Bodger and so, the Cool Guys. So, uh, you've got an hour to mingle, drink, uh, well, whatever you want. No, I, <laughs> think, I, think we, I think we practice. It might get us advantage. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to practice. All right. All right. I love the image of Bodger. Just go, Bodger and the 
cool guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Rip. Really? Yep. <laughs> you, you've got an hour to think on so it. We, we, <laughs> we find a quiet corner of the dance floor and, <laughs> and practice ourselves. a little routine. Okay, how can we, how can we uh, enhance our abilities with magic? Um, guys, I mean, the flip flap. guidance. Guidance. Flip. Guidance, guys, yeah. Do you, do you know the flip flap? I have never heard flap. of the flip flap before. Well, yeah. I think actually, it no, should I, die. I see, I see adventurers <laughs> do the flip flap quite yeah, frequently, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually. That one. Yeah. That's, that's incredible. It's quite dark in here, isn't it? I'll show you. I could fly. Guys, guys, it goes like this. It goes like this. It goes. How does it go? <laughs> How does it go, Rowan? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we need to. I don't know plan. that that's gonna win us. I don't think this is gonna win no. us the thing. What we're gonna do? Listen up. We're gonna do a dance that I know called the flip flap. Ah, oh, not the no. flip flap. Flip flap. Oh, that flap. Flap. Okay. Yeah, it goes like this. It goes one, one two, three. Yeah, quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. The flip flap was a poorly received dance in a random expansion. We might not have seen the shit expansion go they, they shouldn't have. Do it. Do the flip flap. Uh, do it. Let's do it. Win us a dance I'm competition. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you have something better? I think we'll win a dance off against them. Do you have something? What was, your, what was your suggestion? Maybe sorry, we can work. work. Sorry, what was your suggestion? We can do it. Anything else? Anything else? Sorry, what? Anything else? What was your suggestion? Swan Lake? I don't know. Yeah. That's right, nothing. I don't um, think it's the best dance for a dance are competition. Are you kidding me? Can we do it as a back, well, that's our backup? That's our backup. <laughs> backup dancer. Let, let's yeah, yeah, let's yeah. try and just figure out a nice dance to do, around do us us Listen, I'm, it? I can fly, it's dark down here, so yeah. we can Go use for that. that somehow. Yeah, I that know. can be part of it, for well, sure. Do, do any of us have, uh, in our, in our, have Baradun in your, in your this Temple of Kala board? I sit down for the first time ever. Whoa! Just, just to let you this come up with a dance. Um, <laughs> any of us have any dance history uh, in our past? In anyone? Well, you were an actor. You know that. One actor. way or another, we're going to We were triple threat. <laughs> was Greg, I mean, was Greg we, on the way to being we, a triple we threat? All when he was have, yeah, they were, absolutely. We all have <laughs> acting experience now because of the show. You did see I, the plays, yeah. I have a plus five to performance, so I must be slightly good at dancing. What do I have? Um, and as in real life actors, one. all of you are fantastic dancers. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. I know I know one dance that asked. For oh yeah, can what is it? Can do together. It's the flip flop. Uh, flip flop. Uh, well, even that. I mean, for we can we can, <laughs> we can kind of do that in green screen. We can kind of. <laughs> well, let's I, pretend that we can do things other than the flip flap, and we create a little performance. Yeah. Well, let's come up with something. Come up with something so new. I'm gonna have one of you uh, who's gonna elect themselves as the choreographer, essentially. I will. <laughs> What's your performance? Okay, this is gonna be your an intelligence based. I feel like you should do it. Is it dance? Dance. Well, it's it's Bodger and the cool guys. Do you have an idea? Do you have any, if, but if you're just going to teach us the so, flip flap, I, I don't want any so part as of it. Bodger is trying I'm to choreograph something in the corner. Who else is choreographing something I, else? I when well, no, I help him. You help I, him. I think right. we do it together. So, guys, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got Watson. From you? He's a great dancer. <laughs> Isn't he, Watson? Isn't he? <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Bodger, I need an intelligence-based performance check. Are you proficient in performance? Uh, it's got a little dot next I... to the word performance. Have you got a dot next to it at all? Plus so. You, no, have you got no. a dot next to it? No, you don't. So you're not proficient in performance, you're not going to add in your proficiency bonus, it's just going to be a straight intelligence check. Which oh, okay. You use a negative one. So this is how good the choreography is going to be. But Guys. you get advantage because he's helping. Guidance, yeah. Guidance. And, and, you get, and you're and on a, a default. Guidance. So roll it twice, get the higher, add a default. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use my special advantage. Oh, advantage dice, that's right. And then add a d4. Three or a, what's in the middle? Seven. 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 So seven minus one, six out of D4. From guidance. Three. Three. Takes it to a total of nine. So the choreography is a nine. After an hour, you've you've come up with a, a nine. Feels about right, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, yeah, yep. <coughs> now the <laughs> but now it could turn out well. It could yep. be. It could be, and your actual performance of it could be very good. Um, <laughs> could be. Could, anything. Could anything happen. could happen. So you, uh, you at the end of the next hour, you get to the uh, performance is called. The bell is rung to be like, all right, dance off, next dance off starting. Um, <laughs> also, can I have a constitution saving throw from you? You did grab some drinks as you walked in. So yeah, just sure. going to see if you are tipsy at all. Four, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and your fifth one is gone, which means next time you want to, you can ch cash them in for a net 20. Sick. You can get a net 20 and you're done. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, I just limp so, myself up. Not, so, not. So, Who's so still Bob got their hero point, by the way? Good, Who's man. still got their hero point, by the way? Bob is feeling good. All right, the dance-off uh, begins. You are, you are up against... Uh, <laughs> 
You're up against uh, two other groups, uh, the Sirens and the uh, the Flaming Dryads, I think they were called. They yeah, the Flaming like Dryads <laughs> and the Sirens. They're all wearing matching uniforms and stuff. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no. We're just here, like, schlepping it. The like, Sirens oh. are all incredibly attractive uh, uh, elven no. women um, yes. that with, like, long, glowing hair. Very, um, very nice. Very seductive right. kind yeah. of dancing, yeah. very body rolls and lots of, like, showing off their ass and stuff. Bob goes um, to flirt, but he's just too intimidated. <laughs> They're just too hot. He's like, hey, uh, uh, like, oh my god! That. Oh my god! That's, um, that's, I've, the, the story of my life. Get <laughs> <laughs> the flaming dryads are um, not as aesthetically pleasing to look at, but they are, are all wearing like uh, reds and oranges and their, their robes and stuff. They are in more of a uniform, mm -hmm. um, and their their performance is magical and in, in very enthralling. And they literally set fire as for parts of it that's as awesome. they're swirling and Jesus. passing fire between themselves and stuff. Um, I can set myself on fire. <laughs> and then you're going to do a nine choreographed <laughs> flip flop. The most so, beautiful album a... women you've ever seen. These sirens doing this. <laughs> and then the flame guys come up and they will just come up like half pissed. Like, <laughs> doing the fucking Macarena essentially. All right. So I will have each of you individually. This is going to be a group check. So I'm going to add all your, your numbers together and take the average. Yeah. You're going to make me a performance check. You can choose to make it a dexterity based performance guidance, check. Guidance, 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 guidance. So guidance. if you are proficient in performance, you add your proficiency bonus of three, otherwise it's just straight dexterity or charisma, your choice. Advantage and you can only guidance one person because it's concentration. Dexterity, oh, okay. so so my dexterity would be dexterity like, would or be a plus charisma. four, right? Uh, yes, you do a plus four and then if you're proficient in performance? No, I you're not. So <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm passing it myself because I've been useless. Are you profi so proficient in performance? Uh, For you, charisma would be your best one. Anyway. My charisma so is good your, anyway. Yeah, so. Whatever your performance would be. Um, For so you, which is better, yeah, dexterity or charisma? Uh, 16? Here you've got uh, Actually, 12 plus two. So just make a performance check if it's on there. So good. Two. Say, I, got, I got a six, but I got it myself. So cool, cool, cool. Nineteen. So you, wait, you and guidance? three, so six. No, <laughs> I mean sure. The, the, the guidance gives you a D4, not a. Oh, not sorry, a, right, an right, advantage. Uh, right. You might actually do better than you shot with a yeah, D20. Yeah, cool, fucking uh, four, oh, so ten. So ten, so ten total from you. Ugh. Plus your what? Uh, oh yeah, fourteen. Performance check. Oh sorry, sorry, eleven plus one. So eleven from Greg. We've got a. A uh, six. <laughs> Bob's I, just too we, pissed. We he's need too much to drink. I think we're going to find a new way to I wasn't going to impose this advantage because I was like, he's tipsy, not pissed. But I'm like, don't no, I, I guess you don't, I don't need to. I got 21. A 21 there helps, to, helps the rest of the group. 19 plus 2. Uh, 19 plus 2, 21 as well. All right, so an average of 42, uh, 53, 53 and 6 is 59. 59 between 4 is 15 rounds up. So 15. A 15 I? check total. Unless you want to use your hero token and really outshine us all. Um, I am now going to roll the performances of the other two groups. Okay, let's see how they go and then I'll gauge it. Well, no, your hero, done. this is, yeah, this, this is, is a moment. We're oh, done. Like, are, you, are, we, are we using hero point or am I locking in that your average is 15 and then we roll to see if it's better? Okay, than I, I'll, do it, I'll do it. So it's basically like uh, the performances, the two of us are dancing okay, the two of you, okay. you are dancing okay. Greg sees it falling and, and something within him inspired like to see. He remembers being actor. up on a stage. He remembers. Like, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was for a moment. And he uh, pushes through and just like, so you, this buff, is a you push out. Bob out of the way. You, you make it yeah. look like, so you, you see it going and you see the reactions of the crowd as people are doing this. And yeah. they've done it for like, they've done it for like five bars and they're like, is this? Gun. And the, oh, and the you just break out and something so you, out. You sort of else. slink back. Something else. You slink back, just and then you burst through them, and it's like ah. And oh, as and if it was all along, the performance. As and Ben Bob rises behind me and just starts spinning like a chandelier above me. <laughs> yeah, great. And it's this perfect like <laughs> you, you, you make it out like it was it was it was that way all along. Lull them into yeah. thinking, is this shit? And then bam, bam, bam with something. And it's like, no, no shit. It's, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> you uh, you raise the you raise the uh, you raise me up. You raise the performance to the point where you can't lose because your points are more than just a reroll. They're like heroic moments oh, thank God. Um, you do save this performance and thank, God. thank, uh, thank, thank God. you Greg thank you. Uh, you guys are welcome that, that felt really, really good actually uh, okay follow my lead uh, no, follow my lead no, this is gonna work no, here we go uh, oh God. and one two three four five six look the other way three it's fine five six keep going keep going one two three four five six I'm out of time 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 And as Flame uh, announces the winners, uh, the winners of this uh, this hour's uh, dance-off, he looks at his notes. 
Bodger and the cool guy. Thank, thank you, I choreographed that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> what is what is a little snippet of the performance? What, what does it look like? Are you are you like? Um, is oh it my lots God, of well, like interpretive? Like, oh yeah, true. We've got a. We can do it on green screen. We'll do it on green screen. Um, you do the, you do the dirty dancing amazing. lips. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like um, <laughs> down, and then some. <laughs> <sighs> And then, but then that's when Bob rides up and he's, he's oh, when I do this, Bob Bob's just rise like, up I rise up and rise up. Yeah. Pissed as a truck, right? <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it's more just the fact you're floating. It's amazing. The, yeah. People love it for whatever reason. Maybe, oh, it's, maybe it's the fact you're underdogs. Maybe they're just, he's just like, yeah, f*** it. And, and it's Bob Jones, I choreographed that. You choreographed that. <laughs> this tunnel appears around you, very reminiscent and probably a little bit post-traumatic stress-inducing of the time that Fib oh, yeah. was about to murder oh, you yes, and send you to yeah. the dead frost. Yeah. And then the floor opens up. And you fall through to Subterran. Subterran. Mm. Congratulations, dance party. <laughs> you land <laughs> with a flump down into a bunch of foam and luminescent <laughs> paint. Oh, oh, cool. cool. Uh, there are UV lights down here, and, and now it's, it's gone it's from like a, a like a song like around Azrum to just yeah. <laughs> yeah, now it's just like <laughs> <that's laughs> <more laughs> back room. Yeah. yeah, it's muffled. <laughs> Um, well, uh, so you're here, you start to look around uh, once you wipe the, 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 uh, the foam out of your eyes and stuff. You see the big dude that we saw before, Randy, uh, talk in the corner talking to a guy that you recognize as Trenton. Mm. Um, sitting at a table in a booth. Oh, um, they're at a table. There's a bunch of other, yeah, there's a couple other right. people down here. It's not like pumping, but it is, it is like, really there's an air of being like... So does expansion. that mean Trenton won a dance off as well? <laughs> Or he owns the place. I'm gonna really quickly cast aid on us. Can I? Can I do that? Uh, you can. Yeah, absolutely. What, what does it look do? like? It gives us all more HP because I feel like shit's gonna go down. Up <laughs> up <laughs> what does it? What does it look like? Um, Are we gonna get in a fight? Do you think we've got like two minutes or so spare right now? Yeah. Because I also have an inspiring. Go the rest of the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do an inspiring speech. I'm gonna cast. Uh, oh, but are like, they both temporary hit points? Or so no? my. Uh, no, aid, aid actually raises your actual hit points, oh. um, so they, d they can actually stack. For eight hours. <clears throat> what, is, what does aid need, vocal somatic material? Uh, so it needs uh, a tiny strip of white cloth. Cool, you, you can replace that with your, um, with your cleric symbol because it doesn't have a cost and it's not uh, consumed by the spell. Cool. So what does it look like when Greg casts this spell that, that bolsters all of his, anime, uh, all of his allies' um, uh, vitality? Um, okay, goodness, well it takes a little bit of white cloth so I, I summon the white little bit of white cloth and it's swirling around in my hand and then it kind of uh darts off to each of the people uh that i'm slap us in the face <laughs> slaps in the face oh, oh. and just kind of like flies around them really quickly and little whirl, like whirlwind that. and then very good and me. it's doing that while you are giving them an inspiring speech while covered in Pit foam and so we've paint. just got into this fucking like dance club and what's that what, what budget what do you, uh, what do you want to tell us what? Who's hammer? I always say. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying, but I feel inspired. Yeah, yeah. Stick to shit. I've got a speech for you, for some inspiration. Okay, you, have, you have a peach for us? My grandfather's hammer. What's hammer? Why are you giving me a peach? It's right from my mind. Oh, watch us talking, pay attention. Okay, okay, so remember, yeah. whenever you want to be righteous, Who? you must always use the hammer. Yeah, right. Ten minutes later, you get 12, I think it is. 10 for your... Ten from uh, me. Ten so. for your level, two from your charisma. Yes, you all got twelve temporary hit points. And what do we get from? And Greg? what level were you casting aid at? Uh, aid was level three, so ten. You're going to cast it at level three, which I think should be fifteen. Oh, really? Is it? Uh, Let me double check that. Can I check out all down as temporary? Will that do the same effect? No, um, no, they're not because his can be healed and they last eight hours. So Mine how level three on this app do we change? Oh. oh, level three says regain ten. Maybe, maybe you're right. Your one's annoying. Because then we have to. Because I've got like on this app, I've max. got override max, oh, HP, ma max, max HP. HP modifier. Yep, you can do that. Okay, cool. So Ten. Uh, um, I'm sorry for giving you more, more HP, bro. Ah, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's a little. Yeah, no, you're right. It is. It's, it's because it's a second level spell. Usually, and does five base, and then it goes up to cool. ten at uh, third level. Cool. So, cool. so your maximum max. increases by ten temporarily for the next eight hours. Cool. And then you um, get temporary hit points. How do I? Into, how do I? Uh, ma max. You get, you get capital T temporary hit points from him, and lowercase T temporary yeah. hit points from him. And how many temp HP do we get? Uh, <coughs> 12. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, great. Uh, cool. That's not bad. 
Um, you, you've, all, you're all, you've all got 22 more hit points than you had before, yeah. which for Budge is like, eh. Yeah. We, um, it's like it's literally like a third of my health. <laughs> Half of my health, basically. Okay, now, now we can go and talk to the... We can awesome. go and talk to the guy. Okay, we, brilliant. What are the two of you doing during the 10 minutes? Obviously listening, listening. to his speech, but yeah. anything else? Any preparatory things? Drinking. Drinking um, now we go and do that, you like, now messing with sirens. You're now getting more drunk. I reckon we go and do that, like, confident, confident, like, gangster thing where you just get in the booth with them. Really quickly, just survey and see how, like, the people around us Look like like people that might f like try and f kill us. I'm sure they are. And what can what can we do about it if they are? Like consider a different approach. <laughs> consider a different approach. I don't know. It'll be fine. You just want to do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> do we want to do that thing where we just slide into the booth with them and just... So how many people are <laughs> yeah. in the booth? Like, uh, do we... Just the two of them. Just the two of them. Just the two of them. And we set... Okay. Two on either side, go boof. Yeah, come on, let's do it. Okay. And I cheers the brandy or whatever. I was like, sweet dance. I reckon one of us needs to stand by the booth like as if they're a bodyguard, like not letting... Oh, you're sort of getting yourself a drink uh, from down here. Um, so. You hear whispers <laughs> that there may even be a sub subterran. There may even be an even more exclusive club beneath this one. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, how they, but so for that one, they, uh, the people that I you're need, talking to, yeah. like, um, they hand select one or two people. So, one so one so one so so I'm just kind of having conversations at the bar. How's it going? We've got the casino. Yep. Then there's Terran. And then we're in we're in uh, we're, uh, we're in subterran and there's whispers and there that like could be there's an even more like fourth. secret so as we're on the way to the table I go by the way I've heard that there's another club underneath this oh, one. Shit. maybe it's that's the best exclusive. place maybe that's the best place to talk but this, you, this but this is where our, our you, slide, is. you slide in I'm sorry the music is the, coming you slide in beside them at the the booth and Trenton looks up at you he's um, an elf he's a high elf uh, he has slightly tanned skin, as I mentioned before. He's got deep sunken eyes and wears a lot of um, eye makeup and uh, really kind of extravagant kind hey. of stuff. He's, he's quite gothic um, in, his, in, his, in the, the clothing that he uses. Hey, Trenton, I have your memories up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and the squirrels like to fly in the... What are you f***ing talking about? Oh, uh, sorry, just the atmosphere of the club's got me a little bit drunk. Sorry. <laughs> right, anyway, yeah. I'm, just so, in the butt. I'm just so... <laughs> Can, like, uh, amp to be he literally there, you know? has your memories up his butt. Yep. Hey, Trenton, I've got your memories up my butthole. Oh, wow, well, we're coming in hot, aren't we? Yeah. 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 Fuck you, Trenton. I put your memories up my butthole and I experienced them. Yeah. 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 I'm kind of drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely to meet you, I'm Trenton. All right, Bob. Uh, yeah, f you. Yeah. I didn't have much of a plan beyond yeah, memories up my yeah. butthole thing. Yeah. 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 You're evil, aren't you? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> okay. Who are these people? Sorry about this. Randy, was it? Yes. Budget and oh. the, the cool guys. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, our true name is Baradoon and the Dickheads. Nope. Nope. Oh! Have you heard what happened in the news? I like how we just came to the table Randy. with no plan whatsoever. I've got a plan. <laughs> Randy, you see and the go. lady in the corner. Go and talk to her for a bit. She's uh, she'll love all of the story. The story you were telling me about how you how you got here. It's a fantastic story. She'll love it. Um, he gets up and leaves. And the then table. I, t I talk a little bit quieter, but enough that he can hear me and just be like, "Do you want this conversation to take place here, or maybe a bit somewhere a bit more private?" He reaches down to the side of his his uh, his, his table that he's sitting at, and he just kind of like swirls a little bit of like. Um, uh, kind of looks a bit like a Japanese Zen garden, the little like Same pebbles thing. and things, sandy kind of stuff. He swirls it around and draws like a little rune in it, and then the sound of the club starts to die down a little bit. Oh. It's still there now, but it's like he's just put you in another room, like you are in a different room. Surely for any traps, you might have a, this might be his table, might have traps it up. Surely, like, check yeah, for any traps. Excellent. Make an investigation check. Uh, oh, 19. Oh, okay. Um, investigation. Uh, so 20. Oh no, what's wrong with Did you say investigation? Investigation. Uh, 20. 20. Nice. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. So you can see that the little dish that he can draw runes into is obviously one of the things that he could do to hurt you if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. So that's like not exactly a trap, but it's there. Yeah. Um, on the seats that you're sitting on, there's no, no like runes or anything etched into it. There's no like pressure plates on the floor beneath the table. Yeah. Uh, you can see that on the on the back of the um, sort of headboard of the chair that he's sitting on, there is a couple of runes behind him, like behind his head. Uh, investigate runes? Uh, make an arcana check, see if you recognize them. 
plus one. Uh, th- no, hor- horrible. Uh, two, two. Uh, gu- guidance. <laughs> <laughs> After the but fact, I'll allow it. Guidance is only an extra d4, right? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, it is too. Yeah, that wouldn't help me. No, you, you, you don't recognise what school of magic that would be. Mm. Um, oh, the, rest of you, the rest of you are now in this, like, this, this quieter room, and he says, <laughs> I've been hearing a great deal about... Um, actually, this guy wasn't Welsh. <coughs> um, sorry, I've been, I was putting on the voice for that guy. He says, <laughs> um, I've, I've been hearing a great deal about your escapades here in the Thilburn Islands. Yeah. Uh, w- great that you've sought me out to meet me, I we- assume. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly, we have. Um, keep, we'll keep going, I'm just, I'm standing and leaning. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm like, I'm, I'm a little bit unsettled, I'm trying to light uh, uh, my lantern re- revealing while, well. you guys keep talking, I'm going to try and light this <laughs> Yeah, I just, just in case. And I'm just keep at talking. that point, I'm kind of just like trying to just, I'm just messy drunk at this point, just like. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it, go, keep it together. <sighs> So I hear you're evil, huh, Trenton? Why? From a certain point of view. Uh, Don't mind me! What is this? Uh, this is the, uh, my lantern of revealing. Is the, the darkness in here is sort of part of the ambience. No, I, I get that, I get that look, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to be, be rude or anything, but... I don't know, man, I don't, don't really trust you. Is this the right time you for know? this, Greg? I think so. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Trenton, we came here because we want to talk to you uh, about your, I don't even know, brother, <laughs> relative. Yeah, you wrote Paul earlier on, like, recalling who Bone Call was, so you don't know. You don't know what uh, We wanted to talk to you about Veril. Ah, yeah. nasty business. Yeah, no very nasty business. Yeah, what nasty business. Yeah, it's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the okay. last note revealing and look around. Yeah, anything, anything. Uh, there, is, there is actually an, an, an invisible guy in the, in the oh, corner of the club. See? He's just standing there. He looks like yeah. one of the bouncer types, and he's just kind of standing surveying the thing. Because they, they don't want the, they don't want the, um, they don't want to ruin the vibe of this exclusive club by yeah. also having like security just kind of watching you. Yeah, as you're all left. You're but all they left. are, but they are keeping an eye on people. So, bone call, eh? Yeah, I hear, I hear he likes to call bones. I, I heard that, but I also heard that he might be back from the undead. I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I've, you wouldn't. I've not been in touch with my brother since all of the nasty business. Is your brother? Oh, the secrets come out. Ah, the secrets, secrets come. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Oh, Greg, what the? Um, oh. who's that? Who's that? So oh, you've got magical body people body hanging out in your club. Yes, that's huh. that's, uh, that's flame. Interesting. Body. Interesting. Mm. Magical people in your magical club. Mm. Cold. In this magical world where yeah. people have magic. Yeah. Interesting. Also, Should we be worried about the vibe if he's just visible with his swords? But Interesting. At the same time, it's important to have bodyguard protection. Interesting. Interesting. Um, cool. Um, yeah, noted. Noted. Yeah, no, no, it's absolutely. <laughs> you're at the nothing to do. Set it down in the middle of the table. Absolutely <laughs> nasty business. Mm, uh, yes, nasty business. Yeah, no, we've heard rumor, as you may have heard as well, that uh, Bone Caller is back. I know. Terrible. Yeah. It must be that you didn't kill him after all. Maybe you didn't do a good job. Actually, I think if you go back and look, you'll find that it was actually Greg the Garlic Farmer was the leader of that quest that was to kill Bone Caller. Oh, yeah. Who? <laughs> Who? Some, some guy. Absolute so, useless. So useless. you was. I don't think Greg, you want a drink? You, uh, <laughs> you, you mean schmeg? No, I'm good. Looks, nope, looks at you. Eyes go down to the garlic hanging from your hip. That, I just like it. I don't, <laughs> I don't farm it, I like it. <laughs> Um, regardless, <laughs> yes, uh, something must have happened that Bone Collar is back. Uh, I just wanted to know if you might have any information on that. Information? I mean, nothing that I haven't already given out to the authorities when we okay. discovered all of that. Okay, terrible well, business I mean, oh him. God, I would absolutely. Can I get you a drink? Uh, no, I'm fine. You're I'm double not fisting it, I can see. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna double cast, fisting! I'm gonna cast Zone of Truth in this. Ooh, yeah. all right. Uh, what does it look like? Vocal somatic material? Um, yeah, Greg's busy, isn't he? Hey, fucking yeah, very lantern of revealing f***ing... Casting his stuff. Things. Um, it's actually useful to have a f***ing cleric now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, oh, I know it's a, it's a voice thing. It's voice yep. and a m- movement. Um, 
That'll do. What, um, is it like you're bringing you bring your holy symbol out and just uh, t- tell yeah, them? Speak the truth. And I said that. Don't, don't lie to me, bitch. <laughs> that's. that's and I said that's 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 because it's a I'm sorry, spell. I have to say that as part of the spell. It's part of the spell. I'm not calling you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just, the, that's the magic word. That's the magic word. Don't I'm, lie to me, bitch. Don't lie to me, bitch. See, I'm not even looking at you. All right, you cast a zone of truth. Anybody who wishes to attempt to do, because it's a zone, as the name implies, uh, all of you at the table and um, and Trinton are all in the zone of truth. Anybody who wishes to try and avoid being forced to tell the truth can roll a charisma saving throw against his DC. Do we know if Trinton will be trying to do that? Well, we uh, be rolling a dice. He, as the person who casts, <laughs> <laughs> as the person who casts the spell, he is aware of anybody who has failed the spell and anybody who hasn't. <clears throat> And anybody who hasn't. Yeah, he knows who hasn't. Hasn't. Otherwise, I suppose it would become quite pointless of like you never know if they've, if they've managed to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Zone of truth. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Um, hypothetically. Right. What's your What's your difficulty class? Um, DC on the spell. Is uh, that my be on the spell, your spell, spell page? Okay. Uh, the top of the spell page. It should spell be spell DC. For you, it'll be somewhere um, around a fifteen or so. Zone I think. of truth. Maybe a sixteen. It's not on the spell. No, no not zone oh, of truth. Sorry. On, on the, the spell page itself, where all the, all of the spells are. Oh, uh, save DC 16. 16, cool. Yep. So you need a 16 or more on your charisma saving throw if you are going to try and avoid the spell. I ain't going to lie. You're not going to um, lie? You're just going to fail? You're going to fail? Well, I don't know if I'm going to lie You're going to choose to fail? Oh, oh, right, so it's just uh, not on a... He's casting the spell on you. If you fail this save, if you fail... So if I want to fail, yeah. I can, if I want to lie, I can. can uh, 10 plus charisma? No, plus two. 19. Oh, so 19. you can lie. So what was you, what'd you get? Uh, ten, is it plus charisma? Oh, I'm yep, so plus charisma. So, so 12 total. 12 yeah. total, so you failed save. I failed. You failed with the charisma on your sorcerer. Oh, oh, wait, of course, I didn't charisma add all my bullshit. Throw. Charisma, oh, I still fail, actually. 15, Cut, yeah. 15, mm. all right. Oh, saving so, throw, <laughs> plus 10. We've only been I got a 20, I got a dirty 20. All right, uh, okay, you feel that the only person, oh, and you can choose, you're in your own spell, so you can choose to fail and be forced to tell the truth, or you can choose to oh, roll well. against your own spell. Okay. Um, six, I fail. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you can feel yeah, well. you can feel like the only two people that <laughs> fail against your zone of truth. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that good. You were oh, so the other guy You can it? feel that you, Trenton well. passed his safe against it. Oh damn! Oh, and he oh. says, oh. Ah, perp. So now we know using, he might be using lying. spells on me. Interesting. <clears throat> hey, uh, Trenton, you <laughs> keep interesting company. Well, no, don't lie to me, bitch. <laughs> we keep very interesting company. In fact, <laughs> the heads of most of the five families. And right. I would, uh, I would hate for them to find out about Dave. Maybe hate to find out about the hourglass co- coven. I would hate for them to find out about that. Hate for them to find out. I, I would imagine they would already know about Dave. He's one of the most powerful dark lords. Maybe I'd hate to land. find out about uh, you and your uh, your um, let's say connection with Dave. Goodness, straight to you the You know how I man. said that I, I had. You, I would you know hate how, for them to find that out if it was true. Yes. You, you know how I said that I have your memories up my butt. I do remember that. It's not something that one forgets. I have a very particular memory up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Make an intimidation check with this advantage. Because he genuinely doesn't know I what you're talking about. I love that we just came to this table and we're just like, fucking blackmail, what's up? <laughs> Zone of truth, land of revealing, fucking blackmail. <laughs> like, we don't know anything yet. With disadvantage. With disadvantage, because he doesn't know what you're talking about. I still uh, think he trusts us. I, I, I feel like we've come across him pretty good. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, up until... Intimidation is five, so, so 15. 15. He's got a vague recollection that you might have something on him, but he doesn't know what it is. And he goes, hmm. I so wish I knew what return, you were talking about. In return probably. for keeping that quiet, um... <laughs> you may as well just tell him, I guess. Keeping it quiet that you have a memory of mine up your butt. Yes. Uh, I, uh, I want to know... Everybody make an insight check. Because uh, we don't even know that he's ashamed of this memory or trying to keep it secret. Or oh, whatever. no, it did. That was part of it. He was... A, uh, 16 plus, what did you ask for? Uh, insight. 16 total. Uh, 20. Uh, 17. Nice, nice, uh, nice. 20. Oh, nice, all of you for once. Um, you all get the impression, you all get the fleeting moment as his eyes go over to the corner that you saw a guy standing in before. Mm-hmm. And he just very, almost imperceptibly kind of shakes his head. <clears throat> and then he, mm. his eyes kind of avert all of you. And he looks, you, you two know, having done it at the table with the, the, the past the salt and the fish and the tele- telepathy and all of this. Um, he's doing it a lot better than you are. In so he's, he's not trying going. to maintain, no. He's <laughs> <laughs> I like salt, I like, I like salt. fish. Fish is good. 
Uh, he is maintaining a conversation with you while also having a telepathic conversation with the guy in the corner, it seems. Okay. So, hey, 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 can we get your eyes back here? No telepathic conversations with random invisible strangers over well, the hall. I, I underestimated you. I apologize. Hey, <laughs> come on, please. Goodness gracious. How he's rude. bold, isn't he? He's bold. How rude. Yeah, he's yeah, he, bold. Very, I'm impressed with your, uh, your conduct. Especially when we're trapped have, down here. <laughs> unfortunately, I have business to attend to. We're not trapped with you! You are trapped down here with us! <laughs> <laughs> did, well, you, cool, did you actually right? do that? <laughs> Nobody, uh, Red, uh, Red no, 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 the no, no, time no. passed. No. There was no comedy like retreat. <laughs> so, no comedy retreat. He stands at the table and yells at the table. Everyone acts like, like, I'm, how, the okay, I want everyone acts like I'm the fucking wild card, but. Baradun. Baradun's intimidation check. I, I feel like this um, couldn't have gone any worse. <laughs> please. I was quoting, uh, what's the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Russia. Russia. Um, what, sorry, what just, did you ask for? The, the escalation is a bit, we're just like, <laughs> hey, before he said anything, we're like, lantern reveal. Uh, so I kind of do, do want to come You're trapped in here with us. Wisdom, wisdom saving through. I kind of do want to come in here with us. It's too late. It's too late. He gave you a moment. It was the... Right, well, I think that concludes our business. You can... We're not locked in here with you! You're locked in here with us! <laughs> Jesus Christ. There it is, what the f***? Calm down. I don't know that that's technically true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you know your way out, you are welcome yeah, to use it. I don't. I actually think he's being quite patient with us. You're very tough, though. Well done. Uh, yeah. Yeah, really tough. I mean, yeah. Intimidation. Uh, not his thing. Strength. Kind of, strength aid. I mean, I do actually have intimidation. I can try if you want. Uh, Twenty. Oh shit! All right, uh, you feel him. You the rest of you see actually, it, but at the at the table, his his hand Ooh. kind of just shifts uh, in 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 space, and he casts uh, hold person on you, um, and then you succeed against it. So you feel your body seizing up in this position <laughs> as you're like in his face, and he just kind of hold person. Trenton, you, but, and then it, Trenton, Trenton, that is. So disappointing. Yes, rather. Look, the balls on let, this let, guy. Let, <laughs> let's calm. Let's calm it all down, Trenton. <laughs> I think I you need to calm down. <laughs> I think you <laughs> need to calm down. <laughs> I think he's like, I'm like, I think he's like the doing, doing very here. well. All the uh, like, um, look, and I, I'm just saying, okay, whoa, Trenton, calm down, mate, calm down. And I love how he's like, don't worry, guys, I got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> this what, is your what plan. This was the plan the entire time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With your passive perception, even when you're drunk, you see that Randy is now talking to a guy that you didn't see in here before. It was the guy, the invisible guy, who is no longer invisible. Um, and is being led behind the bar. Um, Are there any other invisible get, people? I, 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 just, I, just want to quickly, I just want to quickly say something but before other shit happens. Um, so, in uh, return for keeping all of that quiet for you, we just want information on where Bonecaller is. Oh, last I heard, Bonecaller was acting out of Darkwood. Oh. How? Probably could have just asked yeah. him that before blackmailing him, maybe. Uh, I mean, yeah, thank, thank you. For the, the, that. The, oh, I, right. If, if that's you. just, um, yeah. if that's just uh, general hearsay, I'd rather some stronger information, some more I'm accurate. Afraid ever since I ever more since I ostracized my brother from the family, I haven't seen him. Your brother? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. No. Yeah. Your brother. Bon call. Bon call. Bon call. Your brother. As yeah. we all know. Oh. Uh, of course. Yeah. 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 I have not seen him since, and if you would excuse me, I have business Did to attend you? No, to. No. He stands from the table and starts to walk yeah, out, um, and as he sort of breaks the barrier... What does Tony sit next to him? Like, I'm, I'm kind of just like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so do you have any yeah, ways yeah, to yeah, contact yeah, Bonecaller? Bodger was standing at the table. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, Bonecaller, I mean, Bodger's blocking the table. Just, um, um, uh, hey, I, I, I have... <laughs> I worry that that information might be out of date. Uh, uh, well, then you that have you, to go that, to Darkwood and find out. That you might have more up-to-date information, or maybe someone else in the family might have maybe more Maybe we could have pretended he was maybe in they trouble will. and we wanted to And then he casts Misty Step. Oh, we, could have, we could have done Disappears so into a cloud hey, of mist oh. next oh. to you, and then <laughs> appears... <laughs> sorry, so sorry, one more time, what's seven? Casts Misty Step. He says, yeah. he says, maybe somebody in the family, and he says, yes, maybe you will. Misty Steps uh, arrives behind the bar, just as you see Randy being taken into a back room, uh, and he says... What? Good, Good evening, Cam Cam he, he doesn't. He the... doesn't. He doesn't assist it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I need. <laughs> a, <laughs> I need a. Um, this, is weird. this is awful. <laughs> I need a <laughs> D100 <laughs> check from you Maybe because like a wild magic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you tied his curse. Something will happen, I'm sure. Maybe in the future we can like 
come together and like. Yeah, yeah, I I thought thought before we walked in here, I asked if we should make a plan. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, uh-huh. but then we kind of we went. Should we make a plan? And then we just walked in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you did. Well, yeah, you did indeed. It's been 12. it's been a minute since we right. played this. And thing. and before we walked up to the table, I was like, hey, maybe we should. Um, no, no, we're, no, we're just going for it. You're welcome to roll make a plans. D10 for me. A D10. <laughs> yep. Oh, sorry, I just rolled all of it. <laughs> but also, Five. you need to stop saying, okay. I've got a plan, and not telling us the plan, because if you told us this plan, I would have been like... <laughs> for the record, and... I just want to say for the record, I had no, I've been pretty... You, yep. You've been really good. You've been great, great by the one. You try and intimidate well, him time, saying anything. Well, next time, ask me what the f***ing plan is. He goes, to, he goes to cast the Misty Step, you counterspell it quickly, and then you start to grow. You grow by five inches, okay. irreversibly. Baradun is now five oh. inches taller. Oh, great. Because of wild magic. About so that. you're going to um, be in lifts for every um, green screen we do from now on. <laughs> five, inch, five inch lifts. Five inch yeah, so, so he's still there. I'm, I'm still there. And I'm actually you're being rather, you're being rather hostile, Baradun. I, it's yeah. not hostile. I just kind well, of really want the information. I kind of just really want to finish the conversation. You kind of also, you're assuming he's got more information. And I, now you've kind of forced him here. And just, you are being quite hostile. I, I, maybe we, we could just say, ah, uh, you are free to go. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you have a seat and let me go? Um, I need to make another wisdom saving throw, please. Can we... Yeah, but you, as a perceptionist, a gauge, like... What, he's what, just a genuine what, guy who's what, like, what who where, where want inside. To find out where Bone Corner is. Okay, so I, I, I don't want think it's so dark, because is where he previously was. I'm just going to gauge might be there again. Tristan. I could... Trenton, I can, sorry. Uh, 8 plus 8, uh, 16. 16, 12, uh, 6, not 12, uh, I went to real quick. 16, 12. Um, the wisdom, did you say? Yep. Uh, 17. 17. Or oh, saving throw? Yep. 18. 18, okay. Uh, he just cast a suggestion on you to have a seat and let him go, and you succeeded the save against it again. He's now tried a whole person and a suggestion to get you to let, let him go, and you've been too strong in the mind. See, this is, this is suspicious. Mind. He obviously knows. Uh, you well, are getting from his body language well, like really? he is... Sort of like a, a mob boss who's keeping himself cool because he knows he can take you kind of yeah, attitude. Right, right. Like, look, these guys are, are trying to act tough and I'm not in the mood for yeah, kicking like off properly. in his lair, I'm essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm just going to leave, I'm just gonna leave and you're like really holding him here. But with the 16, you're also getting the impression that like you're needling him and getting yeah, to the point he's where he's... Yeah, he's to piss him off a little bit. You're getting to the yeah. point where he's now casting spells on you and being like, let me go. And if you... Yeah, I feel like he's like, like shots across the bow. Like. Yeah. Yeah. That's the impression you get with this at 16. Yeah. Inside. He's he's not really stressed out about <laughs> I mean, it. Especially when the suggestion fails. Um, that uh, I, I feel like I don't have to take your suggestion, but I will. We'd really love some more information if you can point us in the right direction. I'm sure you no, would. Now we're being... <laughs> no, no, hey, no, no, oh, now that we've got the, let's be good. Well, I've, I've got the, I've playing, got the head. I've got the head. playing all cops. <laughs> all cops. <Yeah. laughs> I've got the head. I've got the head. <clears throat> I'm playing. Yeah, good cop, bad cop. There's only one good of cop, you. Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> insane cop. <laughs> I just turn around and get it. Oh! <laughs> I don't. Come to retry. No, there we go. Um, he's he says. I wish I had information on my brother. The last I knew, he was. Doubling in necromancy, and as a Selwyn specifically, he's not Welsh. As a Selwyn, as a Selwyn, and specifically, this is um, uh, a particular embarrassment. Our family have sworn to not to to, to cast out such I, I abhorrent look, magics in this world. I just look at him and go, oh, "Are yeah. He just smiles at you. <sighs> okay, I'm going to put this to you in the very official terms. The Selwyn family are not associated with Bonecaller. <laughs> oh, okay, right. You're not associated with Bonecaller. <laughs> we, oh, okay. Are you winking at me? Uh-huh. Are being serious? Oh, okay. Uh, we ostracized uh, him as soon as no. his... Wait, no. Trust me, trust me. Nice. Look at me, look at me. Trust me. Mm-hmm. We get it. Got it. Right. Right. There's we no winking it. involved. So we are not associated with my brother. Yeah, yeah, there's no winking. Wink. No, oh, no. I see what's going on. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, no, 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 not no associated with you're Bonecaller. Reading, you're reading between lines okay. that aren't there. We are yeah, no longer associated with yeah, Bonecaller. I'm we reading between not. those lines, it's, though. You're we're, saying we're reading between lines and then we're not, but then I'm reading between it's, those it's, lines. It's we're not associated with Bonecaller. There it is. Nope. We're not associated no, no, bon- with Bonecaller. Don't worry. We, we get it. We get it. Can I. Can if I, I knew where my brother was, it would be Darkwood. Darkwood. Can I check if he's li- like? Can, can I check his check? truth? Kind of seventeen yeah. plus ten. Um, oh Jesus! Twenty-seven. 
Fuck you that. get the impression that he's telling you he knows his brother's in Darkwood. Yeah, and right. that he's not outwardly going to say that right now. Um, you also get the impression from that that he is reaching, like I said before, he's reaching the end of his limit. And if you keep pressing him on this, yeah. he's oh. going to explode. Uh, I so I just go he's been holding back. And I just, like, I'm actually, I can telepath into Baradun's head and I go, hey, Baradun, maybe fucking leave it. <laughs> like, I think he's telling the truth. Hey, Bob. Fuck you, bro. I cast fight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the retry. Come to the But I do seriously. I go into it. Okay, thank, thank, thank you, Bob. Like, thank I, you, Bob. I think he's telling the truth, man. I think maybe. And I think he's getting kind of a bit I'll touchy. Say with a, I'll okay. say with the 27 as well. You pick up a lot more with that because it's such a high roll. You pick up that his demeanor and body language is not just <laughs> one of um, annoyance at you guys, but annoyance at being delayed. It seems like something is happening right now that he needs to attend to, and right. you're keeping him from it. Whatever happened with Randy being taken Randy, into the back room, yeah, he right. needs to be there for that, apparently. Okay. And you get the impression that he's, like he tried to misty step, and you recognize mm. the, the I, beginnings of the okay. spell. Like I, 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 are you, have you told me that as well? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, I yeah. say back into your mind, send what's it after him. That's, that's, what, what, I was thinking, thinking, that's yeah. what I was just thinking. I was like, I've got what's it with but me. Then, he can change into like a centipede or something. He could be invisible. Oh, you can go invisible. Every time, every time. I'm like, yeah. how is he gonna get in there? <laughs> I could throw it's it. It's better than just like what's it, like creeping. <laughs> yeah. Like at least you like head like. <laughs> <laughs> like the okay. Casual comical okay. Creeping. I do that. I go, I go. All right. And I'm gonna get what's it. To, we're gonna let him go. And I'll get. Summon him under the table. <laughs> yeah. Because he's been summoned already. And so he's just. He's okay. Please. He's <laughs> <can. laughs> like. Fucking let me kill something. Yeah, I'm okay. Gonna, and I, I telepath I, I, into what's its head and I go go invisible and follow this guy. And stay quiet. I'm sorry. I'd assumed that he wouldn't go back to his old lair. Go, we'll leave you be. Uh, and you. I'm so sorry about everything. So sorry, so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Oh, sorry. He'll get out of his way and he walks past you. So thank you for being sorry here. Sorry about Past the other ravers that are just like completely out of it. And look through what As soon as he walks through what would yeah. be the membrane of the, the table, table the, the, um, the booth that you're in, as soon as he sort of leaves that threshold of it, the rune thing that he casts off. <laughs> um, you see him walk behind the bar, what's it, flits over and in through the door as he goes in through the back room. It looks at first, first sight kind of just like the back room of a regular bar, there's barrels and things, uh, but you see one of the barrels is open and there's no Randy or the other dude in here. Uh, actually, the other dude is, uh, but Randy is not in here. As he, t as he walks past you walking into uh, what's it, you can hear um, this guy say to, I'd be an elvish, so you do understand it. Um, uh, he says to Trenton, um, no problems, and he just gestures to the bar. And Trenton looks down into the uh, sorry into the barrel. Trenton looks down into the barrel and says, "Thank you." Um, uh, and then he turns to the bouncer guy and says, "The four in my booth. Give it a little uh, give it a little while, but keep an eye on them. When they leave, kill them." And then he steps up onto the um, onto the barrel and steps into the barrel and shoo, seems to disappear into it. And you hear through what's it uh, a sort of a and then what's it kind of flips over and lands on a shelf and looks down into the barrel and sees that it's like a, um, a slide, essentially, Send like a shoot. Send 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 Can we get him back? Like did we can pop him and bring oh, him you back. Can sky, oh, you this guy, the bouncer fun. guy, um, okay, gets, to the, the gets to the door, um, turns himself invisible again. You see something flare from his ring. <laughs> turns himself invisible, he opens the door and walks out into the bar, and you guys are out there. All right. send and I, I, I yes, in what's it down. And we're all just like staring up. What's well, it we don't know, what, what is it? Because I'm just like <laughs> walked out. Just yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just look well, drunk. You just look yeah, drunk. Just like, oh, 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 what happened? Well, we're still figuring out what happened. Give me a second. Give me a second. What's it disappears down the chute and sees um, down the bottom of this that it's a it's not a nightclub down here. It is an abandoned mine shaft. Um, there's the wooden posts and the the, um, the tunnels and things. It's not lit. It's not illuminated because the people who come down here are usually elder. Um, what's it sees a um, a bewildered kind of looking dirty, r muscly Randy guy, <laughs> Randy guy, um, <laughs> picking himself up off the ground and he's like a little bit confused, but he's also drugged up and, and drunk. Um, and he just kind of like starts to stumble forward in the dark, saying hello. And he starts off down the mine shaft, right. down the. Um, Oh, it was Randy tunnel. that went in there. Yeah, went yeah, in there. Yeah, I thought yeah. Trenton went in there. Trenton also they followed him. Oh, they there. both went in there. Yeah. Who's Randy? Randy was Some, the, the human, guy who won the dance off human, before us. Human that won the dance off before yeah. you. He was sitting at the booth when we came up and just fucking caused chaos. Yeah. <laughs> as we do. Um, 
Cool. So what, that's what what's it sees. What's it uh, then? Uh, what's it then sees? Because uh, what's it? Uh, you're looking through his eyes, so mm -hmm. you have what's its visions and your own. I think you both have dark vision. Uh, what's it sees that Trinton has landed behind Randy, but Randy with human eyes doesn't see him there. Um, Trinton pulls up a dark hood and goes very difficult to see. Like even with dark vision, very difficult to see down here. Um, like the hood is doing something to that, mm -hmm. uh, and then he just kind of follows along, w pretty much without sound, right behind Randy. As do they stumble off into the the mine. Do we get get what's it to keep following? I mean, what are we trying to accomplish there? Like just yeah. find out a bit more information, probably from from uh, Trenton. Off, just what the f is he doing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we follow for five minutes, and otherwise yeah. we're going to get in trouble in our human bodies upstairs. Yeah, because yeah. I can only follow. For, I can only keep kind of touch with them for like a hundred feet or something. I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, I mean, you can follow them for a while, but it looks like they're just going off into the mm. dark. Well, that, that's, our, that's our escape route, anyway. Potentially. That's Potentially, but we could maybe just not. leave. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I go, oosh, I walk back and I go, right. Yeah, so is that all good? Everything good? No, definitely not. No? Um, that invisible guard, yep. he's been given orders to kill us when we leave. Oh. So that's a thing. Yeah. I put Thanks, my displacer scarf on. <laughs> <laughs> At the table, Baradun <clears throat> shifts into two and one guy in the corner goes, whoa, f I've had too much. No. <laughs> um, can I get what's it back or is he Because I'm only seeing four now. of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, four Baradun's. <laughs> Uh, you can you can get you can bump him out wherever he is. Okay, bump and no. All right, <laughs> and popped him. Yeah, right. Well, you could have leave him down, down there poop. just to at least pops back at your feet. No. Okay. So good. Um, yeah. So that guard is going to try and kill us. Mm. Um, and there's also you a want secret. Me to kill it? I haven't killed him in a while. Calm down. Go eat a cockroach. Well, we, ah! may, we we may as well go to a place where we can. It's just four v one. Yeah, I was also going to say there's a barrel down there that's a secret passageway down to an abandoned, what looks like an abandoned mine. And Trenton went down there, popped on like a darkness hood, and looked like he was about to kill Randy, but I don't know, I couldn't keep touching him. We don't know how many of the, the people in this club will turn and fight us if we try to take that one guard. Yeah, so oh, that's why I think that out. we get out and just let the guard follow us and we can deal with him mm -hmm. one, on, one on four. Oh, right, like leave. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what do you do? Uh, we try to leave the club. There's no exit. Is there get, an exit? Yeah, what's the club? Yeah, yeah. Up, yeah. up. We'll come through a foamy chute. Weird yeah. membrane or something. I, don't, I think we'd have to escape through the barrel. So um, like I was saying, because we're trapped down well, here <laughs> in his lair, maybe we shouldn't have been so aggressive, you know? I don't know. I think Is it too we late got for what a comedy retreat? this? <laughs> <laughs> for a half hour comedy, comedy retreat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh man, I was joking about all of that. <laughs> This whole episode didn't happen. Anyway, <laughs> um, strike from the record. <laughs> yeah, we got what we wanted, but we might have been able to get that without threatening him and blackmailing him and How stuff. How about we try find a way out, or we just follow the guard out where he wants to kill us in secret anyway, and then just kill him? He's not. He's not necessarily leaving. He's not leaving. He's just keeping tabs. Oh, so he's going to watch us. these guys for yeah. a bit. Well, and we could we literally leave. ask him, how do all we right, get out? I go out to the bar and I'm like, all right, mate, uh, how do I get out of here again? Mm -hmm. Try that, give it a go. <laughs> the guy, the guy sort of laughs and, <laughs> yeah, and slides you another drink. Thanks, mate. <laughs> 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 and I come back and I go, oh, no, no. Do you, I, Bob, I do you remember him. why you went up there in the first place? Yeah, yeah I asked him At this point, to the get chute out. opens and, uh, and the sirens, the, uh, come. Okay, <laughs> I jump up and go out the chute. That is, uh, <laughs> You're going to attempt to, before the chute then. This is not a place that people leave. Yeah, I'm starting to feel that way. Um, yeah, like Randy won the competition and then, then he's kind of, we're he, walking off into a place that he doesn't necessarily want to be. Yeah, I feel like he's actually some sort of like sacrifice Emma, or something. What, was, or something. what do we land on? You land on me, Becca. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, um, I'm just so distracted by the hotness <laughs> of the sirens. Uh, like, we will oh, have the sirens. Hey, sirens! Oh my in god, the, sorry the, that we beat you. Sorry that we beat you in the previous the, round. The Are we, we dancing now? Sorry yeah, that we beat oh. you in the previous round. Yeah, um, yeah, again, they're just yeah, too yeah, attractive. I'm just too nervous. Have you guys ever won this dance competition before? Hi, I'm Bob! <laughs> Even make like a, super drunk, he's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Make a persuasion or performance check. Uh, you have disadvantage because you're drunk. <laughs> I mean, and then get back to what Barry was doing. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, have you guys ever won this competition before? Yeah. One. Well, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. There it is. Used, there it is. Um, uh, you, you do a really. I want a, one performance of a pickup in a moment. Barry, um, ask him again. Bob, they, shut they up. Say, <laughs> uh, yeah. Once before. Yeah. 
Okay, oh, and then how do you get out of this freaking weird room? Oh, totally. you're here for the rest of the night. <laughs> when well, when daybreak comes, they open it up for us. <laughs> oh. You've got to really commit to want to be down here. Oh, yeah, man, didn't know that right. before we got down here. Oh, really? So that's, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. It's written on the signs. Didn't see him. Flame should have told Should have looked at oh, the signs. Yeah. Oh, my God. Woo! You're a siren. I'm a siren, too, so... <laughs> 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 You're cool, Bob. <laughs> Bob shut like, up, shut up, so shut cool. up. <laughs> I guess. So excuse me, excuse me. Um, are your feet sore? <laughs> kind of. Because you've been, you've, been, you've been playing, you've been running through my mind all night. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Um, <laughs> can we get Coach, drinks in I here? Had, I had Bob for a drink and go, yeah, we, we, we tried. <laughs> make, a, make, a, make a persuasion or a performance check. See how good you are at picking them up. Uh, 16. Plus really, 2. Really good. 18. Just always. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yep. It's, it, it, you, they're like the charm of it. They're like, oh, it's stupid. And it's <laughs> really cheesy, but he's kind of charming. No. And he's a real fucking hunk. He's okay, okay. It, he's an Adonis, it, an Adonis. And he doesn't, he doesn't wear it, clothes. Did it hurt? <laughs> did, oh, when I fell from him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Go, 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 go. Hey! Are your feet sore? Why? Uh, cause you, you're, hey, cause you, when you fell from, um, cause you're running from heaven. Go, go, go. Oh, hey, Don. Uh, did, did it, did it hurt? What hurt? When you fell from heaven. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> I also think you're really hot. I started to stop the game just now. I just wanted to remind you guys that these are on sale. These u 2s toys are on sale for a very limited time. You can do whatever you want with them. You can stick them up your butt. I'm not, we're not judging. I'm not judging. You do whatever you, you buy it, your money. You do what you want. This will be the best one. Just the, well, I'm just saying the shapes, the, this will be the most, the most difficult one. Again, you do whatever you want when you buy your things. I don't judge. I'm not judging. I don't, but this is mid-roll. There's no link on screen, but links in the, the description. Limited time. Uh, back to the game. <laughs> okay, Maybe, I feel like there's more uh, pressing things. Yeah. <laughs> it's like kind of happening here. We need Sorry, to I just out distracted. Here. They're so f they're cute. They're cute. You're really cute. Ah, wow. <laughs> Thanks. They're so hot! I just, as the music, a there's a moment where the music lulls, yep. and I'm like, it's because they're so hot, Greg! <laughs> <laughs> Why does the music. Greg! Greg, can you hear me over the music? Yeah! I need some guidance! What? I need some guidance! Okay, we we're in the club, we can't escape for all night. Yep. There's one route of escape which is through a barrel in the back room? In the back room. In the back room. And there's, someone, there's a guard there that's going to try and kill us. So, sorry, the sirens said, siren said you can't get out until morning, out until so morning. I guess we can wait until morning. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we just, why we just wait it out? Well, but then, but then we might lose. Like, don't we, do we want to catch Trenton again? I don't know if we like, do. Yeah, I don't think we do. In order to tick the ladder gate, you need some solid concrete on the cell winds being dodgy. At the moment, yes. you don't have that. Maybe we do. Well, we need to look in, maybe maybe look we in the go, office and maybe the back. we go after. Go after. Okay, so maybe we go, go down the barrel. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. It was the back room, like an office. That's what we, we don't know. No, the back room is like bar. a bar back room, oh, with just like barrels room. and right. Right. and. And we know and which barrel and... it is that's the slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Barrel. Uh, let's go to the. Do top. we cause a distraction mm. and then run from barrels? Oh. I have invisibility. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good for you. Yeah, but I'm saying I could go. I. Down there. How oh, many right. people are in the room? There's about a dozen. Well, with the arrival of the girls. You guys, so there was there was about ten or so when you arrived. So and Randy who? And the guys okay, guys. so guys, I'm going to tell you my plan this time. If you. Uh,
fucking one. Nelson. I yeah. guess. That'd be great. That'd be great. Jesus. That would be great. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys are so fucking needy. Okay, what's your plan? Um, I have that. Uh, I have that deck of illusions that I uh, Ooh, had. Yeah. I think I'm thinking about pulling like five or six cards out mm -hmm. and just flicking them out into the ah. room. Some uh, of them are crazy shit, idea. like dragons and drow and other bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. Create a pretty good distraction, and then we slip into the black back room. I'm down. I like that. I like that. Thank that's you a, for a communicating plan. with us, better dude. Yeah. You, Bodra. <laughs> wow! Communicate what? this. Communicate <laughs> this. Because yeah, that what now has we know. You? Now yeah, because now we know what to do. Yeah. If you hadn't, suddenly dragons and shit <laughs> would have just appeared <laughs> and freaked just the to out. attack the dragons. What has gotten into you? <laughs> Look, maybe it's just the real Baradun's coming back, eh, bud? Yeah. Well, uh, Again, uh, this is why maybe he shouldn't be the most powerful sorcerer yeah. in the land. He's anyway, a prick. There's going to be a, like, a real moral dilemma towards the end of this campaign where it's like Baradun's in, in the position where we're like, oh, actually, Lethal, you're all right. <laughs> you're going to get all, all the way right. through to um, the Avengers Endgame and then realize you're fighting with Thanos. I'm going yeah, 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 to oh, pull, pull out five. All Let's right. Go. Let's five, go. Let's go. Five from the deck. All right, deck Before I do it, illusions. what's the situation near that door? Uh, near the back door. So the back door is behind the bar. Yeah. Um, is it open the still? only person behind the bar that you can see is the bar is the bartender, but there is the uh, invisible, invisible guy. Uh, guy in here as well. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to retcon as well and say that you you heard in the back room as they had the interjection uh, interaction that the the guy who's been told to kill you is called Blade. 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 For what that's worth. Blade. Is he um, Wesley Snipes? Yeah. <laughs> he's that's Wesley how Snipes. I'm imagining yeah. from now on. Yeah. It's a blade. Oh, God. Some of these Snipes. are going to be fucking crazy that yep. I pull out. Jesus All Christ. All right. So, so sorry, it's the door into the back. The door into the back open? room is, it's not open, but it's unlocked. It's, okay, great. You can just open it if you're behind the bar. Um, 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 there is one elf behind the bar who's serving people. Um, ha doesn't speak, if... it seems, because every time you talk to him, he just gives you drinks without asking for money for it. Um, and the, so the only two that are any authority would be the bartender and the and I and can't, blade. We can't see, we can't see you can't blade. See blade. Uh, even with my invisible, in if you, you want to get your invisibility, oh, out, I haven't put it away. It's still on the table that we're you, sitting at. You blew it out though, so are you relighting it. Oh and yeah, using oh, it again? sorry. Okay, yeah, right, right. I light it back. So up. you light it up and you look around and you see Blade, in, uh, who's like five feet from, well, like seven feet from you or something, with his arms folded. Does he know we can as, see? As soon as you look, turn towards him and go like that, <laughs> then yeah, he goes, huh. It's quite the um, utility device, isn't it? Put that away. Well, do you know where? No. <laughs> as as, as that happens. down to his waist. As that two happens. Two long swords. As that happens. Put it away. The king of. Right, maybe put it away. Starts to draw his long swords. As sword. that happens, a but bandit. But he's invisible with long swords. <laughs> like he's not going to not have his long swords if I blow them as away. As that happens, a bandit king and three bandits turn up on the dance floor. Okay, you got a king of clubs. <laughs> uh, and then next to the bar, the nine of hearts. No, uh, an uh, Etten appears next to the bar. What the heck not is an Etten? Etten is a two-headed giant. Uh, and Jesus. I'm going to go. I was going to go five, but that's pretty fucking crazy already. So I'm going to just do three. And also on the dance floor, the Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Uh, a fucking a lich. lich! A fucking lich appears. A right. lich appears. So, so that I'm in this, well, I'm like one of these would have done the job, but we're. As you said, the bandit captain might well, be distracted. Oh, a two headed bit. giant and a lich, they're going to distract. Yeah, so cool. you throw them out different directions around the bar. Yeah, yeah cool. Um, <laughs> those three cards are gone from the deck now. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'll take those back, thank you. And then the. It's very cool. The. Um, the, the uh, what's he called? Uh, blade. Blade, who is drawing his, his swords out and telling you to put things away, uh, suddenly looks past you and goes, what the fuck is that? And he draws his swords out and then rushes past you out of your line of sight and, uh, and therefore out of the, the we need invisibility to, as soon for as a they second. Touch their illusions, as soon as he they turns, touch them, they're not going to know it's not right. right. Come on, Greg, let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Hang on, just two seconds. I need to make sure no, we're not being followed. Okay. Ah! Oh. Ah! I'm oh. Illusion, 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 oh. illusion. Ready, Greg, run! He's we need to go. Okay, we'll, we'll it's like two-headed giant. It's about seven, about uh, 16 feet tall or so, and it's uh, looking at each other, and, uh, and the, the two heads are arguing um, as something else appears in the, next to them. This black smoky wisp, and the sirens all shriek. I need each of you to make a wisdom saving throw, oh, no. please, as the sirens scream in terror. Oh god! Oh god! Oh what? Six. There's a reason they call themselves rolls. the sirens. 18 and wisdom. 19. Wisdom yeah. saving throw. Yeah. Uh, 13. 16. 13. 16. 13. 13. Uh, the two of you are considered frightened for the moment, as the um, as the nature of <laughs> the nature of the sirens' scream uh, is that is to force anybody that's attacking so them to leave. So hot. Uh, this is so scary. <laughs> 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 
they That's scream. Fine. We want to run For those who anyway. are running past them anyway, you kind of see their faces contort into this banshee like <laughs> and scream out this thing. You you two get terrified of these two girls that you were trying to hit on and just fucking leg it to they the back room. The uh, you hear the scream but are not affected because you weren't yep. close to them. Uh, you're heading to the back room. Back room? Everybody back room? Oh, yeah, back room. Yep. Back room. Alright. You reline for the back room, you easily get Slam in the there past the Slam door shut. Easily p get in past the bartender who's trying to not serve drinks to a lich. We, um, uh, <laughs> if there's something that we can just jam, jam into the, the door. door. Yeah, Alright, yeah. um let's Section. roll a percentage check to see if there is. Uh, I will have uh, I will have you roll a D ten, you roll a D ten. Uh, you're gonna be the tens column. Uh, I'm the four forty. Ooh, forty and oh, sorry, D10. What? yeah that one. This one. Uh, seven. 47, yeah, I give it a 50-50 chance, 47's on 50, therefore uh, there is a brew moss of some kind uh, near the door, you slam it shut and quickly jam that down behind, between the door and the um, the shelf that's in there, so that it, as it opens inwards it's going to be up against that, definitely not going to hold them for very long, especially not someone as big as Blade, Something. but Something. it's something to slow them down, uh, who's going into the, t the barrel and in what order? Probably if you've got vision, you get down yeah, there first, get down there first yeah, <laughs> up and you slide down the, the chute, <laughs> You come sliding out the bottom, who comes out next to him, behind him? Me. You're, in, <laughs> you're down there as well. Um, I follow, I'm not going to be last. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're too fine for the like, And I'm I go fourth, I guess. All right. Um, you are down there. Uh, you are in uh, almost almost pitch darkness, which means that the elf can see just about. The can we block the <coughs> tunnel we just came through? Humans can't so much, but then Baradun... What is it? Just a cantrip. Light or something? Uh, Dancing lights, whatever I, you've got. Prestidigitation? I prestidigitation, yeah. <laughs> you prestidigitate like I was a, just going to do fire bolt, but I did Fire bolt is like a yeah. fire it off so and you have to kind of hold it there. So you prestidigitate like something on fire, like a, you can light a candle or a small campfire or something with prestidigitation. What, 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 what did like we... Can you grab, you grab a torch out, let's say, or off the wall or something, <laughs> light it up and you start to lead your way. Can you describe what we came out of? Was it a pipe? Or uh, you came out of a pipe, yeah, like a metal pipe. A lot of you bit better and burns and contorts it and turns it into like so blade can't follow us. In order to heat the metal to the point where you can then bash it in and contort yeah. it and stuff, you could do so, but you'd be hanging out here rather than... Uh, Is there anything uh, we can use to block Can I, can I, I get I some tools? sent a fireball up the tube and... Well, no, fireball? there's lots of innocent think, people up there. I think we just... Yeah. Yeah. Explode think we the back room. No, 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 I reckon... Uh, but, but like, I've got like a... Uh, hammer? A, a hammer and a... T uh, and, uh, like, uh, mess kit gear? If it, I've got a shield mess, I need to use. Mess kit like a... It's like usually a two bowl, two metal bowls that are clipped together and when you open them it's your eating utensils. Okay, what about... What about... I've got a... I've got a javelin that I never use. I think we just... I think we just leg it. I think we just leg it. Like like Wedge it kind of up and, and then. I don't know how I mean, wide come, It's like coming down a kid's up. slide and yeah. hitting into a javelin. And and you just go around the javelin. Break it, I'll yeah. go around. I reckon we just rank yeah. tracks. All right, let's go through that. Anyone who follows is going to be pitch black. All right, so the two of you are set in, set in journey. You two to have turned around to be like, can we do something to block it? But you see the light is receding as Baradun's rushing off. Okay, okay let's go and follow it. And you're like, ah, oh, it. Uh, you turn and follow Baradun into the mine shaft. I just love how you were all standing here being like, this is a perfect place for traps. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I use my thieves tools for the first time. <laughs> this is a moment, you, man. You, like, I you can dimension door myself and one other person after. You were already in an underground, 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 underground club. But but cross your fingers, baby. <laughs> Do you want to have your own adventure with Baradun and the dickheads? Well, now you can. We've got all of our YouTube figurines of all your, all your favorite characters from, from Baradun and the dickheads. Like Baradun and Bob and Bodger. And me! Link's on screen, or go to u2s.com. Stick them up your butt. <laughs>